Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast. After our edition, we're joined some lovely ladies. We got a great show for you guys tonight. Let's get into it. Let's go. All the night is my world. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you could, you're more than welcome. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me to leave? Serious, get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not as it would seem. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's time. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. We got some quick announcements for you guys. Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit. You guys get all the crazy exclusive behind the scenes to include the crazy chick with the blick yesterday. Uh, so, yeah, no, we, everybody's good, guys. We're all, we're all good and fine and dandy. But, uh, you know, obviously some girls are crazy. Yeah, it is what it is. Also on there, guys, we got content to help you guys with money, getting your money on. Sorry, getting your money on point, getting girls, social media, getting in shape. And just overall male self-improvement, man, because we are the number one men's podcast in the world. At this point, it's undisputed. So check us out over there at patreon.com slash fresh fit. Also, guys, we're on Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts, every single platform you listen to on podcasts. We are there. Just make sure you wear headphones because you can definitely get in trouble listening to us, uh, whether it's on YouTube or Spotify, whatever, without headphones. So wear headphones. And as a matter of fact, if you're watching us on YouTube, get a screen prote- uh, privacy screen as well because we had one guy. They didn't even hear what we were talking about. And they said, oh, you're watching that podcast? Oh, and then he got fired. Yeah, man. So uh, we got a little bit of rep. So just make sure that people don't know what you're doing, if you're watching us or listening to us while at work. Also, FresherPodcastStore.com. Check out check out the merch. That's where we have the I Feel Like shirts, right? Because we're probably going to hear that a lot tonight. The mer- the hoodies, Fresh Fit Podcast hoodies, T-shirts, Ninja Watchers, uh, Punisher shirts. Everything is there, guys. So check us out over there at FresherPodcastStore.com. Get the merch. Also, guys, we got a YouTube channel. A second YouTube channel is called Fresh Fit Clips. If you guys want to get all the best parts of the podcast, you don't have two to three hours to watch a full show, no problem. Go ahead and check us out on Fresh Fit Clips. And uh, on there, you guys could see me lose hair follicles much quicker than losing it, watching me on the main podcast, losing it slowly. So check us out. Fresh Fit Clips is a YouTube channel. Also, uh, Fresh has a vlog channel. Guys, for behind the scenes, inside the studio, outside the studio, check it out. 100 kind of way. Let's go. Um, and then also, guys, we are on, uh, right now, we're not live on Twitch, guys. We're only going on YouTube for a bit. We might uh, pull up the, the Twitch stream uh, for the, tomorrow's episode, but I'm just doing a little bit of experimenting right now. So we're only on YouTube right now. If you want to get us, you got to get us on YouTube at the moment. Also, uh, shout out to Chris. Chris, you want to talk about your Twitch? Yeah, follow me on Twitch. Um, I just released my uh, my first merch line. So merch again, I feel like merch. So uh, cop it, guys. Um, support your boy. And let's get it. And I will do a pre-show uh, after the show, um, post-show with the ladies. So let's get it. Yeah, go support Chris, man. Okay. And then uh, ladies that want to come on the show, DM our, you know, our producer, Chris, Aaron C. Poxen. If you DM me or uh, Fresh, all we're going to do, if we even see your DM, we're going to tell you to go hit up Chris because he does all the coordinating. He schedules all the girls, et cetera. And uh, yeah. So, and then also any video reactions, guys, uh, you're going to DM Fresh. Fresh is basically going to be the new reaction guy. Uh, and then also we got a new engineer in the house. Shout out to Mo. Shout out to Mo. He's back there. He's figuring out the ropes. But uh, he's, I've heard a lot of positive comments from you guys on the sound being good. Being a one right now, so shout out to him. Uh, and then also we got um, another our Instagram main Instagram Fresh Fit Podcast, and then mine is Unplug Fit, and his is the Fresh Print CEO. And then also we got a TikTok Fresh and Fit on TT. Can't wait for that to get banned the tenth time. We've been banned off TikTok so many goddamn times. We'll see what happens. And then if you guys want to see the girls Fresh Fit Podcast girls on on Instagram, you can check out the girls uh, pages from there. And all their Instagrams are below in the description. So uh, I guess without further ado, did I miss anything? No, you're That's good it. Yeah, we'll just introduce the girls now. So, ladies, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, and your current dating status. We'll start right here. And your body count. <laughs> if you gotcha. want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking. Go ahead. So, my name is Jennifer. I'm 30 years old. Uh, <laughs> 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 I am a security guard in, what is it? Oh, your current dating status? Wow. Your current dating status? Oh, yeah. I'm in a relationship. Cool. Welcome. 
All right, she's security, guys. <laughs> we might need to call you or talk to you after the show. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, all right. Um, so my name is Jasmine, um, but a lot of people know me as Juice. I'm 29 from Jersey. Um, I do music, but outside of that, I'm a logistics manager uh, for dispatch stuff like that. Um, and I am single. Cool. Big Welcome. single. <laughs> Hi everyone. My name is Dollface. I'm flirty thirty. Um, Wait, I'm, you're thirty, you said? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I'm a nurse by day, but I'm a hustler by night. <laughs> and um, I do makeup. Um, I do a lot of things, but anything I can get my hands on to make money, I try to, you know. Anything? Not anything. But you know what I mean. <laughs> um, my status. I'm getting to know people. That's a first. Whatever that means. <laughs> yeah. That's market. a new one. I like that one. I'm getting to know people. All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, my name is Jada. I'm 25 years old. I'm a personal assistant and I'm single. Oh, she's from England too, right? You okay? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, hold on. I'll take care of. Do you chef people? Uh, chef people? Yeah. Uh, no. You mean just I make food for people? No, no, no. Like, sh I mean, Chef in England, maybe England, she cares right. more ratchet than we thought. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she we, is. We, we, well, shout out to our girl Shakira. She, um, she helps us with uh, recruiting the, the lovely ladies. She says, uh, if you say I'm gonna chef him fam, it means like you're gonna stab him. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> nah. You don't be chefing people. That's actually the first time I've heard of that. Oh, okay. So she's. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, what part of London are you from? Uh, I'm from Peterborough. That's like a two-hour drive north of London. Oh, safe nice one. in a safe area, I'm assuming. <laughs> nice safe area. Uh, I mean, it's kind of rough, but you know. I mean, you don't know what chef and yeah, people no, mean. So yeah, <laughs> she's from the suburbs, guys. She ain't about that life. <laughs> she cares clearly about that life. <laughs> we have chef and bruv. Yeah, yeah, bruv. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not fun. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to England, man. Yo, we got a lot of British supporters, man. Like, they're probably watching right now because they're like what five hours ahead if i'm not mistaken oh uh, yeah five so yeah hours. normally when like, we're like getting if we have a really late show they're like waking up listening to us so shout out to the uk i will go out there i promise you guys we're gonna go out to the uk once all this you know craziness happens they let americans back in at some point so yeah what about uh you i am riley J. I am 23 years old <laughs> and for work i do um i work as um I'm a part of the legal department of a adult website. <laughs> That's what I do for a living. Okay. All right. Sounds familiar. You know, interesting. <laughs> so a bitch is like, hey, I want this vi video taken down to me for five years ago. You're like, nah, bitch, you signed the waiver. <laughs> we using this shit. <laughs> you ain't going to hit me with the Mia Khalifa. It's that shit ain't going nowhere. Like Your butthole is mine. <laughs> Your butthole is mine. <laughs> is that what I'm assuming it is? Something um, similar to that? Not quite. I mean... I deal with some of the worst um, sexual topics ever. Uh, like people doing disgusting pe pe things. People making like, allegations? Allegations and um, some people actually doing these things. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you, so you got to, so you, so I'm assuming you, you protect the business essentially, right? Basically. Yeah. So, right. so allegation comes in, you're getting it, you're forwarding it to the lawyers, et cetera. You're working with them. Um, yeah, some things I can handle myself, but like major violations, things that are illegal, our yeah. attorneys handle. Criminal them. conduct, they start to take it. Yeah, but I also do music and I'm a creative and I do other things too. So okay. Yes. All right. So defending buttholes by day, making music by night. I like it. <laughs> Basically, you know? Fantastic. <laughs> Your current dating, yeah. dating status? <laughs> My current dating status? I am single, but dating. Mm, okay. Translation. Translation. I'm smashing dudes, but I'm seeing other people. Anyway. I am not smashing <laughs> dudes, okay? I haven't smashed in a while, actually. You haven't had sex in a while? Stop the cap. Yeah. <laughs> not stop the cap. I haven't. Right. I really haven't. All right. When's the last time you smashed? Ooh, I would have to think about that. It's been a while. Oh, is that long? <laughs> it's been a minute. The foreplay? Do we need the light, light test? For your y'all can't lie to the, the test me all y'all want to. It's okay. the truth. Not All right, sure, I believe you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Rakisha, and I'm a personal assistant by day and a creative at night, meaning I just started modeling, and I also own my own hair care brand. So. All right. Uh, yeah, your current status? Okay. All right, yeah, what's your current status? Oh, I'm single but dating. All right, cool. So, uh, <laughs> all right. So, yeah, so you're seeing, okay. You're weighing your options. What about you? Oh, uh, my name is Jaleesa. I'm 21 years old. Uh, I'm a security guard in the weekends, but I dedicate my time on the weekdays to my new puppy. Do you two work together? 
You, you two work together? I just got a puppy. No, we don't. Oh, yeah, don't? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I just got a new puppy like three days ago, and I just want to spend more time with her. Um, I'm not single. I am taken by the best man in the world. Ooh, okay. Good. Congratulations. Um, Jesus Christ? Yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> all it is. I'm just working in the weekends and spending time with my puppy on the weekdays. All right. Shout out to puppy. Yes, Lucy, I'm coming home. That's a chill life, man. <laughs> she, she talked about her puppy more than her boyfriend. Yeah, I know. All right. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah. I was about to say. Yeah. All right. Hi, guys. I'm Lauren. I'm 27 years old, and I work in finance for Bank of New York. Mm. And for I'm Bank of who? Single. Bank of America? No, BNY yeah. Mellon. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> if Mara so said, well, what? Oh, Chris picking security guards for the show. <laughs> That's my <laughs> <laughs> Yo, did you know? No, no, I, no, I, no, I, no, I, no, we no didn't idea. know, guys. We didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I have no idea, man. Now we look like frauds because I put on Instagram yesterday. I was like, guys, we don't need security. We got our own fire in the pod. And now it looks like we, we lie. <laughs> oh, oh man. man. But I will tell you this. Having a female security guard will actually be helpful because, like, the girls know that we ain't going to punch them, but a chick will. So they're going to act right when if it's a woman. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully she's True. buff, too. Yeah. True. So... If, if, no, if, she ain't uh, buff, but look at her face. She looks serious <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> you say right now? She, she bought that life. Oh, man. She's gonna chef somebody, man. All right, cool. Uh, and then we got uh, what else we got here? We got some chats. Okay. Uh, uh, Medicky sounds. Uh, F and F need to do pat downs. A metal detector. Some wild <laughs> hyena gonna go off one night because she's triggered. Yeah, don't worry, guys. We 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 doing it. Marcus Brown, five bucks. Hope y'all frisk the shorties before they enter the after what happened the other night. <laughs> uh, five bucks, Desmond Montgomery. Is there a reason last night's video only for the fifty tier and up? Also, it's crazy people are mad y'all using your right to copyright rules. Um, uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But uh, yeah, the fifty guys, uh, we're doing that for certain reasons. I I can't necessarily say on air right now, yeah. but. We do have, uh, I think, one or two versions of it at the at the at the regular twenty. Yeah. So you know, y'all y'all still get the behind the scenes. Uh, Snow Bunny enthusiast, uh, short in the middle, cute, but her head looked like a broken highlighter. <laughs> Bing bong. What needs what? a flashlight when you got glow in the dark weave? Bing, Bing bong. bong. You got anything Bing for that? Bong. You like it? Thank you. <laughs> Bing bong. Uh, two dollars for Mr. Williams. Get the blicky, okay? J Martin, ten bucks. Leave your blickies and switch blades at the door. Oh man. <laughs> Stanley Simmons reactions, two dollars. Yo, we doing smash or pass? I'm trying to get roasted. Uh, we could eh, if we have time. Josh Richardson, uh, if that 304 is really about it, she would have squeezed it and don't cap tonight, girls. Yeah, that's true. Uh, five bucks, six nine boys. <laughs> if she if he, uh, chicky got the blicky, uh, 500k on the way. Got you, bro. <laughs> Did that king song by the way, man? Yeah, that's man, boy, man. Uh, Uncle Luke, 1980s. Your haters crying on YouTube about those copyright strikes. I don't know why, though. Kevin Samuels does the same thing. I'm glad. Now the haters can stop these reaction videos. They need to chill. Yep. All right. I'm just going to make this announcement. If you use our content without our express written consent, we will come after you. All right? It's a business. Y'all want to make hit pieces and all this other stuff? You can't make hit pieces without being ready to get hit back. The thing that they're mad about is that we're not going to give you the clout and mention your name. We're just going to have the lawyers do the work behind the scenes and hit your pockets. So. It's your choice what you want to do. If you want to make more hit pieces on us with false information and slander us because we made a five-hour video refuting all these claims that were made and you're going to continue to try to ride that train and make money off our name, cool. That's fine. But there's going to be consequences to your actions. We are going to pursue you guys legally if you come after us and make false allegations, use our name for clout or whatever it is. If you're going to make hit pieces, you're going to get hit back but the problem is that you're not going to get hit back by us on video. You're going to get hit back by the lawyers, and they're going to hit your pockets. So make a decision on what you want to do when you want to make videos and hit pieces on us. Y'all want a cloud chase? Cool. But now it's going to come at a cost. It was not fun in games all before two months ago when you guys were making these crazy, crazy allegations. Yep. Now that we're fighting back, there's an issue. Now, nah, we're going to take everything that we need to do from a legal pers perspective to come after you guys. Once again... If you use our content without our express written concern, we will come after you. All right? So it's up to you guys what you want to do. You want to make hit pieces? Cool. You're going to get hit back. Without uh, without it being physical, it's going to hit your pockets. The real John uh, John Rubio. Shout from Denver would be lit if y'all get Roma fr from Roma Army's rights on the podcast. Mad respect. Y'all stay killing it. Thank you, bro. Thanks, bro. Because we ain't here to start no problems, bro. We make content to uplift guys. We don't mention any of these other guys that talk shit about them, but y'all making crazy videos on us that aren't true. So you can't get mad at us for defending ourselves. What the hell? King Life, $5. Hours. 
Guys, don't let the haters fool. Your Apple is using Machiavellian tactics to control its viewers to attack us. Haters exposed. Yeah, bro. You can, there's consequences to your actions, bro. Especially when we don't even make videos on you guys. Like, what the hell? Uh, Aldir Novello, 30, single, and a nurse. Sheesh. Being a male nurse, I know all about them. Uh -oh. LMAO. You got something back for him? Uh-oh. <laughs> I have so I many that one. <laughs> I missed that one. I'm He's sad. saying that female nurses are devious. Maybe the worst. No. They're the best, baby. We're not devious. Yeah, of course they're, they're the, best. the best. But I just use the, the male box. nurses as arm strength. That's it, because I'm not lifting up no heavy patients. <laughs> so. Fair oh. enough. There you go. So yeah, men yeah. will more equal. 30 single and a nurse. Oh, no, read that one. Uh, five bucks, Jazz 23. The chocolate is real tonight, but still check them purses at the door. FNF gang, we up. Okay. Uh, now, these ladies are, are very polite, guys. Uh, theory one, get to know people equal getting her back blown up. Okay. You got yourself uh, for that? My back blown out. I haven't done that in a while. So. <laughs> oh, someone else who's celibate on the, on the panel. Mm hmm. <laughs> Here we go. Right, That's cool. why you can keep with that blue cap. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> All crazy girls always sit next to fresh. This looks like a lovely panel of ladies today. Congrats, 500K. We go on one mil soon. Like the video, ninjas. I love you. you know, I don't know why that, that happens, bro. Like I don't know. Chris is planning. No, you know what? Because like, like you know, sometimes it's icy until to, to the left hand side. Sometimes it's fresh. You know, I have to balance it out, guys. You can't have all crazy people next to fresh or Myron. You know what I'm saying? Like some nights fresh, and nice be, Myron. They be touching me, bro. I'm like, bro, <laughs> chill, man. <laughs> well, she ain't gonna do it. I'm telling you, if uh, she touch you, it's over. <laughs> all right. All crazy girls always sit Wait, next. No, oh, yeah, read that yeah. one. Sorry. Five bucks, Scotty Brown. Girl next to Myron can get this iron. Okay. Gotcha. And girl from the UK can get it any day. All right. You want to drop your Instagram, Instagram. for him? Okay. All right, fine. Into the mic. <laughs> what? That girl, Lauren. That's it. That's it? It's just yeah. that girl, Lauren? Yeah, that and then girl, G-R-L. That to the mic. Okay. And that girl, Lauren. Okay. And uh, what's yours? Uh, Jada, period, Alexandra with two A's. All right, cool. And, and their Instagrams are below. Mike? I thought your Instagram would have been like not chefing people or something like that, but okay. <laughs> Uh, crypto cat 20 bucks market watch fnf stock surges after andrew tate appearance then falls the next day by three or four percent due to low iq <laughs> but still managed to read uh, all-time high over nine thousand percent with over 500k subs we up baby yeah bro yep. you know what i'm saying like we, we're back you know what i'm saying the haters tried to kill us over 30 plus youtube channels made videos like slandering our name whatever it is now they're mad that they're getting there's consequences of actions bro y'all are not going to be able to run around and drag our name in the mud with you know, falsely without some kind of recourse, bro. Like that's just not the way the world works. And just and just because your your reality is ours doesn't mean that we're wrong. Like we live this lifestyle. This is who we are. Yeah, like, bro. So, hey, man, you, you know what it is, bro? Some of them are mad that they can't do what we do. That's that's what it really is, man. Yeah, facts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I, and I don't even want to toot our own horn, but think about it, bro. Monday we talked to you guys about making money, right? We brought Grant Cardone, Robert Kiyosaki. You know what I'm saying? Critically acclaimed authors, guys that are multimillionaires, billionaires on the show. Teach you how to make money. Wednesdays, we talk about dating, right? Wait, let me take this hat off. It's <laughs> capping, god damn it. <laughs> I was gonna say like, I'm capping, god damn it. You know, Wednesdays, we talk about dating, right? We talked earlier today about how to get your ex back. Fridays, we put out a fitness video. And then every night we bring lovely ladies on the panel to talk about, you know, dating, whatever, entertainment, getting big blickies pulled on us. You know what I'm saying? We brought DJ <laughs> Academics on recently. Like, you know, we're doing everything that, that we can to create the best show. And like people are out here making videos on us and we don't even talk shit about y'all. We don't say anything about you guys. But the reason why they're mad is that we're not going to give you guys the oxygen and talk shit about you and give your give say your name. What we're going to do is we're going to go behind the scenes, get the legal people to do it for us, and then they're going to hit you guys where it really hurts your pockets. Okay? Mm -hmm. You make a hit piece on us, we're going to hit you back, but legally. All right? We're going to pursue every single avenue available to us for legal recourse. You want to play this game? Cool. Because now you want to run around and say, oh, well, dude, it wasn't that serious. You know what I'm saying? It's all fun and games. We're just reacting. You know what I'm saying? Like, blah, 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 blah. nah, man, nah. It's not just reacting because you guys came for our fucking necks with crazy allegations. You know what I'm saying? And none of them were true because we proved them wrong on that five hour show. But no one did a video following up to that five hours saying like, damn, OK, maybe we're wrong. Let's apologize. <laughs> Nobody did that. Y'all just kept making hit pieces, talking about Fresh's dating life, me, me getting girls on the show, all this shit. Cool. That's fine. We're not going to give you guys the oxygen to talk about you and say your name and give you the cloud that you want. We're going to hit you where it hurts. All right? Make videos on us. There's consequences to it. You know what I'm saying? Any Many big YouTube channels do this. If you use their stuff and copyright, they're going to hit you with a strike. Kevin Samuels does it. I don't see none of y'all saying nothing about Kevin Samuels. <clears throat> oh, it's okay. Facts. So, yeah. Anyone that has a brand to protect is going to do everything they can to get rid of people that make false allegations and slander. If y'all are talking the truth, fine. Whatever. But the other shit, nah, man. Uh, got rich cap. If you aren't generating people's salaries by st staking uh, B share and bomb dot money, then you can stay poor. 
Shout out to Myron. We are going to make it. Thanks. And that Shanks is this term for stabbing in the UK. And what if I react to FNF videos in a positive light? I mean, bro, you got to get our consent regardless. You know, I've taken videos down that that don't say anything about us because you, you guys can't use our content without our, our, our consent, bro. Like, it's just, yeah. we work really hard to create this stuff. If you use it, like, not nah. like you, you got to get our consent to do it and there's many people that dm me or send me an email hey i want you to do it i'll be like, all right cool no problem go ahead but you got to get our consent uh 10 bucks michael weston how do i get issues with the website con uh contest fix i should qualify for the rolex tier but it doesn't look like it's counting them thanks mm, it's, it's still counting them bro uh we're gonna and we'll talk about fnf spear bomb later on blue pill unplugged about time you push back on the haters at some point you have to or your business will suffer yeah man it is what it is little ba uh riley's jay's a very pretty girl with a nice smile and kind of random i like the shape of her shoulders i like to know how tall she is okay, okay. i've never so heard that random. compliment before right you got she, nice shoulders nice right. shoulders it's the Ooh, shoulders for me oh, really? i am five eight Ooh. okay yeah that's the model height it is yes. it is yeah. i thought it was five ten but okay five, <laughs> uh five bucks a transcender that is fair game when it comes to copyright. Yeah, absolutely, bro. I don't know why like people are mad. Oh, y'all trying to sign. Nah, it's like you can't use our shit, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, Jose Rodriguez, number one podcast world facts. Uh, M Shaba, act, take your broke ass home because you can't pay for a babysitter. Oh, salute to the fam. Pat Downs needed fellas. Yeah, act violated that girl yesterday. No wonder she went crazy. Uh, Dylan Kumar, girl on the uh, on the right looks like Mr. Popo ate the entire Popeye's menu. Oh shit, y'all niggas is talking shit. Ooh. You got something to say back to me? Talk about her. Me? Yeah, he's talking shit. You want to say something back to him? <laughs> Who's the guy? What does he, he even look like? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> she said, fuck you, bro. Uh, Andrew Cardenas. Funny that they get mad they're getting copyright strike for dropping videos without permission and defaming your character. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, LMAO, FNF, we up. Facts, bro. Any big channel, bro, if you use their content, they, they immediately copyright strike you. Like, immediately. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why they're crying about us doing it. It's like anyone that, that has a, a big channel does that shit, so... Uh, J.TV, 10 bucks. Can you bring UDY and or Bounty Hunter D on the show? Uh, Bounty Hunter, I'm in the works of getting that for y'all. Yeah. So don't worry. Shout out to our boy, Mike Rashid. Uh, Harlem Hustle. And I spoke to UDY before. He's got to figure out a date so they can come in. Yeah, because the they're in LA, guys. Yeah. Uh, why not I got Chris Harrier for Fitness Friday? I'm pretty sure he's in Miami, too. Uh, eh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, D Nice, thank you guys for standing up to the Gossip Squad, Bobo and Screech and Spencer L., and the lead gossip stay over there, you internet 304s. Um, and yeah, man, like I said, bro, like I don't have any issues with these guys. I don't I don't have any problems with them, whatever. We didn't make hit pieces back on them, but you guys are damned if you think you're gonna make videos on us, make money off of us, insult us, degrade us, uh, slander us, make a whole bunch of allegations that we've proven were false and think we're just gonna stand around and let y'all do it. No, <laughs> like I said before, you make a hit piece, you're gonna get hit back legally, and we're gonna make sure we hit you where it hurts your pockets. So if you want to make videos, cool. There's going to be consequences. Frank Castle comes in many forms, and sometimes it's legal recourse. So think about what you do next. Uh, that's not English. You came a new member. Welcome, brother. All right, let's get into the show. Cool, and we got 4,000 y'all in here. Uh, uh, please go ahead and, and like the video. My bad. And 10 bucks and up, guys. Yeah, we're, yeah. from this point forward, we're going to go 10 bucks and up. Uh, so Fresh, you want to him with the first question? Sure. So ladies, first question on the panel is, in your experience, what you've been through, what is one, I want to say, approach or pickup line someone used to you that works on you so for example you're out doing your thing guy approached you got your phone number it was smooth what do you say to you to me that happened and we'll start right here that's not been successful so <laughs> i can't answer that yep. i've never no no one's ever made a successful approach where i've given them my number not instagram in person no friends no. work no <laughs> stop the cow <laughs> Really? I've been. I've just. I literally <laughs> said no. It. Okay. Fine. Be successful to the mic, please. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I had no choice oh, no. today to give my number out today. So that one doesn't count. But it was literally my dad's friend hopped in the jacuzzi next to me, and my best friend that's here, and I'm not capping. Yeah. And I felt like obligated to give him my number because he's my dad's friend. So All right, Chef uh, Chief Mara came count. out. <laughs> so the secret to your heart is to jump in the jacuzzi next to you and get your number. <laughs> is that a secret? <laughs> I guess so, as long as my best friend's there. So no one has ever pushed you to like your phone number? No. I've said no thanks. <laughs> I said no thank All you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> what about you? Um, honestly, right now, 
I don't remember. But <laughs> guys usually I can feel their, you know, their intention. So I don't really care what they have to say. If I feel like you're not right, then gotcha. it's a no for me. Mm-hmm. Usually if they ask me for my number, I'll be like, what do you need it for? <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> you have my number, so what? <laughs> so like, usually, I mean, I have a boyfriend, so I'm not even like interested in nobody else. How did your boyfriend meet you? To become your I have to be honest. I was on Bumble, boring. I was bored. I just wanted to meet people, and we just clicked. bored. Yeah, I was bored. We clicked because I love just bored. Art. Might as well find a boyfriend. It's bored, man. No, no, that was not my intention. <laughs> I wanted to meet people. I'm 21, so like I wanted to explore. So explore, we started, ta- started talking, my line here. <laughs> and then we started drawing together. I'm like, I love art. He is good at it, so why not? He was drawing so, pictures with you? Huh? He was drawing pictures with you? <laughs> of me? No, with you. With me? Yeah, yeah. We, we made whatever. Be with the mic, please. Yeah, yeah. whatever, yeah. All right. So if That's... it makes sense, then yeah. If it doesn't, then no. If I see you're just trying to fuck, then it's like, mm, okay, no. Just no. It's just boring. Right. We'll come back to you because uh, that's a very good point. <laughs> yeah, it's boring. <laughs> Bless up, man. <laughs> How about you? For me, I don't really remember like a specific pickup line, but it was like about the approach. If someone's direct with me, or if I just sense that confidence, like you, you haven't. Every girl, I want to fuck. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> no, <laughs> you are. I need you to at least be a little bit more sweeter than that. Like sweet, sweet talk me. At I'm being least, direct, you know. man. No, that's too direct. <laughs> like if you want me to, you know, define the relationship. If you approach me like this is all I want, then I'll be direct with you and let you know. Well, that's not my intention. I'm someone you got to take out. I want to get to know you. I'm a little slower to fuck, you know. But it's mostly that direct approach that has worked for me to give you my Instagram because I don't give out my number. <laughs> you don't give out your number ever? <laughs> Instagram first, then my number if I'm really feeling you. <laughs> I have Period, to vet yeah. you. I'm not about to just give you my direct line. That's a fact. So the default is Instagram. <laughs> yeah. And if you pass the exactly. test, then phone number. Exactly. Yeah. What if I get both at the same time? <laughs> I'm sorry, repeat. What if I get both at the same time? <laughs> Dang, I must really like you then. <laughs> That's fair. It's rated? not cap. Is that rated? <laughs> this, this is cap. Well, yeah, all so. kinds of. Never give your number out? No, I always give my social media out. That's. I have. Yeah. Uh-huh. And we're canceled from all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> we're canceled all over the nation. All right, fair enough. This is a hard question. Who remembers the pickup line? Like, really? Or what he said to you? What he said to you that made you like? I agree. I agree with you on the point that I don't remember a specific pickup line. However, I do remember a specific person who I remember their pickup lines were really corny, but they were so like wavy (laughs) about it. Like they had such swag about it that I was like, okay, you're playful. But how long ago was this? I got you. This was a while ago. It was a while ago? This was maybe a couple years ago. Did you uh, fornicate with this individual? I didn't. I never did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which uh, other country are you going to be in now? No cat. We need an uh, Eskimo hat here. Yeah. <laughs> no cat whatsoever. Listen. <laughs> Monica, it's starting to get ridiculous now. That is not a cat. That is a mask. This is is starting to get ridiculous. (laughs) Yeah, it's. it's, I had to put a mask on because that wouldn't work on this one. This is ridiculous now. I should be in Japan right now, fucking doing contract hits, but I'm here listening to you live. (laughs) All right. What about you? Please, can you repeat the question? Yeah, I got you. You You stupid. (laughs) <laughs> okay. so, the question is, <laughs> so many no, answers you kind of just forget question is question. when has someone approached you a, a guy and it worked like basically his approach worked on you honestly I have the same answer as you like you I don't remember, remember. I, was, I, I don't yeah. remember it's about the intentions yeah. yeah and uh, yeah honestly it's been a while I just I've not really been in a situation for a guy to approach me like that right now um, it's post COVID. Mm, yeah, and I'm just like working all the time, just focusing on myself. So, uh, yeah, I can't remember 
but yeah like you said if someone comes up to you direct confident and then you're feeling them too then i'll give out my instagram thank you see yeah. how it goes yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's me. my best friend <laughs> all right well, moving on smartly what about you miss nurse I know, I know i know you got stories don't call me that um the time a man approached me and it works it's usually i usually filter people through instagram like i like to see what they're up to i like to like basically do my research mm-hmm see who they know and stuff like that because it gives me a background that it's a real person and because I refuse to be catfish um yeah I like to look at their Instagram and I mean usually it'd be a casual conversation but I have to like you first I don't think I will give my number first before a person asks for my number if they ask for my number then if I like them I give it to them okay that's fair what about you um I can't, like all the ladies said, I can't remember a specific pick Yeah, what did he do that was memorable that you went out with him? It's the funny guys that get me. Those are the guys that (laughs) usually are the ones that like, yo, you funny as hell, you cool. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I can give you my number. But I do like to do the Instagram first so I can Mm -hmm. spy and, you know, get my little juice on them. Family, friends, father, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Cool. Interesting. Yeah. What about you? So... I do music, so when somebody called me, it'd be like, oh, that shit was dope. Can I get your phone number so we can link up? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's how I go. And that's it. That's it. So, guys, just a quick summary here. It's not what you say. It's how you make them feel that really matters in this, in this scenario. Yes. And we got a video to react to. Yeah. Showcase this as well. Okay. And I got a question for the ladies after. We can do it after the video, though. There you go. Because apparently everyone at the table is celibate. So I, I got a... This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe it. So um, all right. So what's the, the video he said it, co- it covers this topic, right? Yeah. Shout out to our boy, Gerald Houston. He does funny uh, clip videos regarding uh, pickup lines. And it's funny to see him in action doing his thing. All right. Let's see. One second. Shout out Danny Banks, by the way. Yeah, shout this out is Danny, Danny Banks? Banks? Yeah. yeah. Your Man, I'm about to sue all three of y'all. Damn, oh shit, cash down. Right. Yeah, so. I wasn't looking at your butt. What's your name again? Chanel. Hey, we went through sexy yeah, for that quick, metro house. channel as well. Are, are go support great? him as well. He was on the show as well with Funny Marco. It was a funny episode. Episode. Go, go support him as well. All right, cool. Okay. Man, I'm about to sue all three of y'all. I'm calling my lawyer right now, Top Dog Law. I broke my neck looking at y'all. <laughs> calling my lawyer right now, Top Dog Law. Yeah, no, I'm just playing. Out. What's your name? Lex. Lex? Like six. But Lex? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I get your phone number, Lex? My number? Yeah. How old is you? Huh? How old is you? I'm 32. <laughs> How old are you? 22. Oh, damn. Lex don't want to do that. That ain't an R. Kelly shit, though. <laughs> that ain't R. Kelly, though. <laughs> I ain't R. Kelly. Go ahead and give me the number. All right, you can say your phone. Yeah, I think we're too sexy for that metro housing. Diamonds popped out. I'm gonna call sixty thousand. I'm sorry. Sexy needs some more things in here. Yeah, I like it crowded. Yeah, I like it crowded. In my section. I got a section. Yeah. Tonight at the club. At the wave. No. Pause real quick. Really? Is uh, what song is that from? Oh, I'm too sexy. Yes, so, too well, sexy. Exactly. Drake and Future. Oh, exactly. okay. Yeah. Okay. No, I like drink. it crowded. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. some Drake. I ain't gonna lie. So. Unless you act. I didn't know. Yeah. Okay. You trying to come out? Uh, of course. I go. You gonna go? Yeah. Bring some of your friends. Okay. Yeah, don't forget the wave. Okay. My name is Hubie. It's under Hubie. Okay, what's your number? My number? Oh, there's my number in there. Oh. What's your name anyway? Oh, <laughs> sure. well, oh, you Ladies, would that actually work on you? No, no, no. She, no, I older. she looks like an older lady, right. so they feel like almost more. everybody in my area. Right. 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 And her name is Hubie. If somebody okay. told me their name was Hubie, I would have been like, mm. okay, Hubie. 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 His name is Hubie. Oh, that would be that wouldn't work for you. No, it's the name for you. It's the name. So you disqualify guy off his name. God dang. What the fuck? What if he looks good and has money to get what Lambo fit? Six feet th- nah, tall. Now he gotta look good. That's number one. He, you can give yeah, but his name—he didn't pick that name. 
<laughs> your mom, man. What's your street name at this point? What's your street name? TV is not working. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. If I have money and my name was Hubie, I'd change that shit. Yeah, but that was still. <laughs> that that shit is still, black. Yeah, I'm like, sorry, man. Like, you describe. That I mean, I got a weird ass name, so I can't even oh talk shit, but it's like, damn. Nah, I don't He's like that though. name. Have a nickname. He's trolling, though. Have I mean, a street name. He's trolling. Oh, okay. What kind of guys you mess with? I need a street name. Hubie. Tyrone. <laughs> I, I guess, man. man. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, I guess, uh, guys, you if your if your name is a sexy she she ain't gonna fuck with you. You gonna have to go to the, the judge, cause yo when you go to, when you go to uh, get your name changed, right? Because uh, mm -hmm. I remember I had my last name legally shortened. The judge asks you, at least in the state of Connecticut, like, are you uh, are you aware of any like criminal uh, charges against you? Or are you trying to flee? You have to sign all this shit. And they ask you, what is the reason for the name change? Yeah. Could you imagine under oath <laughs> trying to get more bitches, Your Honor? I'm trying to get laid, bro. This shit I bet you he signed uh, it quick. This chick yeah, oh, yo, oh, yo, 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 look at you like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, stupid. Get oh, out my goddamn God. job. Get out my courtroom, nigga. Like, what? Oh, my God. Uh, I'll be honest, <laughs> you know? I go in there. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, yo, let me call you a dream world, right? Right? He would definitely understand. I'm done with him. Right? <laughs> so many At this point, it's just mad. Oh, no. Okay? Oh, no. I have a yeah. Yo, you like are. Yo, <laughs> listen, man. I can't get no tricks. So why are you wearing a ski mask? Because I'm trying to get this new name that I got. Thug Roddick. That's what I want my name to be. His so I can mask. get this chick because she wants a thug dude, oh, man. She needs God. a good street name. So Thug Roddick should work, okay. right? City boy. He'd be like, what the fuck out yeah. here? City boy. Yeah. City boy. I can fuck you with that. Yeah, man, it ain't gonna work. Oh Just fix the mask for me. I know, please. fix the mask. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gotta go in like this. No. <laughs> I think I got it upside down. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Just, just shit. Yeah. Yeah. But still, man, the guys gotta do this crazy shit to get their goddamn name changed, man. Hey, oh, anything for the females, right? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> That's shit crazy. <laughs> All right. All right. My Your Honor, my name she is hurting. So my great. name is hurting my game. <laughs> so, so right. sad. Douglas. She's probably a cool girl. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Zyla? Yeah. Okay, I like it. I like yeah. it. Yeah, she a little bit too. Excited. I'm Yeah, she's trying to get out of the mix. She's trying to get out of the mix. Huh? Shawty going legit. Shawty going legit. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to support your shit. I'm just supporting your shit. What's your name? I didn't even talk I got a boyfriend. That's, that's your name? <laughs> I don't okay. talk about it, but... I wasn't looking at your butt. Wait. Mm -mm. Yeah, whole real right there. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god! Uh, no, he didn't. He says, I don't know. Oh, he I And it's too, it's too cold. Oh my yes god. or no? <laughs> Yo, it's just, it's man at cancel yet? Love. She's deaf or he's deaf? I would have felt no, sorry for him. Yes. Yeah, I would have felt yes too. Oh I felt sorry for him. I mean, say shit. She she what actually she giving doing? him her number. No, oh, no. oh god, oh, Lord. he's gone. He's gone. Yeah. She's just a sweetheart. She's just yeah, feels she's sorry. Nice. Yeah. She's just being nice. She's trying to make mm -hmm. sense. Doing some charity work. I see. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I don't know, man. She ain't the baddest, so I, she got to take what she can get. <laughs> Why you ain't holla at her in the wheelchair? Him deaf, him deaf. What I'm gonna say? He just bought him in the chat. Yeah. Yo, this is a good question here. Pause oh, real quick. <laughs> That's actually a pretty funny super chat. AAL had it uh, right there. He goes, <laughs> Fresh, you my guy, but I gotta ask, ladies would disqualify a man with the name Walter. Have you ever gotten that, Fresh? <laughs> Walter. <laughs> like, you know, it's funny. That's like, his uh, real name, Walter. I've actually oh, had. Two girls told me. Oh, no, it's okay, guys. You can say what you really feel. I haven't given him a nickname. I haven't given him a nickname. I have had guys before. I like Walter. What's the one? Walter. I'm rich as fuck. Yeah, like I said. They call me Fresh. Oh, Walter. Fresh. Yeah. Ladies, that sounds like a white name. Ladies, ladies, one mic at a time, please, because you sound like. Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, Okay. Get out of the mix. She's trying to get out of the mix. Shorty going legit. I said, Shorty going legit. I'm just trying to support your shit. I'm trying to support you. Whatever your dreams is, yeah. Whatever your dream, whatever your goals, your ambitions, I'm trying to support that. Okay. What's your name, anyway? So I can know who I'm supporting. P. What's your name? P. Mm -hmm. Like the letter P. Yeah. Like I got a P. Yeah. Like uh, okay. Her. Uh, my name Hubie. You're behind you? Yeah. How old are you? Me? I'm 32. Oh, you are. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can I get your phone number so we can hang out? P. Master P. <laughs> Pause. Something very interesting that the girls always want to know how old he is. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Weird. yeah. Uh, Age matters. What, yeah, okay. Um, real quick, let's go around the table. Why do you got? Why? Why would you guys think that the girl? I think I. I know why, but I want to see what you guys think. Well, why? Why are the girls asking for his age so much? Like that's like the number one thing they they ask. We'll start here and then go around. Honestly, I like to honestly into the, the mic, mic please. please. Honestly, I like to date guys in their thirties and like yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm 27, so yeah. That's All right. Why. What about you? Well, you Walk have a lot of time to save, so that means you can afford me. Yeah, first of all, <laughs> I love guys that are older than me. That's that's like yeah, number one. I like guys that are older than me, immature. Mm. So yeah, it matters. And if you're like 27, like my boyfriend, he's fun. He's like outgoing, and I like and I love that. You know, yeah. if it's like 30, like mm, okay, 35 is like. I don't know. It depends on the guy. That's the thing. Every guy is different. I love men. I have to say that. No, every guy is different. Definitely. Bruh. All right. So I, <laughs> he's, he's got to save money. I, I guess he's got a lot of time to save Better money. save money. So he, he had a lot of time to save money, guys. Yes. So, all right. I, fair. All right. What about I just, you? I think you just want to judge the age gap. Like, you don't want to be with someone just, like, too old for you. You know? But let's keep it a thousand. If the guy was attractive and he said, I'm 45. Oh, he's attractive. No. Oh, yeah. You ain't gonna care, yes. <laughs> right? Yeah, you, I, I, I might not take the relationship so seriously. True. So you're telling me you're gonna care if he's 45 and he's attractive and got his shit together? You're gonna be like, no, I'm not gonna take it serious. And just stroke, a little, yeah, because at the end of the day, you kind of care about what your family's gonna think. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing home someone who's 45. <laughs> Comrade, you're lying. Okay. Comrade, you're lying. <laughs> Okay. What about you? Um, I think for me, I am trying to more so than anything match the age to the approach. So Okay. Like if Smart. you came at me like immaturely and you're like 30 plus, I'm like, my guy, let me talk to you real quick. <laughs> Again, mature. And teach you how to come at the next girl you're attracted to, right? But then if you're like young and being playful, I'm like, oh, okay, I get that. That so might be stupid. cute, you know? Waste of time. So, yeah. What if he says, comrade, your hair is green. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. What are you going to say? And I'm still a grown-ass woman. Thank you, and I take care of mine. Yes, period. Period. Comrade, I take care of mine too. I just want to add you to taking care of. Well, that's cute. And some girl going to like that, but she's not me. I think you should find her. Oh. I have plenty in Russia. I want a black woman. Will you take me? There's plenty of black women. It's not me. In Russia, there's none. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I feel like... Merch. Church and stores, guys. Um... I feel like just asking the age kind of sets the tone of like the next step. I feel, I feel like it also breaks the ice. And I kind of like to know kind of what I'm working with. If, if it's an older guy, then automatically I'm going to feel like you're more mature. And if I'm looking for someone more mature, mm-hmm. then it might work. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Just because know. they're older doesn't mean age they're mature. Not, See, that is true. Okay. It that means they're more true. stuck in their ways That's and true. harder to change. And manipulators. <laughs> but honestly, Facts. as well, thank you. I have an I have an idea of kind of what I'm looking for in someone, and I do I do want someone that's like a little bit older than me. So if you're younger, I need to know so mm-hmm. I can just like not waste my time. Essentially. Okay. What about you? Um, maturity level. Yeah, age don't bring maturity, but. It's more experience to some degree. They probably immature in certain areas in their life, but to some degree, they're mature in certain areas. Okay. What about you? Um, I think I want to know. I want to make I sure you're not too. Mu- I want to make sure you're not too much younger than me. Okay. It's not the older. I mean, I would prefer older, but I just want to make sure I'm not dealing with a young boy. And there's nothing wrong with that because, like, most of the ladies said age does not determine maturity. But I can't be with a 20-year-old. Like, I don't care how Mm -hmm. good you approached me or how well put together you are. You're 20. You're not experienced. You know, Mm -hmm. it's like, yeah. So. Oh. (laughs) Okay. Well, me? Um, Long as you're old enough, that's how I feel. 
If you're old enough, you can get it. What's old enough? <laughs> What's, old enough? <laughs> What's the age gap? Yeah. 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 Hey, if you old, eighteen. If you old, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got scared oh, there for a damn. second. Oh. She said you can get it. She was like, if you're old enough, old and in my head, I'm like, oh shit, man, <laughs> like. <laughs> So I got like, like Period. I got a lot of kids. Mm-hmm. So if you could take care of me and them kids, take care of the mic, please. How many kids do you have? I have seven. God damn! Wait, wait, wait what? <clears throat> Yeah, I thought in you said four. No, in right. the show. Four boys. Four boys. Oh, what? Fuck Wait, son. seven kids? Yeah. Girl, you look good. Thank you. The uh, same guy yeah, or what? Good. Nah. All the night, if I was. So one man I got to with seven kidneys. That's a blessing, yo. One man I got to stay with seven kidneys. Wait. No. I want kids. I don't have no. How many baby Serious daddies do you have? Huh? Um, <laughs> how many baby daddies do you have? Um, uh, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bro. I got by. Hey, I, yo, she five. giving it real. Four or five. All the night. She <laughs> has one baby daddy for seven kidneys. Uh, Seven kids. You kids. You? Know what that means? No. A married woman. Unless it's sex tough. Uh, how much? Let me Seven people you. have seven kids at one time. That's so. No, yeah. So how it went was right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know how it goes when you have great kids. Let me hear it. I want to hear what happened. Now go ahead. So how it went was. I went to the mic, please. When one relationship didn't work, I was on to the next. And Ooh. Boop. Pop that one okay. and pop that. Look, they all behind each other. So okay, yeah. okay. God Just damn. fertile. It runs in the family. You know, my mama got like what eleven. Ooh, yeah, damn. So, I mean, but you know what? You're blessed. You're Thank blessed. Children children are blessed. That's what I'm saying. Thank like, you. I want children. Well, you're extra fertile. I'm okay. trying not to have. Better no. be. Shit. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm running for the hills. <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> no child support coming in or no? No. 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 Oh, that's well, why you're working. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Snicker Chris. Uh, you feel me? Like, I'm, I'm like, listen, if they don't want to do it, I'm going to do it regardless. Do it to the mic, please. Right. Good know, right. All right, who's up now? Uh, okay, we could keep, keep it going with the video? Yeah. All right. Just a little bit more. A little bit more? All right. You okay? No Instagram or nothing? Damn. Oh, okay. About face. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hey, don't do the Master P line. <laughs> don't do the Master P line. Damn, oh shit, cash down. Oh shit. Y'all see that? I almost had that shit so I did that master P line. Y'all cash seen that down. shit? Damn. Damn. Damn, man. <laughs> that Carlos Miller. Oh my god, Carlos Miller, bro. <laughs> Carlos <laughs> Miller, bro. No, no, no. Carlos Miller, bro. That ain't me. 85 South Show. Wow. 85 South Show, bro. Wow. I guess Dang, skip a little bit. Mix. Yeah, you want to skip to the end or? Yeah, we, um... where where did he do this at? This is Atlanta? I think it's a mall in... That's what it looked like. Wendy's. It's like a know. mall, yeah. Wendy's Mall, maybe? Yeah. yeah. And uh, Right here? Yeah. And guys, there's 5,000 plus y'all in here. Please do me a quick favor. Like the video, man. Subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? If you guys are enjoying the entertainment, we got y'all with everything. No? Yeah. Number one men's podcast yeah. in the world. Yes. With the laughs and everything. Okay, so. I ain't heard of him yet. Yo, lock me in. Give me your number or, or take mine. I'll text you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hey. Yeah. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> Hey, I'm too sexy for this syrup. Ooh, yeah. Too sexy for your girl. It's a walk for me. It's a walk for me. I know, right? It's I'm too sexy ass. for this ice. Seriously ruining my Oh, my God. Song. I thought that I'm was... I'm ruining it. She's yeah. like a mask. Lizzie McGuire. What's her name? What's her name? I follow you. Do y'all call her Lizzie McGuire? Lizzie is not so thick. Thanks for being my show, eh? You gonna lie? Danny. Oh, my name is Hubert. They call me Hubie, though. Hubie, though. Listen. That's how I get your phone number. Listen. The lyrics aren't gonna work with me, boo. What? Are you the real certified lover boy? Are, are you Drake? I gotta be the real Drake. Oh with the yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. That's Ooh, fucked up. All right. She's All right, bet. You at Dunkin' Donuts? Okay. All right, I see. <laughs> and by the way, shout out to our girl, Danny Banks. She came on to a show before. Um, She's a very nice girl. I know yeah, the, yeah, the people have been trying to get her back. Uh, yeah, Chris, make it happen, man. Hit her up. Yeah, sure. I'll yeah, sure. Um, she came back uh, when we first were starting out, so shout out to her. Yeah, shout out to her. Um, All right, cool. Um, me and her got in an argument. Was actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. We got in an argument at Moxie's. I know, right? That was she funny. got mad. Yeah, it's funny. Nice. Uh, but uh, all right, cool. Oh, uh, damn, Twenty bucks, Casper driver. Twenty bucks. Thank you so much, you, brother. Uh, yo, guys, thank you so much for all the all the uh, support, man. Uh, okay, let's see here. Wayne, twenty five bucks. A punch to the head hurts for a short time. A punch in the pocket book 
hurts longer and leaves a lasting impression. Yeah, man, we're we're gonna we're we're just gonna. The thing is this, man. Like, we got to protect our business and we got to protect our brand. And when people run around and like make false accusations or false things, because they'll say now they're trying to put it down. Like, oh no, it was just like you know some jokes, you know, just commentary, whatever. Nah, man, you guys were coming at our next, bro. And there were thirty plus of YouTube channels doing that shit. So you can't hit and not expect to get hit back. And see, we like, we just re- reacted to a video. We showed love to the person. It's not like we were like talking yeah. about them. Shout out to Joe. Yeah. Go go follow him on uh, on Instagram, guys. He came on the on the show before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When we react to videos, we don't attack the content creator. We actually put their content there and shout them out. Like we spread love, bro. We're not here to hate on people and all this other stuff. So it's like if you make hateful content, talking shit, you gotta be ready for what comes with that. Like it's crazy to me how people are crying about it, but like any other big channel, if you use their stuff, they're gonna copyright strike you within seconds. Yep. Yeah. So. All right, Schwartz Gamer. Uh, facts, bro, and those false allegations are defamation of character. Facts. Y'all are legit. Put some respect on FNF name and the founders. Yeah, bro. Thanks, bro. Yeah, That's yeah. all, man. Uh, bougie, 10 bucks. They mad because they can't get no celebrity on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, it is what it is, man. Rod Eric, book in room and flight tomorrow for 500 k And who is that beautiful woman in the middle? With the green hair. What's your Instagram? It's the shoulders. Hi. <laughs> I'm Riley. I am at the Riley J Show. That is... R Y L E E and just the letter J. Yes, the Riley J Show. So Instagram. make sure to send your dick pics there, guys. <laughs> send those dick pics over. No, Do not send me dick pics. I don't want them. Send no, us, thank you. Send us unsolicited money. No, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> My cash app is. All right. Glad y'all made it through the last night from the Godly Demon. That said, lovely panel you got tonight. Oh, yeah. Joe, just so you guys know, by the way, uh, DJ Academics, he's going to post it tonight or it might be posted already. Me and him did a, a podcast where I talked that we broke down the uh, the hip hop cases, you know, with Casanova, Pushaisty, um, YNW Melly, um, Six Nines, Rico case, etc. And uh, we talked about as you guys know, I used to work in law enforcement with the feds, so I used to do these investigations. So I kind of gave a different perspective on how they built the case and everything else like that. Really interesting show uh, with academics. So check it out on his Off the Record podcast. As you guys know, academics is a homie of the show, yep. so go support him. Uh, Joshi, um, J- Joshi Gaming. Uh, 10 bucks. Can you guys Frank Castle Riley so I can focus on the show? <laughs> These guys, bro. What is she, <laughs> send a dick pic to her Instagram. She just dropped it. <laughs> oh, right. $10. Martin, if I recall my anatomy, you're going to miss the testicles if you aim for the pockets. <laughs> hey, man, it is what it is, man. <laughs> Ian Simmons, 20 bucks. Message deleted. Probably made fun of uh, Chris's hairline. <laughs> uh, Fred Seville, 15 bucks. I see the Lambo Fresh. Island Boys, we up. Facts, man. Yes, sir. Island Boys. Yeah, man. We uh, Dion Spivy. Everything that's been said in the manosphere is c- comprised of original thoughts stemming from the same narratives. Contribute your own POV and you won't have to use others' content for help. Simple. Right. Yeah. Bro, like, it, like real talk, it, if, if you make other content and you get one video taken down because you copyright us and you have content out there, you wouldn't care. But a lot of people make a living off of talking shit about us. And we're not going to allow that anymore. You know? If you use our stuff, I'm going to say this one more time for you guys crystal fucking clear. If you use our content without our express written consent, contacting me or fresh and getting permission we will come after you we will issue a copyright strike on you your video will get taken down it's gonna mess with your channel so stop making videos on us and make original shit simple simple we don't talk about you guys so go ahead and make content other stuff help people out instead of making hit pieces trying to get a reaction or make money off of us that's it al fresh you my guy but i gotta ask ladies would you oh no read that one earlier uh medic sound oh what? Uh, so actually, someone electric relaxation asked a good question. Honest question: Can you guys get in trouble for reacting to this video, Chris? Um, uh, I'm just figuring out ways that the haters don't uh, find loopholes. F and F, uh, one million by March. Now, bro, we know Joe the person. You know, yeah, we know personally. <laughs> yeah, and he told us where he's good. So you know what I'm saying? And and we're showing him love. We're not here to talk shit about him. Twenty bucks, Ju too. Girl with the green hair has the prettiest face. The girl to her left has the second prettiest face. The girl on the right side of green hair is the third prettiest, and the rest of the girls equivalent to after I take a number two. Oh, shit. And y'all want to say something back to him? Like, fuck you or some shit? Let's take a look at your picture. I'm just yeah. laughing at him because he's ugly. <laughs> I need your Instagram. You better get it. Oh, my God. Joshua yes. Deal, $10. You're pretty. Is it okay Thank to interview you. girls on street, uh, street same topic as you post on YouTube, but basically be a reporter for FNF Street version? Also, I'm saying merch like I have Tourette's hearing the phrase now. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. It'll be happening. Cool, uh, and then we got uh, 10 bucks from Congo English. The green hair, very discerning and intuitive. God bless. Okay. Um, and then uh, Tom Chad. If, Tom Chad. Uh, Myronov. LOL. A shout out to Chris. I found myself saying merch in a work meeting. 
Okay. Oh, wow. 20 bucks from Jay Martin. Miss English, you anywhere near Derby, England? I'm American, but I visit a couple times a year for business. Beautiful countryside. Oh, hey. That's you. Uh, yeah, no. Um, I'm near Cambridge. Um, yeah, I'm not near Derby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Marweezy, shout out to our new audio engineer, Mo. Me, uh, man, so polite when he talks and so wholesome after yesterday's bimbo attack. Careful though, Mo. Martin's about to be on that ass. Pause. Oh no, don't worry, guys. He's working on losing weight. I roasted him the first minute I saw him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't worry, man. Over here, we help each other out. But yeah, he went to the gym today. He's working on it, guys. Oh. He will not be fat very soon. Mind, body, soul. There you For go. For real. Tell him again, baby. Uh, yeah, here, uh, you're uh, higher. Seven kids, time to get the tube side. Oh. <laughs> you got a response for that? And so, right? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh casper driver are any of the women on the show sell a bit because if they sell a bit i'll buy a bit and who the f is don demarco <laughs> okay so i actually wanted to ask this so well we know you ain't celibate but i'm gonna ask anyway are you celibate no all right okay right now um well, push the mic towards you come on ladies it's not hard well i haven't had sex in a, almost a month so Almost a month? Yes. So three weeks? weeks? Yeah, like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> how are you going how, how to put the cat pack on? That's not cat. It's not like I said three months. I said three weeks. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. What about you? When's the last time you got laid? I can't remember. What? <laughs> I can't remember. Drunk or it's been a while. Oh, okay. No, I wasn't drunk. It's just been a while. What? I made oh an executive decision. Mm, okay. Yeah. What about you? Um, the last time was I'd say a month ago. Oh Lord, have mercy! <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> like, but... you had sex or something? Oh Jesus! Yeah. Oh, okay. You have a boyfriend, girl. <laughs> a month? <laughs> oh, a month ago, yes. Was it near Derby? <laughs> yes, it was near Derby. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. okay. All right, Bahamas. Oh, Bahamas, when's the last time you First got First of all, I just want to put out there that being celibate is not, I haven't had sex in a while. I feel like people put those two things together Merch. and they are not synonymous. Okay. Um, celibacy oh. is a choice. I am not celibate though. So when's the last time it you smashed? Has, I know that it's been more than a couple months, but I can't remember when, honestly. <laughs> it's been a hot little minute. I am... <laughs> Okay, that's on a good. drought. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, I am too. Hey, I'm yeah, because okay it's really hot in Mexico. I haven't been on a drought too. That's cap. You lying? A month? It's you been said more a month? Than a month or two? It's been more than a couple months. So it's been a couple months that since you smashed. Yes. So no foreplay. No. Mm, okay. I'm guessing you got a dildo. I sure do. Thank oh, you. Oh, there you are. Right there. Huh? Okay, that that makes sense. <laughs> I don't believe it <laughs> at all. But okay. No. What about you? When's the last time you smashed? I ended a situation ship almost like three weeks ago. So last time I had sex was probably three weeks ago. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Go the Indian giver. <laughs> All right. Who do you what? believe? I Me mean, is like when I feel like like when I feel like merch. It. So when's the last no, time no, you smashed? No, 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 no. When I feel like it, I wasn't saying I feel like. Yeah, but yeah. so same. Yeah, but when's the last time you smashed? Oh come on. When's the last time you smashed? Uh, I don't know. Before Two, show. No, 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 no. <laughs> Two to three weeks. <laughs> what? I love Wait. my boyfriend. Wait, you got a boyfriend? So. You ever smash your boyfriend two or three weeks? What? No, no. Come on. He travels a lot. No, okay? I just whenever I feel like it. Oh, no. it's up Yo. to the dog, man. Yo. You know that. All right, it's up to us. So All right. whenever yeah. I feel like it. All right, you're watching, man. Do you like so... him? He is yeah. watching. Is he like a dog? Are you watching? Do you think he's watching? I'm not a nigga. very sexual person. So you're not. Do you think he's sleeping with somebody else? No, he's not. He wouldn't okay. dare. He so, wouldn't like she was yeah. stepping in his chest. I don't think. Yeah, but he, but all right. So don't you think he wants it though? Yeah. He proves it every time. Comrade, <laughs> if you're watching this show, you need to break up with her immediately. <laughs> no, in pa, Russia. No, not even two weeks. We do not deny a six. I mean, I I don't 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 what, to be honest, I don't remember, but probably you like a week remember. ago. Like a it should have been like ago. yesterday. Bro. No, no, no. Comrade, <laughs> and comrade you travel, break up with her right now. Right now. Get yourself a Russian woman. They don't do this. Yo, I hope he has three girlfriends, man. Give him head. What? Like any whenever I feel like it. If I'm like if I'm drinking right now and I'm drunk, I'm like, come over. I want to suck your dick. 
But that's not every day. Yeah, that's, that's not every day. No, we're women. We're not that sexual. Admit it, please. No, we're not I mean, that sexual. Don't, I am, so. don't speak for me. I wouldn't wait two weeks. Yeah, you guys are busy. Not Aren't you guys busy? Yes. 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 But I'm gonna start trying to. But I'm going to schedule sex in there. It, okay, yeah. that but two weeks. Oh, oh, yeah. That's true. Two weeks boyfriend. is too long. I don't think it's too. That's big. consistent. I just dick. said that just to fill in the blank because I don't really remember. So when be you honest. lay behind, so you, you don't get horny. Uh, sometimes, but then I think about stuff. You know, woman. Like your dog. It's the dog. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. She's a female, actually. She's a female dog. <laughs> no, not in that way. I mean, like, you care about your dog, not in that way. Yeah, no, I'm saying you just care about your dog I'm more than you. him. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe that. Okay. Okay. You said she's into. <laughs> All right. Okay. What about you? What's the last time you smashed? I smashed on Sunday. I know that's oh, right. Day and he was amazing. Oh, I love that for you. Is that right. you're, oh yeah, that's well, you're single though, right? Yes. Okay. All right. We were cool. On a date and he was amazing. Yeah. Girl. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know okay. that. It was right. my like that was my like third date with him, and he lives in Boston. And the first okay. date we went on was like three months ago. So yeah, it was amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Damn, you, made yeah. Huh? you made him wait three months. You made him wait three months. No. No, she didn't. No. That's just the day she smashed. That was no, no, she date. said that's the day they went on the first date. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Right? We've been on three days. That like that was our third date. But you said the first. But she just smashed Sunday. She didn't I just specify that. that I don't was have the to smash. I don't have to tell you guys when I first smashed him. But oh, okay, okay, okay. He got okay. smashed right. again yeah. on our third. Uh, so he got she, smashed again. again. Yeah, okay. yeah, she like fucked him on the first okay. day. So you, that's why I was just. That's why I don't want to say. But there's nothing wrong with that. You was probably really feeling the chemistry. See how she's trying to finesse. No, he's amazing. He's nice. He's successful. No, he's great. I smashed on the first day. Yes, I can smash. That's why he's great. He's all right. Cool. She's still single though, guys. So send him dick pics. Maybe she'll pick you over him. They're going to send them anyway. So, uh, King Music, just sending t- to support. Glad y'all are, are safe. Thank you, man. Uh, 10 bucks, Joshua Deal. Girl left of green hair has almost a perfect Instagram with her picture. She dresses so modestly. Ladies, take ah! lessons. Lessons more, very beautiful, and love the accent. Okay, I think he's talking about Miss uh, Not Chef and People. And then, uh, <laughs> and then what's the last one? Um, I think Oh, okay. It can be near Derby. That's Jay Martin. Twenty bucks. All right, oh, cool. Mm. Um, all right, we have something else. Yeah. So, ladies, thoughts on the video? It, it, does that work on girls or not really? Yeah, no. Absolutely. You no. say what? It's <laughs> creepy. What it's it it so creepy. It's like cringe. It's kind of cringe. It's, exactly. One one at a time. We'll start here. What What was the question? Yep. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> does those pickup lines work in real life? Uh. Who uh, come again? <laughs> Picker <laughs> blinds. I'm what? Sorry, my what English is that? Is like... The video, right? Yeah. Would that work on you in real life? Oh, talking no. about sex videos? No, no, no. The, wait, the wait, oh, pick up actually, lines, I believe. He was saying pick certain up things to the girls, right? Okay, that's from a song. Like, well, uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Um, it might if it's funny, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Um, nah. He was. I would like go back and forth with him just playing because I like to play. But I'm not gonna give you my number. Nah. Even if it was funny. Nah, because he was. He was kind of annoying. So like He's I said, I'm a, I like to play. So I'm gonna play with you, but I'm not yeah. gonna give you my number. You kind of annoying. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about you? Yeah. What? Same answer. Like I will play back with him because I like to talk, but no, <laughs> no. I feel like in the video it just seemed like come was... closer to like yeah. Oh. There you go. Uh, I just feel like in the video, for me personally, I would just feel like that person's invading my space and just the way that he's kind of approaching it. I, I like respectful guys and mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. play a little bit, but that's not the way to mm-hmm. get my number. Yeah, you know, okay. guys, buy the merch, please. Yeah. I I, I, so, so how I, I'm by the much. R- 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 you know what? I got it. I got uh something we're gonna do after this. All right, go ahead, continue. That's true. No. Okay. It work. Okay. No. Profound. Mm-mm. That's a big no. You wouldn't even play along nothing. Um, it depends. Like if it he he was aggravating, I wouldn't have played along <laughs> with him. He was not um like the way I would play along sometimes, and it also depends on my mood. Mm. Where am I today? Like, do I feel like being bothered, or am I in a Leave me alone, space. True. Yeah. Oh, 
That's true. No, those lines wouldn't have worked for me. I felt like nope. he was too aggressive with it mm -hmm. and just annoying his approach. So, no, I would have been like the girl in the red hair and just kept walking, honestly. Same here. Too childish. Yeah. I would, like, play around, just like you guys said, for, like, you know, status purpose because you want to make money memes and stuff what if you go viral for saying something you know so just play around but like no i think he dodged a bullet because even if he did date you you wouldn't fuck him anyway <laughs> you'd make him i would bang. not <laughs> <laughs> no thank you too childish <laughs> all right i'm polite i just say like no thanks like every time someone approaches me in public and i don't know i'm just like no thank you like just okay. no offense but no but thanks <laughs> all right um so seems all right, do, just out of curiosity, do you guys think that you would be able to get a girl if you guys were a guy in a guy's shoes? Yeah, yeah. 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 Really? Oh, I mean, hell oh. yeah. Like I like girls. Girl. So. Oh, okay. well, say as a girl or because that has no, already happened. No, if you were a guy, <laughs> oh. would you be able to, you think you'd be able to get a girl since it seems like you guys, you know, From hey, this is trash. Right. All right. So oh, I got something. <laughs> Let's play a game. All right. That's so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You can't back out now because uh, right now you guys. You triggered my trap card. <laughs> Who wants to go first and pretend to be a guy? You're going to be a guy. Here's a scenario. You're a guy for a week. All right. And I want you to figure out how you're going to get laid. You're going to role play with either me, Myrina, Fresh, Freshina, or Chris, Christina. That is not fair. What do you mean? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now you're looking shaky, baby. Because and you can't pay for the box. And here's the thing: you can't pay for the box, so no prostitution. And we are honestly going to act as girls normally do. We're not going to act out of, uh, you know, like we're not going to be like, "Fuck you, nigga." No, we're going to give you guys <laughs> probable responses that women give when men approach. And I want to see how you guys overcome and get the number and work towards closing. I got you. Who wants to go first? I do. Me. Uh, okay, so she got her hand up first. All right. What's the scenario? Where are you going to meet this girl? I would like to meet her at the beach. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm right. at the beach. Yeah. All right. It's a morning, afternoon. Well, right? Morning, afternoon. How are we going to do this? Afternoon. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to approach her in person? Just, yeah, you just came out the water like super wet. And I'd be like... Stop the show. Let's, let's see how this goes. Hold on. Just saying. I'm going to get some other microphones and we're going to play this out. <laughs> I want to see how you're going to do this. Give me one second. So South Beach. Fresh, can you read the, the super Beach. chats while we do this? South Point to be exact. All right, South Beach. All right, so we've got some super chats here. South Point. Chicago. Rub the connect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh, read it fresh. Rub the connect. Twenty bucks. Ooh, spicy. Oh, All ladies on the show go. looking great tonight. But the middle girls. Sheesh. Hey, hold on, let, ladies. We went down after us. Relax. Hold on, one second. We got right, fresh. Uh, Congo English ten bucks says a girl in red dress. Dash Ma therapy. Okay. A little box. Ten bucks says it's possible. I like to know from the ladies on the panel. We'll get some excited. Oh, Lord. And how often they need to bus. Okay. That's funny. Come refresh. Uh, what's the good morning? Cool. Uh, and then Corey Bucks. Corey Burks. 20 bucks. Burks. And all black female Oh, panel. yeah. We're doing this all the way. Tommy Sotomayor <laughs> will be great here. Props on the play of the game. I like Woman it. On the way. Thank you, brother. <laughs> all right. All right. So, so we're here setting up to do a yeah. live um, demonstration of how should have pushed him on the beach. <laughs> and uh, you're going to see here on cameras. At the yeah, eight. so uh, when you can, stand up and then go towards Myron, please. Yeah, so he, he's going to have you. Uh, yeah, finish yeah. reading the chat, though. I no, wait, no, we're done already. Yeah. Yeah, we're done. So you said what? the beach? Yeah, we're guys. Done with chats. What, what, what? I am yeah, actually at six, so there you go. But um, Because that's when you're most vulnerable. You, you have no right makeup now, on. Have and you're muted. vulnerable and yeah. you're honest about how pretty they look naturally. So, guys, we're going to do a live demonstration of Myron. I know I do, baby. It's green over here. In person. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but can I go next? Yeah, sure. But to can. be honest, I like the club. I'll be like, what do you like to drink? I'll get that drink, get you fucked up, and see how you act, you know? Hold on, we need you to go through it step by step, but after they finish, because he's getting the mics ready. Okay, no, definitely. Sure. And sorry, uh, guys, uh, Fresh is not flooding well, so that's why he sounds so low right now. So, uh, you know, it's what <laughs> it is. Understood. So, it wasn't bad all day. We care about him, so. There you go. All right, uh, Martin. Uh, yeah, go go. Go. So, because... so. yeah, I'm on this All right, no problem. <laughs> All right, ladies, so I'm just make sure, uh, you right, know, you got the question in mind. All right. You can All right. Soon. Can you stand up, please? Yeah, stand yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, I'm standing up. Because yep. yeah. the oh, mic's yeah, open. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's all about the body. It's about the body language, the way you walk, the way you look, yeah. right? 
the way you grab her, the way you approach her. Okay, you guys can come. Well, don't grab her, of course. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. There we go. And don't block the camera, Mario, when you get turns. Right, cool. Period. That's interesting as fuck. You guys are good. Go ahead. Pull in. Pull in. Yeah. If you want to be anywhere you want to, it's fine. All right. Yeah. Getting close. Getting close. So we have some space here. All right. Getting real close. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Let's go. Can they hear me? Can you yeah, hear yeah, me? Yeah. 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 All right. Cool. So I'm the girl, right? Yeah. I come out the water, and I want to see how you would approach me. All right, all right. So I'm coming out the water, you know, t rubbing my hair, trying to take some Instagram pictures, all this other stuff, right? Oh my God, can I help you take a picture? Oh, oh, oh uh, my friend's gonna help me. Oh, okay. I love your hair, by the way. You look amazing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate uh, it. Yeah. Um, can I get your Instagram before you take pictures? Uh, sure. Um, do you have your phone? Yeah. Okay. Right so I take yeah. your phone, yeah. right? Yeah. I follow myself and give it right back to you. All right. You look amazing. Have a good day. Okay. Now what are you going to do to follow up? Follow up with the text. Okay. What are you going to say? Talking to the mic, though. Talking to the mic. Follow up with the text. Don't be thirsty and just say, hey. What are you going to say exactly? I'd love to take you out for some drinks. You looked amazing today. I like your, I double tap and like it. <laughs> and I say, let me pick you up at 7 p.m. on Friday. Oh, I'm going to go out with some friends on Friday. What about Saturday? I'm going to a club on Saturday. We got invited to would, live. Then I would instantly video call. Okay. I'm persistent. <laughs> I answer the phone, and then I answer the phone, and it's looking up at the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, hey, where is that beautiful hair at? How are you doing? Oh, I look gross right now. I can't talk. That's okay. I don't care. No. That's okay. No. That's okay. No. No. It's no. a girl's no already. <laughs> then I'd be like, hey, so if, if you want to come out with me on Sunday, that'd be great. If not, that's all right. It's your love. That's it. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's <laughs> actually have that conversation. So I literally say, oh, I, I, I'm going to give you a chance. I actually answer the phone, but it's looking at the ceiling. Oh, I'm getting ready. I look gross. Sorry. No, and I, I already said what I and, wanted to do. And you're going to say, no, but say exactly what you would say again. When I say, I'm I don't, up, I don't care. That's fine. Let's. No, try. I look gross. I'm getting ready, but what's up? <laughs> All right. Do you want to hang out on Sunday then at least? Like, let me take you to brunch. Okay. Uh, what time? I'll pick you up at noon. Pick me up? Can you just Uber me? That's fine. Okay. Uh, I want to bring my friend. Bring your friends. I'm bringing two of them that are with me. Perfect. Okay. So I show up to the date on Sunday. Yeah. With the friends. Yeah. And we sit down. Yeah. And you look the same. What do you mean I look the same? <laughs> you were like you had the phone up to the ceiling. Like it was like. Remember, this is days later. Okay. This is on Sunday. But she looks good still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, then, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I'm a, so I meet you at the restaurant yeah. now. I'm okay. with my two girlfriends. Yeah. And you're sitting across from me. What are you going to do? I would have invited some friends too. And okay. then I would be like, hey. Hey. I'm glad you made it. Thanks. You look amazing. Thank so, you. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, my God. This is what guys deal with, yeah. and the ladies are laughing because they know this is how it goes. Yeah, and then I'd be like, all right, what else do you guys want to drink? It's bottomless mimosas. What do you want to go after? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely do bottomless mimosas, yeah. and we just drink all the shit. Yeah. And then what? And then I'll say, can we go on a single date, like just us two? Yeah. Just um, no friends involved. Okay, yeah, uh, I'll let you know. Me and my girls got some plans. We actually were going to go to the to the bar <laughs> after some of our friends invited us, but I'll let you know. Okay, that's fine. And then what? Yeah, I at least got you on the first date. You asked me if I could do that. But how are you going to get laid? Oh, I am going to get laid. Okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do from this point forward? Oh, I so, so you got a big-ass bill yeah. now because uh -huh. you fed me and my two friends of course. and your other two buddies that you dragged on this date with you. Yeah. So you're down probably a couple hundred. That's exciting. Okay, and we just went to go hang out instead, <laughs> and you asked me, could we do a single day? I said, okay, I'll let you know. What are you going to do now? I'll pursue her. Like, it's like, it's a whole thing during brunch. During brunch, yeah. Okay, so how, what would you do now? You got a week. I would figure it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who else wants to try? Look, that, get, you you definitely failed on that one. Chris, can you give her a, a dun dun dun? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a failure yeah, button? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I think I was Who wants to try next? You want to try? Okay, cool. What's the scenario? Look, tell, tell us the scenario real quick of how you would do it. Oh, yeah, on the mic, on the mic, though. Tell them, yeah, tell them what we're doing. At the club. Before we, because we got we to gotta set, set up the scene. So, how, how we do this? How would you mean? It's hard to get late. Okay, so welcome to a man's world. So how are we gonna meet? We at the club and okay. we vibing. Which right? club? Which club? Um, it's very important. We at the office. 
Okay, I guess we're gonna get shot today. All right, and then so what? The office for those of you that don't know, the office is a as a uh, strip club here Ratchet. in Miami. Matter of fact, matter of fact, North no, Miami. I changed it. No, no, no. You can't. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what club? We at the. Hold on, what's that thing called? Girl, that thing. <laughs> yeah, live. Look. Y'all at live. No, it's, uh, it's, on, it's on South Beach. It's on South Beach. It's Vendome. Voodoo. No. Voodoo Lounge? It's Liv. No, who? Liv. Liv, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, you're That's live. Okay. Yeah, really. what, what day are you there? Sunday. Okay. Okay, so. And then what? So. You have a right. table or what do you do? I'm in You're going to go general mission. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm just walking around. You walk around. Walk okay, around. let's see how this works out. Um okay. So, stand up. So, for some of you guys that don't know, Live is one of the top nightclubs here in Miami. Very popular Sunday nights. I got always have I think Sunday nights they have hip hop night. So, um so artists typically comes and performs. Where's the other mic? Right here. Okay. Pass it to me. All right. So, I'm the girl. I want to see how you, you wanna, would uh, approach me. Okay. Ready? She already did. Okay. <laughs> So I'm the girl. I'm here with my group of friends. We're in a circle. I'm texting on my phone. What are you gonna do? Tell me how you would do this. So music playing. Right? Yeah, music's loud. Yeah. Um, so, too sexy for phone. your girl. <laughs> too sexy. Da, da, da. Damn, little baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is not how we be. Yeah, yeah it is. No, uncle. You I came up from like behind that. me. I don't be like that. <laughs> well, you you have seven kids, yeah. so, so we know that. So, okay, so you come up behind me. <laughs> Talk into the mic. Talking to the mic, though. Okay. Yeah, it's penis. So I'm gonna come up you right. I'm like, down, little baby. Hi. What you mean? <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know you, but hi. Yeah. yeah, but you looking good and all, though. You know that? Oh, thank you. Yeah, you got a very pretty face. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Exactly. There you go. Thank you. That's it. Thank so, you. Um, what you doing after this? Uh, I'm here on my girls. Uh, we just got invited to a VIP section. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, um, man, like, I got a... Freshina, save her. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Go ahead. Continue. So, I got a party going on after this. You want to, um, you and your girls want to come slide through? Oh, we got invited to an after party. So, how about I get your phone number or your Instagram? You got an Instagram? Uh, I'll give you my Instagram. Okay, so how about I hit you up on your Instagram? Um, okay, you have your phone? Yep. All right, so I take your Child, phone. Child, who is this? She got he got money or what? <laughs> <laughs> who is I remember this? her girlfriend's gonna be like, What's going on here? We gotta go, girl, we gotta go. So I take your phone and I follow myself. Right? You need help, girl. Yeah. You need help, girl. <laughs> Friends, you need help, girl. No, 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 I'm <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So I I I, uh, I, I take the, the Instagram. I take your phone. I follow myself, and I give your phone back. Okay. Now what you gonna do? Oh, well, really? it was nice meeting you. Yeah. And I leave. What are you gonna do now? So now I'm hitting you up. Okay, you send me what a DM? Yeah. How soon? Um, next day. Okay, what do you say? So what you doing tonight? I leave you on scene. <laughs> then what? Bruh. <laughs> Yo. That's what I take. So you say I you get left on scene, and then how soon do you follow up? All right, I'll let you again. Again. Yo. Oh hey. Oh, what you doing tonight? Uh, we're going to the, we're I got plans with some friends. Okay, we got invited to a boat party. Up? Can I pull up? Uh, we can't let guys on a boat party. Oh, okay, well, when are you free? Uh, never. I'm busy a lot, but I'm free during the week. Really? Mm. Okay, so you want to go out with me on day free? Um, I'll let you know. Okay. Now what you gonna do? Beat you up again. Okay. <laughs> All right, hit me up again when? Persistent. The, the, the next day. I'm talk right into the mic so they can the hear you. The next day. The next day. Okay. And then what you gonna say? So what you doing? What Leave you on scene. <laughs> Beat you up again. What do you say? So what you doing? Leave you on scene again. <laughs> hit you up again. And what do you say? You want somebody? What want some money? <laughs> okay, I like it, and I say, and I give you my cash app. Okay. Um, what you gonna do now? Two thousand. So, shh, shh, ladies, <laughs> you'll get your chance. Oh, I had to pat mm, tough, isn't it? 
Hey, you a hot, difficult girl, boy. Mm. <laughs> Here's the thing. Hey, Ladies at the table, hot, I'm not doing nothing out of crazy, hot. right? Like, this is how a girl would yeah, act. No, this right? is how we act. Right. Yeah. I'm being You're very right. normal. Yep. Baby, right? very regular. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, okay, so not, so you uh, so you get left on scene again, and then I, I tell you my cash app. What are you going to do now? Okay, so I'm finna send you like twenty nine dollars. Twenty nine dollars? No. I'm finna send you right. like twenty dollars. Okay, send me twenty dollars. Then I block you after that. Now what you gonna do? Oh, so then I'm gonna see you again. I'm gonna see you again. Where I live? In the club. Yep. What you gonna do with me in the club? Live again? I'm gonna say so. What? Like, why you block me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think this one is a fail, right, Chris? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Got it. Fail, Confronting a girl after you've been blocked. Is not <laughs> Welcome. To, okay, who wants to try next? You want to try next? Yeah, okay. I do. All right. Okay. Like and and I, actually, you know, pay for the box. Yo, Chris, you want to try curving okay. this one? Yeah, sure, no problem. You're, okay, Chris, come out here. You, you, you go. You now you're That's dealing with Christina. I'll run the cameras. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm the captain now, because Fresh is sick as hell. Well, no, he's not sick as hell, but he's tired. Right, well, well, after the um scenario. Oh yeah, what's the scenario? I live. Live uh, club as well. Yeah, he's right. twenty-one. Chris, you got this one. Yeah, All right. Sure. Uh, so again, guys, just so you guys know, Live is a nightclub here in Miami. <laughs> Very exclusive. Oh, How are you gonna do this? Are you gonna do this general mission? You gonna get a table? Uh, get a table. I have too much money to be walking okay. around. Cool. Mm -hmm. Here you go, Chris. So you got the table. You got to tell him how you're gonna get him uh, to do it. Uh, how you hey, little mama. How you doing? This is gonna is that, be good. Is that one? No. I should have got Chris, man. Hey, how you doing? You having fun tonight? It's a live. It's, it's, it's loud music. It's blasting right No, but right you now. look good, though. Like, no, I'm, I'm saying. I'm, I'm telling you I can't hear you because you're way over there. <laughs> you're like a masterpiece. Just give me, like, a chance or something. Let me talk to you real quick. <laughs> oh, you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I know it's loud in here. Of course it's loud because it's a club. Do you, you need know? something? <laughs> I need you. <laughs> oh, you, you look good. Oh, hello. thank you. Okay. Uh, you're welcome. Okay. Yeah, I'm just here hanging out, having fun, you know, spending some time. And I'm here to meet people. And you look really good. Yeah, I'll tell your friends to hold up a minute. Oh, thank you. Uh, So who are you here with? I'm here by myself. I live in the area, so. Oh, by yourself? At Liv? Of course. I live in Brickle. Oh, so... I make enough money to, you know, sustain oh, myself. Oh, so no table? I, I do have a table. It's right over there. Oh, I thought you by yourself. I'm by myself. With no girls, you got a table by yourself. I do not like. So who's watching drama. the table? Okay, the 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 servers they serving me. Oh, oh, okay. So yeah. what do you do for work if they're serving you? Uh, okay. Let's say I do like. Let's say. <laughs> okay, this is like I don't know. I'm not a man. Okay. Uh. Oh, you were confident earlier though. Uh, I'm confident, but I'm not a man. I don't know what men do. Um, I have a podcast. This oh. makes enough money. Okay. Oh, you're funny. Oh, 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 oh yeah. What's in the podcast? Good. You are funny. Oh, uh, we talk about a lot of things, self development. The name of the podcast? Uh, God, Zeus. Nah, since you want to play this game, God, tell her fresh and uh, say fresh and fit. Go ahead. Fresh and fit. Okay. Fresh and fit. Misogynist. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I've seen them before. What girl? Okay, Freshina. <laughs> Fresh but it's about self development. That, but listen to that me. That podcast? Quick. No, listen to me. Okay, I'm sorry. Listen to me real quick. No, 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 no. Listen to me real quick. You you gonna give me a chance or not? No, the podcast. You guys are, you guys don't like women. Pod, no, no, no. Women. Podcast is about talking. It's about self development, but with somebody else at your side. You you know what I mean? Self development, but with someone else in your life. If you know what I mean. <laughs> it's not funny. Oh Self-development. It's am... about you. Okay, okay. So, all right, but so... with someone else in your life. No. So it's all good. You I'm see not... it wrong because... Christina, who the fuck is that? <laughs> we got a table <laughs> to get to. Fresh and Fit is the best podcast ever. Okay. Do not try it. Oh, oh okay. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> we make the money and we inspire oh, oh. people. Okay. Yes. Christina, this girl's being creepy. We're Let's not get being out of creepy. here. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we're out. Sorry. This guy's being creepy. Okay. Um. Well, all I wanted is I just wanted to explain my the things that I do for a living okay. and how I encourage. Hey, she doesn't encourage. like you. Stop talking to her. Stop talking to her. She doesn't like you. 
I do love you, but it's that what I like you, Christina. Let's get out of here. This thing is crazy. Christina, let's get out of here. This thing is crazy. Since you asked me what I do for a living, I just wanted to explain myself. Christina, you know this nigga? You know this nigga? I just met you. You love me, right? No, 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 no. I said I like you, but I just wanted to make a first impression. If you love you so much, I heard love, nigga. You crazy? Yo, he ain't paying us. Get out of here. Here's my cash app. Okay, show me how much you love me. Okay, I will. Okay. That's nothing. That's like a girl thing. Okay. Well, well, my, my phone's over there. Um, Marina has it. So I'll, I'll definitely hit you up. Okay. Uh, talk what, to you. What, what, hit me and up when? Uh, I'll hit podcast? you up. No, I'll hit you up in your DMs. And I expect All right. Money. This is a hell. <laughs> this is a hell. Role playing over. Who wants to try again? Yo, you, you, yeah, man. <laughs> Oh Lord! It's hot. It All goes right. both ways, guys. All right. Both ways. All right, no, nah, you, you're, you're trash. Yo, Chris, Chris, take this one too. Uh, Miss England, how would you do it? What's the scenario? All right. Come on. Uh, okay. chef. Is this a marathon. Right, what's the scenario. So the scenario would be in a coffee shop. Oh, coffee I, shop. I had a feeling. Okay. Oh. All right. Cool. I just knew it. What What time of day? <laughs> what time of day? And what kind of coffee shop? Just reminds me that. Right, Starbucks. It could be. What time? Say like ten o'clock. In the morning. All right, cool. All right. Uh, so okay, so you got Christina. We got the British bomber here. Let's see how you will make this happen. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, please can I get one black coffee and whatever the lady would like? Oh. Okay. Um, you look very beautiful, by the way. And oh, she's ignoring me. I'm I'm sorry. You talking to me? Oh my God. Let's okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, I didn't here. expect. You do have a <laughs> sorry. I have phone songs. Yes. Basically, you just look very beautiful today. Oh, thank you. Any drink that you want is on me. Any drink? Any drink. Sorry, I have one over here. Oh, my Chris, God. put your mic up a little bit closer oh, to you. Oh, What's up with oh, these? Ladies, girl. ladies, 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 stop. Let them, let them role play it. You know, keep the commentary to yourself. We'll let you guys comment after. Go ahead, Chris. Well, after you finish your drink, then oh. the next drink. Yeah, I'll be here for like 30 minutes, actually, because I have a you know book report I'm doing right now. So I'm trying to get some stuff done on lunch break. Okay, so what about food? Have you got food in front of you? You got what? Would you like some food? Uh, food? Oh, uh, no, I'm good. It was lunch break, so I already ate. Now I'm drinking to wash it down. Okay, well, here's my number. No pressure. You look very beautiful. I hope your book report goes well. Have a lovely day. Um, Numbers? Uh, I have Instagram if you want my Instagram. Okay, sure. Okay, here's my Instagram. Thank there you. Go. Okay, so then, you know. Okay, cool. Um, Follow you. Oh, I like your page. All right, cool. my phone back. Thank you. Okay, here's your <laughs> All right, so what else? You going? Okay, well, if it's okay, I'll hit you up later. Later, like in the afternoon or? Maybe after tomorrow. You said you have a book report. You should focus on that. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, so you send a DM. Now what are you going to do? Uh, Hi, it was lovely meeting you the other day. Would you like to go out for dinner? Uh, Dinner where? Wherever you want to go. Where I'm going to go? Uh, I think, uh, what? We are some, some face sounds nice. Subway? Yeah, Subway. It's like a nice restaurant. They had like, you know, a thousand dollar steaks, you know. <laughs> okay, let me check my bank. Yeah, we can do that. Let's go. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh yeah. so you got to check your phone for, okay. Oh, okay. Um. All right, sure. About what time? I'll pick you up at eight. Eight o'clock? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. No, I'm, you can, take, can you send me Uber? Because, you know, I don't, on the first time, I don't want people to know where I live, you know. But you asked me to send you Uber. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, to just like send me cash up and then I'll have Uber ready. I'll go over there. Okay, I'll send you Uber to a location you feel comfortable. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, okay perfect. So, so, so we're here. We're, we're pulling up. Mm-hmm. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you again. <laughs> you look very beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, after me, here's the table. After me? Okay, wait, mm-hmm. Are we going to open the door first? Yeah, after you. <laughs> oh, so I have to open my door? No, she just opened. She opened the door oh, for oh. you. Oh, okay, sorry, I, I didn't the imaginary door. Mm-hmm. Open All right, door. cool. I'm sitting down. We go to the table. I pull out your chair. You sit oh, down. Okay, she's you're then, so nice. Thank you. Actually, how did your book report? Oh, it was awesome. You know, we talk about uh, misogynists. Mm-hmm. You know, um, <laughs> oh. you know, I, I seen a podcast recently. The French Fit podcast. I, mm-hmm. They're really those guys are very you know misogyny. You know, last night someone broke in, and it was like you know someone had a blicky. <laughs> it was crazy. So, what do you do for work? Uh, I have a couple businesses. Oh, like? Uh, yeah, real estate. Oh, I have a couple estate. properties. Oh, oh okay. Um, okay. Oh, so I you got money, money. money. Okay. All right. I mean, I don't like to. 
Oh, brag. Okay. Brag. Cool. All right. So, um, <laughs> let's see. What's the menu? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, hmm. Can I order? Or... Of course. After you. Okay. I want this steak right here. I want these two drinks. Okay. Of course. Anything you'd like. Oh. Okay. Mm, okay. Mm. I might <laughs> give me so, a so, great so, so, we're eating. We're eating right now. The food's mm-hmm. good. We're having a nice conversation. Okay. So, then uh, the bill's coming. The waiter's coming. Drop off the check. What else? It's already been paid for. Oh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just so the people know that we're talking about Salt Bay's restaurant, Nisaret, uh, a, a dinner for two is going to cost you easily a thousand plus dollars. So, uh, so you, you let's just say you spent maybe fifteen hundred. Mm-hmm. All right, now what you going to do? That check comes, you pay for it, right? Mm-hmm. Now what? Okay, well, I hope you had a wonderful time. I'd love to take you out again. Okay. Oh yeah, sure. Um. I'm free, let's see, in two days. You know, Friday, I'm free. The book report is finished and everything. So I'm just going to okay. relax. Then let's celebrate. Let's go jet skiing. Jet skiing? I don't know. It's, I'm like, no, I, oh, I went yay. one time. And I fell off. <laughs> and I was kind of lit. And then someone had to save me. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. So wherever you want to go. <laughs> okay, wherever I want to go. Wherever All you right. want to go. Okay. Let's see. Um, I want to say there's a fancy um, resort. In South Beach, um, you know, it's very five star restaurant, you know, mm-hmm. you know, nice mm-hmm. beaches and everything. Mm-hmm. Can we go? Yeah. Okay, yeah. sounds good. <laughs> see you then. Okay, Bye. See you then. All okay. right. I'm a, I'm gonna just have to call this one a failure as well. What? Because what happened was you let the girl pick the dates. She's gonna pick the most extravagant, nice shit every single time. You're yep. gonna be down thousands okay. of dollars. So okay, but what about the first day? The first day can be a you spent 1200 1500 bucks on steaks, man, with this chick. You think she will respect and you? She even smash you. And you ain't even smash. You even smash. Damn, like, I what? I thought it was a win. Nah. So Wait, why, was, why would she not respect him for spending that much money? We would prefer that. No, you wouldn't. Anyway. What's up? Are you girls? Yo. Yo, okay. Who's uh, Who wants to try next? Green hair. Green, Green hair. You, you were real confident. Now, now you're looking shaky. <laughs> All right, let's go, Miss Bahamas. Yeah. Uh, Fresh, you want to take this one? Or you want me to do it? Just imagine that you're doing it. All right, Fresh, going to do this one. It actually works out perfect because a lot of girls be having low energy like this anyway. So let's do it. <laughs> it works out perfectly. Why we can't let the girls Ooh, choose? Huh? Yeah. What do you mean, let the girls choose? Let the girls choose. The, the girls choose what? If, like what let the girl let one of the girls play a guy oh, and let the other girl play no them. because y'all yeah nah yeah. because we're giving you guys very probable responses <laughs> <laughs> but these some bougie girls boy okay. I swear to god what's the location the location is y'all can hear me I'm good mm-hmm. yeah, yeah they, they yeah. can hear you yeah um, the location is at a bar not like a club bar which bar like a, um that's very important because it changes the atmosphere Okay. Quarter day, five like to blue. Bar, bar. It's like a lot. No, not like not a sports bar, like a lounge bar. I'm trying. Okay, to name one. Fountain um, blue. It's very classy. Okay, we at Ghost Bar. Ghost Bar on a Wednesday night, so it's a little chill. It's not like packed out. Okay. It's, okay, where, where's the spot at? Um, across the street from Hard Rock. Oh, okay, yeah, out, yeah, out there. It's pretty nice. Okay, you know where? It, okay, cool. Wednesday night, chill night. It's a lounge, okay. so she's probably there with her friends. What you gonna do? Okay, hi, hi, how y'all doing? How y'all doing tonight? Y'all, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that you look very beautiful tonight. I was wondering if you guys have your drinks already, or would you like another round? Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're very welcome. Girl. Would you like another round, or y'all, y'all set for the night? Sure, 1942. 19, okay. Everybody want 1942? Girls, yeah, yeah. All right, let me get around to 1942. Okay. All right. So now you're down a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> but I got it like that. So we good. Oh, okay? so you're rich now. Okay, cool. We'll um, give it to you. I'm you're balling. rich. All right. You're balling. You got money. All right. Yeah. Because men make like um down here, I think the statistic is like three times what women make. Not true. But I we'll keep so, going. Yeah. So we good. They, they, they so, don't. Yeah, we got it. We the, the average medium income in Florida is actually fairly low. But we'll continue on. We're not talking about on average. We no, no, no. You're, you're, you're an exceptional women. man. You make a lot of money. Yeah, I'm exceptional. Okay. I got, like, businesses. I'm got consulting businesses. Okay. You know? I love how all the girls automatically make themselves rich to give an advantage. But conti- <laughs> let's keep going. Key. Listen, you didn't not say... Me, no, 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 no. We're going to give it to you. No, we're going to give it to you. It's fine. It's fine. You're not rich. Me. We're going to get 
I only had $20. <laughs> Where was I? Hey, you had the chance to be rich and you still did a broke nigga move. <laughs> the hell? All right, y'all drinking. Y'all good. All right. That's a real nigga move. Yeah. Look, I know y'all having a good time. I don't want to interrupt that, but I would love to take you to dinner sometime. Can I give you my number? Oh, I don't know. I have a lot of school work to do. That's fine. Whenever you're free, you know, let's just exchange contact information. I would love to keep in touch with you, get to know you better. And then whenever you're ready, we can go out to dinner. You know what? Maybe next weekend I'm free. Look at my Instagram. Okay, perfect. I should, you know what? Snapchat. That's fine. You can give me, yeah, I got Snapchat too. You can give me your Snapchat and I'll still leave you with my phone number. So just in case you have some free time before that, you can hit me up. This to be safe Snapchat only. Because I don't know you yet. Well, that's fine. I'm going to take your Snapchat and I'll just leave this with you. And you can do whatever you want with that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. So, we leave. so they go. Yeah, they they drink Snapchat. your liquor now. Yeah. They okay. Drink my liquor. Cool. That's fine. Okay. They drink your liquor now. You uh you have her Snapchat. What you gonna do with that Snapchat? I'm gonna hit you up on Snapchat. Okay. What are you gonna say? And how soon after? Um, this is all important. Well, you said you had some stuff going on <laughs> this week, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe like a week later, I'll hit you up and I'll say, you know, good morning, beautiful. How did um? Are you sure you want to hit a week up later? A week later? What you mean? Okay, no, it's fine. A week later, we'll this play it. Busy. A week later, we'll play it. Go ahead. So a week later, what do you say exactly? Good morning, beautiful. I knew you were busy, so I didn't want to interrupt what you had going on, but I just wanted to check in and see how you've been doing. Who's this? <laughs> oh, you don't remember me? That's okay. I remember you. You left such an impression on me. This is the gentleman from the bar. You gave me your Snapchat. Oh, Danny? Yep. Yeah, me. Daniel Black? Yep, Daniel Black. Okay. So I was wondering, did you want to go out for that dinner? Yeah, that, that tequila was, was pretty good. Um, The Casamigos. Yeah, the Casamigos, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was amazing. Yeah. So just so they're clear here, he's this confusing is... you with another guy. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to keep playing along on that? Oh, I'm, oh, I'm somebody mm -hmm. at 19. Yeah. He's confusing no, you with another guy. No, it's fine. You want to keep playing? We'll, 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 we're going to roll <laughs> okay, with the punches. No, 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 no. no. Thank you. He the clearly don't remember you. I she clearly. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember you. Sorry. You know what? You're so beautiful. I'm sure you meet plenty of men, but I would still like the opportunity to get to know you better because you left that much of an impression on me. Can I take you out for dinner tonight? I don't Let's know. Let's go to Capitol Grill. Capitol Grill? At 8 o'clock this evening. Actually, I want to go to Salt Bay's restaurant. I heard it's really nice. It is nice. <laughs> you know what? I heard they're nice too, and I like to go there too. Eight o'clock. Let's go. Can I pick you up? You know what? Just to be safe, you can Uber me there. Y'all love this Uber stuff. That's what you know I'm what? saying. <laughs> Bro, let's keep it a thousand. You just met a nigga. You ain't gonna get, let him come to your house and pick you up. What's up with these girls? Right. No, I'm not not okay, right. okay. So everything he's saying is what you would probably you know say. What? So stop it. Right. Continue on. Old school Uber one. This is what I realized just now. Go ahead, continue. It don't matter what we say. Y'all gonna say us a fail. So let's get. No, 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 no. We're real talk, and we're gonna tell you guys why you each failed. Don't worry. At the end, we're gonna tell you why. But continue on. We're not giving you guys any responses. All this money on this girl. She doing the most. <laughs> <laughs> all, all of them. Girl, all of them. All of them, all all of them girls. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop the show. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Have we given responses that you guys have not given to other men in your past? Come I on. I felt like I was no. doing a real good job, but y'all mm -mm. still gave me a hard time. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's how girls are. Girls give a hard time. Yeah, girls give a hard time, man. <laughs> nah, baby. There is a reason why we give you a hard time. It's okay. not like, I don't so now you, you guys life. are feeling the burn. Let's continue on. So <laughs> now, how are you going to do the salt bait thing? He said salt bait joint. You sent him an Uber. Now what? Or her an Uber? <laughs> For Sheena Uber. Okay, so um, what she don't the know is, with the so what she don't know is, when the Uber comes, we're not going to Salt Bay restaurant. Okay. It's gonna go to, I don't know which one, but it's gonna go to a nice, quaint, upscale, you know, like mom and pops type restaurant, something that nobody would know about. Okay, give us the name. I don't know the name. It don't have a name. It's one of them real. Mom you said an Uber. You gotta have fast thoughts. It's. A, it's it listen, it don't have a name. It's one of the real quaint, you know, in the cut. But when you get inside, it's extravagant. Okay. And God, when we get there, Dave and Busters. She's not gonna have <laughs> to order anything. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna order no. and she's gonna love everything I order. Think about it. All, All right, right, fresh, go ahead. Fresh mic. Yo, my fresh mic. I say location is not. Salt Bay. Oh my I'm gosh. Like, I'm be like, it ain't no screenshot. Where's over? this going? Yeah, what's well, Nine out of ten, we're not going to agree to. Like, okay, go. you know what? I feel. Let's just 
Okay. All right, once again, who wants to try next? All right, anyway, you can... Yeah. Fresh, go ahead. Where... Oh, you want me to play this one? difficult. Okay. Listen, right. these no. girls, listen, I just want y'all to know. Most of these bitches is easier than this. I'm trying to say that. Sure that. Not, not me. Listen, not me. Listen, but most of these bitches are easier than this. I don't pull a hundred real yeah. life. But ladies, you know, like That's sometimes. That's what you guys think. But yeah. you, I, we're literally giving you guys real scenarios of how girls act. And y'all are still. I don't. I don't. Listen, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Listen, I don't know. Really really not that special. Yeah. You all act like this. Listen, so, I don't okay. pull girls in real <laughs> life with them <laughs> lines, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but listen. Okay, uh, what's, uh, what's the uh, social situation? It's going to be a lounge. A lounge? What lounge? Um, you could say like a lounge that has food and hookah. Oh. Food and hookah. All right, which one can you say? Um, hope, uh, what, about posh hookah? lounge. Posh? Yo, yeah. Chris, you know that? Or fresh? Down no, I don't know. Nope. Down Not down posh? Down. All right, we'll just consider a mid-tier lounge. So I'm yeah. here with my girlfriends, and we're sitting down smoking hookah and drinking. What you gonna do? We're sitting at the at our own section. Okay. Um, how you doing? I'm on my phone. So you go. Okay. You you gonna come okay. from the side like that? Yeah. Well, I want to see exactly how I do. I'm sitting down. Hello. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? Hey, <laughs> my friend Tassie. You know him? I'm like. You ain't gotta know me, bro. Why are you looking like that? You look like you scared. Well, I don't know you. Well, hi. Uh, hi, I get that. My name is. Uh, I, I, I'm just trying to be safe with COVID. <laughs> okay, positive. Shoulder. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Uh, good. You look nice. I appreciate that. You don't have to act like you're scared or anything. Oh no, I'm not scared. I'm just you know, uh, I'm really scared with you know, the the pandemic and stuff sometimes. The pandemic. Why are you scared of the pandemic? I just don't want to get sick. My mom's old. So you don't believe in dating, like. You don't want no, to I still date, but I just try to be safe, you know. How do you date if you're trying to be safe? You're, you're asking a lot of questions. <laughs> well, yes, I'm asking a lot of questions, but I think you're beautiful, so I'm trying to get to know you. So. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> so you can loosen up a little bit if you think you don't think I'm attractive or anything. Like I would like to get to know you a little bit. So um, if you're comfortable, I mean, talking, I mean, it's my friend's birthday, and we're here, kind of like hanging out, celebrating. So happy birthday, friend! How you doing? <laughs> It's COVID. You know. Chris in the back, which would you say is the birthday girl? Uh, it's COVID, girl. I mean, what? Oh, hey, hey, how's I it going? Mean, Yo, thank Yo. you. I'm a friend. I'm gonna say, uh -huh. thank you. You better have some money to take care of us for my birthday. Okay. All right. So, Ooh. okay. So, what you want, friend? What you want for your birthday? Uh, can you get us uh, uh, a couple rounds of 1942? Okay. All right, bartender. I want a couple of rounds of 1942. Okay. Just make sure the table is, you know, make it nice. Cause oh my God! Girl. Thank you so much. You're so Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so we take the liquor, we uh -huh. get the rounds. Okay. Now you're down a couple hundred dollars. That's fine. Okay, now what? You make an are you gonna actually stick around as we drink it? Um, I'm gonna make y'all have y'all moment, but I'm gonna stick around for a little bit because I really want to get so, to know. So, so are you gonna leave and come back? No, 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 I'm not gonna leave and come back. You gonna stay here? Well, I will leave <laughs> and come back, and I'm okay after y'all drink y'all drinks. Okay, so you're gonna come back after we drink. Okay, so how okay, drink? now there's dudes here. G girl, keep keep finessing him, okay? We need some more drinks. Now it's okay. dudes. <laughs> now there's now there's guys talking to us as well. How are you gonna deal with that? There's other guys here now trying to talk to us. What are you gonna do now? All right, so are the okay? So I'm gonna drag you to the side. Um, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you for a minute? Um, my, I I can't leave my friend. Um, um, Frank, can she leave you just for a split second? I'll bring her back. No. <laughs> no, birthday girl, you need another shot. Um. Can we get another shot to the table? Okay, so you're going to send another shot now. Of course. Okay. Yo, girl, now, I'm you fucked gonna, up, girl. Wait awkwardly? Is no, this no, I'm not going to wait awkwardly, up. obviously. I'm not going to hug her over you guys because I don't know you. But I'm going to give you more shots and make you feel a little comfortable so I can talk to you. Okay. So time is going. is elapsing. There's <clears throat> there's guys here, whatever. All right. They're talking, so, so you what know, you going to do? Okay, so any of these guys that you, you know them? Like, these are your... <laughs> the, are Keep you them shots coming. No, they're just like friends okay cool so if they friends and i want to be your friend i could be your friend too um well i'm with my girls tonight so you with your girls okay so yeah it's her birthday all Remember? right cool so do you want to okay so you're very beautiful and i would like to get to know you so should i give you my instagram what you feel comfortable with my instagram or my number uh i can i'll uh i'll give you my instagram okay that's fine you can so i take your phone uh -huh. i follow myself all right don't follow you back give your phone back okay. <laughs> now what you gonna do okay and then i'm like thank you and then i'm gonna dm you like hey okay how soon after so the, the that night is day, over the same day same and, day hey, same night yes did you get home safely uh yes did thank your, you did your friend enjoy her birthday 
Yeah, it was fun. Okay. Did you have fun? I leave you on scene. Okay. Um, what are you going to do? I'll probably wait a little bit, a little stall, and then I'll reach out again like, hey, how you doing? Good morning. Like, What are you going to say exactly? Hey, good morning, beautiful. Hope I'm going to double tap like it. Okay, awesome. And then I'll put a smile. Hope I'm a double tap like that. Okay, and I hope you have a great day. Double tap like that. That's awesome. Now I'm what you going to do? I'm going to, okay, <laughs> wait a little bit, make a little stall in between time. And okay, then, another day, another two? And then I'm going to say, hey, um, I want to I wanna take you out. Where would you like to go? Uh, we could go for dinner. Okay, where where would you like to go to dinner? What do you like? A dinner with a view or what? What do you like? Uh, my friends told me about Nobu. I never got to try it though. Oh, that's a that's a great place. Their sushi is actually fine. So we could go. When would you like to go? What time would you like to go? Uh, I'm free Wednesday night. Wednesday night, what time? Uh, any time after five. Okay, you want me to send you an Uber? What do you feel comfortable with? Uh, yeah, you can send me an Uber. Can you make? I want to bring some friends though. That's fine. How many friends? Do you want to I'm bringing three friends. All right. That's fine. Come okay. On. So is it the same friend from the birthday that bought drinks and the girl that you hung out with the other night? Hell yeah, girl. Maybe, probably. <laughs> All right, cool. You can bring them along. They were cool. Okay. So I show up to Noble with these three other chicks. Okay. Now what you gonna do? Okay, is we gonna go out for a day, open the door for all y'all. Hey, friends, blah, blah, blah. how you doing? Beautiful. So we sit down at the hey, table. Hey, girl. Okay. May, hey, boy. <laughs> okay. Yep. I'm there. I'm here with uh, Freshina and I'm and Christina. Marina, okay. this a nigga with the money? <laughs> <laughs> this a nigga with the money? Yes. Shut up, girl. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> <The> fuck. <laughs> yep, <Yeah>. right, money. <laughs> they got a good sense of humor. So how you doing, Christina? I'm uh, glad you I'm Marina. Marina? Marina. <laughs> My bad. Christina is the birthday girl. You right. <laughs> happy birthday. Um, happy birthday again. Talking to Mike. Thank Mike. you. Happy birthday again, Christina. All right. Thank so we're you. sitting at the table nice. now and we're ordering our food. Now what's gonna happen? I'll pay for the food it's, because Okay, honestly, so you're on the other end and me and the three me and the two girls are there. Now what you gonna do? Um, Christina, would you like to sit close to me or you would like to sit to your friends? Uh, I, like I wanna sit next to them. Okay. So you're across on the other so side. So how do you expect okay, so Christina, let me ask you a serious question. Um, I'm Christina, he's Marina. Hey, all right. <laughs> I'm messing up. <laughs> Y'all names sound alike. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> okay, so you're trying, you're trying to talk to me. So I'm no, sitting I'm at the to table. Talk to you, but yeah, you yeah. I got like. my two friends with me. All right. And you're on the other side. Now what are we gonna do? Now, what all right. Gonna so say? what would you guys like to drink? What would you, what would you guys like uh, to order? I'll, I'll start with some. Uh, I'll start with some wine. Okay, that's fine. And that's I order fine. the most expensive shit on there. That is fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine. And then they also order expensive ass wine too. That's fine. It's her birthday. Okay, cool. That was a, a couple days ago prior, but That's okay. That's fine. It's still her birthday. Okay. Girl, right. celebrate month. Birthday month. Period. Okay. It's her birthday. Birthday <laughs> month. Okay. So we order the food and whatever. We sit in there. We talking. So what do you do for work? What do I do for work? Yeah. I am an entrepreneur. Oh, what do you do? I have many businesses. Like what? I do music. I have real estate, and I also do stocks and crypto and NFTs and all that. Okay, cool. Girl, he got money, money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Girl. Like oh, that. that's really cool. Freshina. Ooh. So, what do you do for work? Uh, I model. Yeah, you're very beautiful. Thank you. Nice. Thank I like you. models, you know. Yeah, it's expensive though to like all this upkeep. It is. I got to get my nails and my hair did. It's Done. expensive, but you make your own money, so. Uh, well, you know, it's okay, but, you know, like, my boyfriend's been acting annoying, so I broke oh, up with him. boyfriend. I had, but he, he, he got pissed me off. So are you open to dating, or, like, what's your status? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a, eh. I'm meeting people right now. <laughs> You're meeting people right now? What yeah. does that mean? That's what you said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm getting to know people. I didn't say I'm meeting people. Okay, I'm okay. getting to know people. Okay, all right, that's cool. Yep. So, would you like to get to know me? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, like, do you think I'm interested? Would you in be me? able to help me out? Like, I kind of want to get my I hair help done. You just to see, like, show me a business plan. Show me what, like, no, you know, but like, maybe something I, I, I got like a photo shoot in a few days, and I kind of want to get my hair done and my nails. Mm, interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> is it something you're passionate about? Yeah, I've been modeling since I was young. Okay. Um, do you feel like you're gonna make it big time? Yeah, I just need someone to invest in me. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, hey, 
if we work out or whatever, then I could definitely help you build you to where you want to go. But like, yeah, but every guy says that, so it's like you know. Yeah, I'm gonna show you better than I could tell you. How so, you gonna show me? Just tell me the next date, and I got you. And then Christina's racked your ass on the side. Give her money, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Give her money. Give her money. Well, you know she Christina. she needs she needs to get her nails done. Now, now she off the wine. That's fine, but Christina. Yeah, I'm a lit as fuck. I got her. You got me? So if she's Ooh. serious about what she's talking about, then I got her. Like, it's okay. All right. Well, you know, I mean, get her right now. Shit. Let's right here. Like, okay, here's out. my cash, Ca- cash app. Cash app. Cash app. You could be my new investment. That's okay. I need another shot. So uh, what you going to do? You're going to send me how much money? How much you need, Christina? And don't and don't be no wild number offer. No, 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 no. no. I'm a, I need 2K. <laughs> so 2K you need for what? what that's going to cover, what that's gonna cover my hair. Okay. My, my nails. Well, I'm trying to get like the best, the best. I get it, but extensions. how much? Yeah, it's like not, it's gonna be like seven hundred, two thousand dollars. But what does it entail? Oh, I also want to pay a light bill too. Oh, so you want to pay a light <laughs> bill? But I thought we were talking about your dreams. Why are you asking so many questions? <laughs> because I need to know where I'm putting my money. That's how y'all do that. Y'all are really particular on how y'all spend. Well, it's gonna be my nails, my hair. I get the best person. I'm gonna tip her, and, and how I also want to pay nails? my light bill. How much is your nails? It ain't That's gonna be like <laughs> now. It's gonna be like three hundred. What kind of design you get? You better get stones or whatever. You <laughs> not got a sister. I gotta look good. Uh, you gotta. I look gotta tip my nail lady too. Why are you asking these t- questions? How much you tipping? I thought you got it like that. I do oh. have it like then that. Then why are you asking? Because I want to make sure Girl, it's the proper. Yo, y'all want to leave? Yeah. Yes, I want to leave. She don't got. He don't got it like that. Go? Really? Yeah. He's playing games with us. Man, she wow. playing games. Yeah, he playing games. He cap. He cap. He cap. He cap, right. girl. Yeah, we leaving. Don't worry, we out, girl. All right, girl. Yeah, we, we, we out now. We out. You can get the tag. Cha-ching, whatever. You heard it. I sent it. Oh, so you're going to give me the money now? I sent it. Oh, you sent it. I don't want you to leave because you're so beautiful. I just oh, thank you. you. Okay, okay, girls. We, all right, all right. stay for a little bit longer. All right. So <laughs> now, now, now the bill comes and you pay a couple hundred for the food. Right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so, hey, we. it was really fun hanging out with you. Uh, We're going to go. We got invited to a party. Um, but j- just hit me up. Can I come? Uh, we can't bring guys. Yeah, no guys. <laughs> Y'all is wild. Y'all meet a lot of girls from the Miami, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. And they already know. They know we're not capping right now. This is how it be. Nah, mm-hmm. that's how it be. But I'm not that cap. I would just tell you, like, honestly, you're wasting your time. I wouldn't even, like. Nigga just gave you a couple off. thousand dollars. You ain't going to say that. Why not? You ain't going to say that. Remember, this is you that, like, this is how a lot of girls operate. Yeah, but not so strong. Not so strong. You it's, a, it's, uh, a it's an L, my right? A lot of testosterone. Well, I might, uh, because trust me, my, if y'all, it? If y'all it. spend a good amount of money, they popping pussy. I'm giving you that. They popping pussy. <laughs> 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 the money, they gonna be like, oh, Yo, on their hands, hands. Hold on, 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 <laughs> hold on. So, so you, so I told you now, uh-huh. we're gonna continue with the scenario. I'm going okay. to a party now. What are you gonna do? Can I come? And you said no. Because we, yeah, no guys. Why it's a it's it, a it's a, a mansion private, party. It's a mansion. It's a private. Party? It's a private event. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so I'll just hit you up whenever you free. Okay, I'll let you know. Yeah, but y'all not y'all not giving up no. Okay, yeah, I live with my girls. Yeah. You live with your girls, so yep. I hit you no. up what the next day. Okay. Hey, how you doing? Can I spend some time alone with you? Yeah, it's gonna be a thousand dollars. What? What's she doing for it? <laughs> See, See, so no, let's, no, no, let me, let me. Not, you can't get mad. Pause. This is how no, no, it be. I'm not no, that's But females not really not ask. No, I really want to know, like, serious question. Females really ask you a thousand dollars to hang with them. The you want to know why? Okay, so let's break this down. Let's break yeah, this I down. Why she fucked up? Once you spend a lot of money up front, the girl knows you're a trick, and she's gonna continue to bleed you for money as much as she can. That's where a lot of you girls fucked up. You guys immediately let with the wallet. The girl didn't earn it. You spent money off rip. So she's like, oh, he got money. He a trick. I'm going to bleed this out as much as I can. That's how girls operate. $20? First of all, buying a drink. <laughs> yeah, buying a and drink. But here's, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You didn't, know, you didn't even know her name. You didn't really even know anything about her. And you guys were willing to spend money. And that's not the way to go. Because when, come on, let's be a thousand. I you're at a club and a dude says, let me buy you a drink. You're going to accept it, but you're not really going to respect him or fuck with him like but that. Why not? Why not? Why not? That's, 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 and it that's, depends on his, his approach. Why not? If, if he's not your hell, boyfriend, then you Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll talk to him. Yeah, Hold but on. I'm not, I don't I'm care. Single. Like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to talk with him, but you're going to be there with your girls. It's going to be a party situation. Nah, your girls aren't wanting you to... No, but like, you know what was wrong with your better. scenario? You didn't really get. All right, who else wants to try? You got to hold the L. You lost. So... Oh yeah, yeah. Her, her. Let's I'm go. L, so we, we, I we offer twenty dollars. We at Walmart. We at Walmart. Oh, we at Walmart. 
Yo, we at Walmart. Welcome to being a man and dealing no, with women. Welcome to Miami. She no, no be that's how a lot of girls be. She said, though. In Miami, hey, nah. too. She Miami might be well. on backpack. She want $20 on the low. <laughs> bro. Because I feel what like people ask for that, bro. Miami, I don't nah. For real, Jack. All right, all right. We're, hey, hey, we're just we're hold your opinions. We're going to break it down after. Okay. You guys really can't take rejection, though, huh? Nah. Okay. We can't. So, yeah, you guys are all mad. This is how it be. That's how we're not mad. Yeah, exactly. I'm bit mad. I'm bit mad. Yeah, I know you are. You spent twenty dollars. You got blocked. All right. So, all right. So, uh, what about? Okay, what about you? Walmart. Oh, we at Walmart. We're at Walmart. We're shopping. We're at the store. Regular store. Okay, regular uh, Walmart though, right? No, we, you you gotta stand oh, on it. Walmart. We nah, we at Walmart. Okay. No, we at Target. We're no. Target now. Okay, Target. For those that are wondering. All right, yeah, we're at Target. I was like, right, what's I'm that restaurant? Aisle. I'm at the aisle looking at uh fucking macaroni. What you gonna do? No, we we in a different aisle. What aisle you want? We in like the, the electronics and okay over there. I'm looking at AirPods. Okay. Cool. Now what you gonna do? I'm here looking. No, actually, can we go to a different aisle? <laughs> home. Oh, home goods. Yes. Okay, yeah. Home goods. Okay, I'm there looking at blankets <laughs> and shit. Gonna say no. right. So I'm doing something. I'm. Picking. Mom, we gotta keep the mic close. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the way that I would approach this, I'm looking for pots for my mother. Okay. I see you mm. shopping. Yep. Okay. Okay, beautiful. How you doing today? Oh, hey. Hey, hey hi. So I wanted your opinion. I'm trying to buy my mother some pots. Okay. So I wanted a lady's opinion. Okay. So I have two here. Uh-huh. What you think would be the better one? If you had to pick, if this was a gift for you and you had a choice. I'll go with that one. It's probably going to uh, resist heat burn more. Re- I don't know shit about burn? cooking, guys. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really, yeah. You're right, though. You're right. No, I don't cook. But <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be better for cooking. Do you All about my materials. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't cook often, but I think that would do well. You, you think this one? So you think, mom, yeah, she'd like that. You smell yeah. really good. What do you got on? Uh, some Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Thank oh, you. My mom might like that too. Oh, okay. Um, it's her. It's her birthday, so I'm just shopping. For oh, her okay. Different things. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So, what you here shopping for? What you? you got uh, just getting some home stuff. Home stuff. Okay. All right. Um, and so you said you like a man that cooks. Would you be interested in going on a date? I can cook for you. I have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend. Well, we can still be friends. We can still keep in contact. <laughs> okay. Um. Sure. I mean, uh, I can give you my Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. So I, I take your phone and I write my Instagram in, follow myself, and give it back to you. What are you gonna do? Um. Well, you said you have. A... Wait. Why well, get the boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody else had the boyfriend. That, that, that's that's a common thing girls say all the time. I have a boyfriend. Okay. How are you gonna get around that? All right. So hit you up. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? How's your day doing? How's your How's your day going? I'm gonna do a couple days later. Okay. Good. Good. So, yep, good. What did you eat today? Did you eat today? Uh, I just had brunch with the girls. Brunch with the girls? Where'd y'all go? Um, Tap 42. Tap 42? Okay. Is that a spot you go to often? Is it, you know, something you like to go, would like to go to again with a friend? I usually go with my girlfriends, you know, just to, you know. Well, since you have a boyfriend and to be respectful of your relationship, would you like go maybe a group date, friend date kind of thing? Maybe you come with the friend and... <laughs> <laughs> I could come with you know friends make me comfortable you know I just I'm just a friend date to, yeah I'm trying to get okay to know you as, lo- as long as it's platonic absolutely we okay can. I'm gonna bring my boyfriend then <laughs> see now you know some bullshit because no I ain't <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm gonna bring a guy that's not really my boyfriend. I'm gonna bring I ain't never women did that before. That. Because here's that. the thing: you want to know why you fucked up? Why? You kept pursuing me when it was clear, like, uh, like I said, "Oh, you want to just be friends? Oh, cool, yeah. He wants to play this friend thing." But that's the shit you got to. That's what niggas do. Men play as play as our friends to get in there to be the shoulder to cry when a nigga fuck up, so they could possibly yeah. fuck. So you're gonna play the long game. No, I mean, like sometimes that. that works out better. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Getting friend zone is very difficult to get out of. It's a waste of time 99% of the time. No, yes, yes. Not, yes. I agree. Have you fucked a guy that's in a friend zone? Exactly. Don't get so, uh, <laughs> No, yes, I, I have. have. No. Yes, I have. How long do you have to wait? But see, but me and oh. that was my boy, oh. I was attracted to him. How long did it wait to take, though? Oh. Okay. <laughs> but, but I still fuck, though. It don't you matter. You put a time limit on. We just saying no that. Fuck, one week. We, we, we said in the beginning, a week. Oh, one week. All right. So fail. I, think, I think all the girls here took a huge L. Does anyone else want to fail? <laughs> <laughs> Let me fail. No. 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 You got it. I believe it. You. I don't got it, but I'm my best. <laughs> you gotta get a drunk. So this is the thing, ladies. This is the thing. 
You guys could say, yo, you you do it too much. These are very probable scenarios that women actually do. You guys have probably done everything that I'm, I've mentioned. This is how girls act. This is get how a be. drunk. But you did it to get the extreme. Drunk. You yeah, didn't I even, did like, get that space for... All right, That's what do I do to extreme? What do I do? Get a like, drunk. Like, there's usually a little bit of dialogue. Even, like, if there's any conversation, there's some space for, you know what I'm saying, that conversation to happen. You were kind of like, everything we said, it was like, no, no, no. I think they no, all got no. burned and I don't pretty think bad. That's how it really no, I mean, he, he didn't <laughs> say no. I mean, you took like us on dates and everything. We went with you. We but came y'all with were you. like the girls looking for tricks. And every girl is not the girl looking no, for no, a trick. No, no, but you spent so, started in front of the trick. Yeah, if you started. come in and you display yourself yeah. as a trick, spending crazy money on girls that don't know you, I agree with that. I agree with that. But yeah, buying no. a round of drinks is not the equivalent to being a trick, and that's where that is tricking. You're, that's not that is tricking. You don't know these women. Not. You so? don't know these women that they're in a birthday scenario. They're there to have fun with each other. They don't give a fuck about you buying them drinks. Let's be a thousand. You you're there with your girlfriends. You're I've... not gonna go talk to a random dude. When your girls are there with you and this dude wants to send drinks, you're going to take them and forget about it. First of all, a guy has gotten my attention off of buying me This investment over here spent thousands. First of all, you got to invest on what you like. Okay, so, all right, right, now we're going to do the scenario over here. This will be the last one. Okay. All right, what's the scenario? Okay, for my scenario, can we start off on, like, him? Hinge. So, like, I know that you matched with me. So All right, not cool. hinge. All right, cool. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Off the date now. So, yeah, that's the worst app. Matched on hinge. That's yep. the worst app. I hit app. you up. I'm like, hey, how are you? That's like ratchet. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like your profile. I like what you do. Uh, are you free anytime this week for me to take you out? Um, Maybe. I'll let you know. I don't like that. How about Saturday? You free? Saturday, I got plans. I'm going out with the girls. We got invited to a party. Okay, I understand you're busy. What about next week? Uh, hit me up next week and we can figure it out. Okay, I hit you. So up you next wait a week. week. Yeah, I wait a week. I hit you up next weekend. But okay. Uh, and what do you say? You hit me up on what day? I'll make it Monday. What on Monday? Yeah, on Monday. Okay. And then what do you say? Oh, uh, good morning, beautiful. I hope you have a great Monday. Don't um, respond. No. <laughs> this is how dating apps be for real, for real. It's okay. one of the hardest routes. Not Are you really. Time this week for me to finally take you out. Uh, yeah, um, we can hang out uh, sometime this week. When were you thinking? Well, I know Art Basel, Art Basel is in town, and I got a ticket for a plus one, so I wanted to take you. Okay. Um, I got to leave early, though, but I can come for a little bit. That's fine. As long as you know, you show up with me, we, I could take you out. We, we can get to know each other a little okay, bit. Okay, so, so we agreed to meet and go out to Art Basel, meet in Winwood. Now what? Mm-hmm. All right, we're having a good time at the event. The drinks are free. So uh-huh. I got a splurge. I maybe paid for a ticket so you know that I got some money to be there. Okay. Yeah. So I have some drinks with you. Hey, listen, so my friends have an event. I got to go. But it was nice meeting you. Uh, and I leave. Mean, now what are you going to do? Go <laughs> Can I go with you? Well, it's my friends and it's kind of like a private event. They don't want guys there that they don't know. Well, I had a great time with you tonight. Maybe we can connect. Uh, maybe I could cook you dinner at my spot. Uh, okay, just I'll let you know. Hit me up. All right. So I leave mm-hmm. and go to the event. Now, what are you going to do? How, when are you going to follow up? I hit you up maybe two days later. Okay, what are you going to say? So can I, um, are you free for me to finally make you something to eat? Uh, yeah, but I don't feel comfortable going to your place. Um, Can we meet in public? Uh, sure. I know this spot not too far uh, from where I stay, and I frequent it a lot. Great drinks, great food. Where, where, what's um, the name of it? Let me see. Uh, Milos. <laughs> uh, what is that? Is that that's tacos, right? If I'm not no, mistaken. Milos, I believe, is like uh, Mediterranean, Moroccan kind of food. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. I, I'll I'll come. Can I bring a friend? No, I don't like just intimate friend. experiences. Okay. Um, I can come, but I can't stay long. That's fine. As long as I can spend time with you. That's okay. I so about. I come on a date and we eat and we talk. Mm-hmm. What are you going to say on a date? This is the second time now. Well, now that I got to know you just a little bit better. I'm probably this is the past know, week, by the way. I want to know like about your future. I want to know what you're into. I want to know your goals. Oh, uh, I'm in school right now. I'm in political science. Maybe one day I want to be a psychologist. Mm-hmm. Okay. So in all of that, what do you see with a relationship wise? Um... Well, I'm just seeing where things go. All right. So would you want to take this further? Because I'm really feeling you. Well, you know, I'm not really like, I'm like focusing on me. You know, I'm healing right now. I went through some things. And, 
you know, you're really nice and all, uh, but I just need some time. It's okay, baby. We can take it as fast or as slow as you want. Okay, thank you for understanding. Okay, so maybe next time you can want to meet me at my crib and I can actually... Uh, I mean, we can meet and talk again. I just need a little bit of time. That's fine. Like, I don't want to give myself to anyone right now. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You said that bullshit to somebody before too, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Look at all the. <laughs> I know what you said that shit. Well, all right. I just want to keep inviting you out. That would be my next. Yeah, but you have one week. Move. Yeah, you got one week oh, though. Oh, okay. You already fell like I the first. Fell right there. <laughs> the problem we already is y'all trying to one. have sex in a week. That's the problem. I mean, we've uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we've done it on the first yeah, part. So it's really the issue here. Y'all right, ladies, like, ladies, like, ladies like, can can, can I ask you a, a serious question? All right, raise your hand if you have not had sex on the first date before. Have not the first date. So everyone here has sex on the first date, then, right? At some point in my life, exactly. No, no. I got uh, pregnant uh, on the first date. I'm investing you, Miss. I'm investing you. Miss, I'm investing you. First date, yeah, yeah, first, like, first, no, okay. first meet up. Oh, no, nah, I, I got, got first pregnant meetup. on the first, <laughs> my second time. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, all right. Well, one at a time, real fast. Okay, so who has who has not had sex on a first date before? Not first date. Yeah, first time meeting. You met the guy and you fucked him the same night. Like, okay. you talking did we about know some... him prior? Like, were we talking? No, you, you gotta specify. Because... You met him that day. You did not know him prior to meeting him, and you had sex the first day you met him. Oh no! Mm, mm, look okay. at that. You've never done it. I've so. had sex the first meetup. Like we were talking, and then that first time we met, but not just a complete. Shame. Okay, that's right. that. Then, then that's yes, what I but you that's you got but oh, you, okay, on the meetup. Okay. The meetup still counts. No, you just had a complete stranger. That's two different scenarios. Yeah, that's two. I mean, it's yeah, because you've been you, you didn't you never meet him in person. But, I, but we were Facetime and we was texting every day. We right. was interacting. That's different than just meeting a stranger and fucking him. On the right. first meetup, physical, okay, so physical meetup. Yes, I have. Okay, I have on the first meetup. You have on the first meetup. Yeah, physical yeah. meetup. Yeah. yeah. yeah physical. So everyone here has. Day. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Chris, what were you gonna say with that? No, we're good. Now that you know. Oh, yeah. you're just asking? Yeah, because uh, you know, like once again, the, the girls went on and they were like, Oh well, the first day, you know, they, 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 you nah, know. but we talked for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So but... that's different. Yeah, like I got to know the guy for like at least a month. So here's right, the thing. So this is where y'all yeah, what, what you guys what you guys don't get about about girls. And I don't expect you guys to do it because you guys don't date women, so you're not gonna know this shit. You date women? I sure do. As okay. a as as a man though, no. I date feminine women, and nope. I'm a feminine presenting woman, but I still do. Yeah. It doesn't matter because. What, Am one I thing, a man? No, but I yeah, clearly know what women like. No, hmm. because when a man dates a woman versus when a woman dates a woman, a woman that is bisexual is gonna, she's gonna tolerate certain behaviors from another woman that she will never tolerate from a man. Hmm? For example, if you go out and you're bisexual. And you go out with a girl and y'all split the check, won't be that big a deal. But if you go out with a man and you split the check, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. That's a very simple one. Facts. Depends so, on how deep you are. So we can't, yeah, it, it doesn't depend on anything. Know. There are certain characteristics that women are not going to tolerate from men I that they will what tolerate type from of women. women. You date. It, 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 what the, your perspective speaks volumes about the type of women you date. And I, I, I would implore you to seek a different type of woman because you don't have a good perspective. And I mean, I understand, but guys in the chat, the norm. we got guys yeah. all over the world in here right now. Guys in the chat. If you had dealt with any of those scenarios that I just presented right now from women, give us a one in the chat. We got guys all over the have. world. We agreed to that too, though. Give us ones in the chat because you're trying to say that my, my experience is skewed from a certain type of woman. And what I'm trying to tell you is that regardless of the woman, this is how scenarios go as a guy talking to women. And here's the other thing, too. Y'all got to remember, you guys put yourself in a higher bracket, making a certain amount of money and stuff, and you still failed. Imagine for an average guy that can't spend hundreds of dollars to send shots to girls <laughs> or get into a VIP section or get a table. Now, we got a bunch of – we got – yeah, so it was uh... – but lagging a bit, but you know, a it was lagging. Yeah, there's all the ones coming in. Damn, it was lagging when we said was a chat. It stopped. Yeah, it exploded. Yeah, it stopped. Question too, and these are guys all over the world. Y'all saw the super chats earlier. We got guys in Canada, Great Britain, etc. Hold this on, is we how had it Go ahead. You got some? I just think with those scenarios, like I guess they're realistic, but you know they're realistic. I, yeah, but, that's the key. Okay, that's fair enough, but you're not gonna get that with every woman. 
And then that's when you know that that woman's right for you. Like, just not everyone's right for you. Here's the thing, though. So, and here's you the also thing. only wanted to get laid. So I'm like, you won't get that with the wrong person. Yeah. Here's the thing. Whether you guys want to accept it or not, men only talk to you to get laid. Okay? They might lie to you and say, well, I want to get to know you and all this other fuck shit. Right. Well, then, I, I'm shit. keeping it all the way 1,000. Mm -hmm. Men don't deal with women unless they want to have sex. Period. Well, then I don't want to deal with those men. Okay, well, that's why they have to lie. <laughs> And that's why you went through the fuckery that you just went through. Yeah. What because the, um, here's the thing with you on your scenarios, you fucked up because you kept letting the girl pick what to do. Yep. And when you do that, up, babe? no girl's ever going to respect a man that says, well, what do you want to do? You did that dumb shit too. What do you want to do? Yeah. Remember how I said, well, um, yeah, and then I took yeah. her where I wanted yeah. to take her. And that, but here's the thing you lied. Now she's going to think, now yeah. she's going to be like, that's kind of like, <laughs> first of all, no, it hasn't. I've had that happen to me before and he executed perfectly. So I've literally, I repeat, Literally, what I did was what somebody did to me. It okay, worked. okay, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he promise you a very expensive steakhouse, then flip the script and take you somewhere else that's significantly lower? Money. Um, first of all, it wasn't significantly lower. It was still a pricey place. It may not have been the same price point. Exactly. But did you pick? Did you no, pick? No, I didn't. Okay, so he off rip told you we're gonna go here. He didn't give you the option to pick, right? Mm. Exactly. Mm. I don't remember. Exactly. Now yeah. you don't remember. Okay, but you know, just trying <laughs> to prove a point. And my no, point no, no, is no, that you you exaggerated a lot of those scenarios. No, I didn't. And there was really mm. no space for the man in those instances to win you over. You know what I mean? And I'm I here's the key it. though. Here's, no, 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 no. Let's keep it a thousand. Women look to disqualify men all the time. If a guy makes a small mistake, you gonna curve him. Mm -hmm. So by him saying his name, where do you want to go? You you said earlier that's you said it before. Name. If a dude's name is fucked up, I ain't dating him. But that's not true like, because if he says where you want to go and then we get to the dinner, first of all, I'm not the type of person who's gonna be like, oh, let me bring my my friends. That does not happen every time. And then a if lot we of girls get do that, to though. the a boyfriend, and then if we get to the <laughs> dinner and you prove yourself or the conversation is there, then I'm not really thinking about the beginning part because you've already won me over in that. Like you're not thinking about all the. Remember how you met the guy? You, you you the girl. Right, you're the girl. The guy comes up to you, meets you at a club or whatever it is. He don't really know you like that, and you're offering to buy drinks, all this other shit. She don't know you, so you say, "I want to meet you one on one for dinner." She doesn't know who you are. She says, "Can I bring a friend?" A lot of girls do that shit, and we tell guys on the pod if she says that, you don't meet it with her. You just you just dub her and go talk to another girl. But you guys try to actually see if you can make it work, and I'm telling you that it doesn't. So when a guy does allow a girl to bring her friend, she already knows she. I'm not gonna respect this guy. This dude, let me go pick the place. He's let me bring my friend. This dude probably is desperate, etc. What you gonna do? You're gonna get a free meal. Hey, we got plans after this, and you leave. <laughs> yeah, it's it's true. A, and it's you're a, giving that smile because you know I'm yeah. telling the truth. Yeah. And, and one more thing too, because you said, "Oh, well, I've dated girls too, and and it's okay." What I'm trying to say is that you used your default of dating other women. You asked the girl, "Where do you want to go?" That might work if you're a woman and you're talking to another woman. That will never work as a guy. Where do you want to go? One of two things gonna happen. She's either gonna a Pick a very expensive place or a nice place so that she can go take pictures for her Instagram and make you look stupid in the process. Thank you. Or B, she's just not going to fuck with you and take you but seriously. why do you think we're trying to make you look stupid? Why does the, uh, taking the pictures make you look stupid? Why is it not because just want to take because, nice pictures? In a because because if a guy... It's not about you. If a guy enters in on the premise of, I'm willing to spend money on you, and you haven't done anything to deserve me spending said money on you, the girl, if you give her an inch, is going to take a mile. There's girls that literally make Hundreds of thousands of dollars and finesse dudes all the time. You probably know a couple girls on your Instagram right now. How that bitch in Mykonos? She ain't got a job. What? How she at Nobu? Well, child, I need to start this bitch on welfare. That's me. But how? How? How, how do but the how girls do it? How she making somebody look stupid? That's not talking about. I'm sorry. How is she making somebody look stupid that we the world doesn't know about? Like you mm -hmm. saying making because, stupid it, is something. Because because yeah, here's the thing: men and women are very display. different. Men, men and women are very know. different. If I spend my money and I take you on a date and I'm not fucking and you're getting a great experience. I'm stupid. Well, to you, but yes. you saying make you making it seem like it's on a pedestal, like we gonna make you look stupid to the world. Like that's however you may feel about the experience, but that's not something that like we you made it seem like we were trying to blast you or like. What did I tell you earlier? What I said, if a man deals with you, he wants to get sex, right? Initially, because he doesn't know you, right? It's an no, attraction. no, no. That, that, that's that's what they want it's all the time. That's right? what they want all the time. All the time. Okay. So, so no, you think okay. Let me. I just want to ask you as a man. 
Okay, but yeah, sex is a part of that, but you don't think that it grows beyond sex after a certain point of time? Sex is the primary reason men deal with women. Period. Ooh. That's a fact. And I like women that. I a, like that. Money is the right. primary reason. You can say what you want. You might not like me hearing that. No, you might I agree with I have you. a great personality. Start I'm nice. Because That's I cool. Said, yeah, when you but, said that. But, I never but, disagreed with that. Up. So if I'm spending money taking you on dates or whatever, and I'm not smashing, and you're taking pictures off shit that I'm allowing you to experience, nice dinners, cool locations, etc. Whether I'm in the picture or not is irrelevant. Everybody that looks at that shit knows this bitch is broke. How's she doing this? And then you, as the guy that's funding it, and you're not smashing, looks stupid. Now, you, yes. the, the man is you're a sucker. Ego. Let me let me flip the script. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, okay. right, for all the ladies here, I will call you every Saturday at 2 a.m. You come over, we have sex, and I tell you, all right, yo, you got to go. You can't sleep over, nothing, blah, blah, blah. How'd you feel? You... Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's not, exactly how men feel when they take you on dates again. and don't smash. Same shit. Okay. No, I get what you're saying. Like this right. exercise, absolutely. What I realized no, I with this exercise company. is that <laughs> same <laughs> thing. We um we basically use lines and scenarios to get the females, and the same lines and scenarios we're using on us don't work on us. So that they're just trying to get you to see that. Those lines don't work. I get what you're saying. Like, you were the biggest fuck up. She was about to leave with I her was. girls after they roasted you. You right. And you actually said, no, 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 don't leave. I'll pay you. Wait, can you? No, you right. right. <laughs> I messed up. You know hey, what it back. was? You fair lost Two me. G's. <laughs> Listen, I get it. Like, a those lines don't work. Like, honestly, for me, like, if somebody approached me, I have to like you first. Off rip. Like, I got to mm -hmm. see you and be like, God, leave. I will mm -hmm. talk to you all day. Like, you get what I'm saying? This is an attraction. So I get it. If there's no attraction straight up, you're giving me all these excuses. There's no attraction there because I'm giving you so much excuses. That means I'm not interested at all. Can I say something real quick? Can you go around and tell us what we each did wrong in our scenarios? Because you didn't do that yet. I want to know. Like, what was the error? All right. You we'll start. You. Okay. You were at Club Live, right? You fucked up because <laughs> you're at a club general admission that's exclusive and you approached a girl in a group and then you came up I ain't gonna lie, you were acting ratchet. Hey, what's up? What's <laughs> good with you? Ba -da -da. And I'm like, what the fuck? Where, you know, and you came up by yourself, weird. And then you continued to pester me on Instagram, weird. And then you sent me a $20 cash app, which is an insult. And then I blocked you. So that's where you <laughs> failed. You, you approached me at the thing, cool, right? I'm at a, I'm at a uh, store, shopping, whatever. I okay. tell you, I have a boyfriend. And instead of pushing through attractively, which you did in an attractive manner, what you did was you settled to be a friend. Well, if you said it'll be a friend, what does that tell you? Uh, what does that tell you about the man? I could tell you a couple of different things. Okay, I'll keep. I'll just uh, answer it for you. A man that has an abundance mindset that has other bitches he's fucking is never going to tolerate being friend zoned by a girl. Period. So you fucked up there. Just by saying, just by saying, it's okay. We can go on a friend date. We could be friends. It's a dub. No girl's going to respect that. You? <laughs> I know I fucked up. I, fuck I, I, I mean, I already see the perspective where I messed up. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. get it. Like every, like I said. Oh, you also failed. You, she told you I want to go to Nobu. You brought right. your, you let her bring her friends. I shouldn't have let her bring my friends. Because you should never allow that shit. No, I should like basically book the time, book the place. You come show up, cause that that happened to me. And and don't take them to a fancy place and never let the girl pick. That's another fuck up. Mm. You and then sure. when she was going to leave after her friends disrespected you, mm -hmm. you said, no, I'll pay you. That's so what? True. So you basically let me walk all over you. Right. And solicit money from me. And then, and then the next time you hit me up, what did I say? You got to pay me a thousand dollars. Right. I was wilding. Exactly. All right. <laughs> Miss England. Yeah. Your fuck up was uh, she was at the coffee shop. You came up, you approached her. Mm -hmm. She was had her headphones and she was working. You were way too passive. Way too passive. Oh, well, you know, it. Like, uh, what I noticed about you guys, you guys were all extremely passive when you talked to the girl. Oh, like, well, you know, if you want to or whatever, you can't give girls an option. You'd be like, hey, uh, let's do this. Hey, I find you attractive. You got to be direct, concise, and this. Uh, cons uh, you got to plan, be decisive, direct. Mm -hmm. And if she says no, you walk away and take the L. But you were very passive and lukewarm in your approach. It's a numbers game. Yeah, but people, not everyone likes the aggressiveness. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. You don't just because it's you don't you can be direct assertive. without being aggressive. Assertive, assertive. Yeah. Yeah. Like when I when I ask you, hey, oh, sorry, what, what are you going to do? I don't know. You choose. All right, I'm gonna choose. I'm a coffee shop. I'll tell you what you know what I'm doing, and 
my read of you were, you know, you're very nice. You're a very nice guy. And once again, girls go on dates with nice guys and they, you know, we picked the first date, you know, me and you agreed. And then we had a good time, you know, is what it is. And then you asked me out when you're free. And then you chose, I chose the other date at a resort. And, you know, so you had one week to get laid. And I ain't gonna lie, girls go out with nice guys because they're they're passive. And sorry to say, it doesn't turn them on. Well, maybe it's just me. I think I've just had experiences with guys that have been assertive and it's aggressive. just creepy. Yeah. And like already touching, already like, I like nice guys. If I'm feeling you already, that makes it even more like, I like to be respected. I like, I don't know. You I just like, shit. You don't like somebody that's doing too much. Yeah, I got With you. all due respect, you don't know what you like. You're a woman. You don't know what you like. You, because women say they like certain things, How is but they really can don't. You say that? How can you tell a woman what she does and doesn't Because like? the things that arouse a woman and turn her on sexually are things a woman will never admit you in keep public. You saying women at, in general. Women are so different. We're all different beings. You're right. I won't admit things. it. Like, I would you're not talking on a general uh, speak basis. Mike, 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 to Mike, please. Mike. Yeah. You're talking on a general basis. Like you're, It's like just like when women say, oh, men ain't shit. Yeah. Like, you can't say that. The world operates on generalities. Exceptions don't make the rule. If you ask a woman what arouses her and what she turns her on, she's never going to tell you that. She's going to say politically correct things like, I want a man that's going to be a gentleman, treat me well, be turns us on. be chivalrous. No. So men may as well date men. The world will never know what turns me on because it's <laughs> I mean, we. I mean, but that's what I'm trying to say. Like, like yo, y'all can say what you want to say, yeah. but the reality is, is that Women don't really know what arouses them and turns them on. They might to some degree. They might to some degree. But what they're really attracted to is the spontaneity, right? Mm -hmm. And then they like guys that take action and make things happen. Assertive. And uh, other things that women like, not politically correct. No chick is going to tell you, yeah, I like it when he smacks my ass, calls me a dirty little slut, and fucks me from behind. A lot of girls like that, but they ain't going to say that. What are they going to say on air on camera? They're going to say... Oh, well, you know, I like a nice guy, a guy that treats me well, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Yeah. Women are always going no, to baby. say what's politically correct because the things that women really get turned on <laughs> are not politically correct. And they he make the woman look me. bad. Yeah. Yeah. I don't agree with none of this. Don't let that pretty I, face fool you. Like, 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 it's, it's, you know, think about it. One of the most popular books is Fifty Shades of Grey. Why? The guy that's in the book, tall, good looking, has money, etc., dominates the woman, all her sexual fantasies. Yep. But that's why women love that stuff because girls want guys that just get it. We know deep down you're going to say, oh, I want a gentleman. I want to hold the door open for me. All this other shit. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> that's the surface level stuff. Mm -hmm. But the stuff that really makes you tick that you really want, you're never going to reveal that. Because if a woman was to reveal that, everyone's going to be like, you're a slut. You're dirty. Whore. You like getting your hair pulled being called a slut? Yeah, she does. <laughs> but she ain't going to say that in public because that makes her look bad. So what I'm saying is this. It's not in a woman's best interest to be honest about what arouses her because she doesn't want the shame. What about men? Can you men say how, what care. turns you on? Sure, you, you, but men, are, men and women are not the same. <laughs> they don't right. care, they got balls. They let they it hang. They're, they're like, like men and women are not the same. A man that has sex with a lot of women is praised. A woman that has sex with a lot of men is not praised. Right. It's been that In way since the beginning time, of time. Society is a little different now, though. You don't think so? You don't think no. women? What? They women still, being promiscuous? They is... still gonna call you a whore. But I'm sorry. people, call, we call men man whores all the time. Yeah, like yeah. that's I something too, that men get called too. So it's like I don't know, get. You, I feel like it's more acceptable. At the end of the day, you still have to respect yourself. It makes you look good and feel good. You still have to. Yeah, exactly. Men don't care. Men and women are not the same. We don't play by the same set of rules. Mm -hmm. A key that opens many locks is a master key. A lock that opens with any key is a shitty lock. So mm -hmm. you can say, well, times have changed and women are out here fucking and sucking. And they are. You're right. You're right. You're yeah. absolutely right. But that does not mean that just because it's socially acceptable mm -hmm. that we're not like programmed to be disgusted by it. Like, I don't care what you say. Look at Mia Khalifa. Look at Lana Rhodes. Look at all these porn stars that found a husband. What happened? The guy left them. Why? Because there's still something in your hindbrain as a man that when you're when you marry a a, a woman that has a past like that, it's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. it, you're like, oh, this is fucking pathetic. Mm -hmm. A woman that's a slut, that's the equivalent to let's say you're dating a guy, right? He lives with his mom, smokes weed, not ambitious. He ain't mm -hmm. going nowhere in life. Mm -hmm. Turns you off, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. He doesn't have a future. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's exactly how men feel when they're dealing with a girl that has a promiscuous past. Women care about a man's future. Men care about a woman's past. We're different. That's very, very crazy. different. That's we don't crazy. play by the same set of rules. So going back to what you're saying, I want a gentleman, all this other stuff. Okay, that's cute. But the reality <laughs> is, you really don't. You On surface level, you might say that, but it doesn't work. Being a nice guy never works. 
There's a reason why the term nice guys finish last is a saying. Because if you listen to what girls say, you're going to be a nice guy. You're going to be a pushover. You're going to do exactly what you did in the coffee shop. What do you want to do? Oh, okay. Well, you know, if you want to talk, but it's very passive. She's like, man, this thing is a pussy. I'm not talking to him. Right. Uh, everyone's Mary, different. Mary, what's her name? Mary Black. If I lined up 100 women, mm. 95 of them would react very poorly to the game you just dropped. What's that? Okay. But you Mary, didn't. Mary. <laughs> they were all men. <laughs> huh? You should have had I'm one of us, so like, <laughs> try to. The mic, to please. You know? You should have had one of us, like, role play with each other. No, I mean, I think, no. I think it was better with the man. Really? Yeah. It's different perspective than women and women. Yeah, no, you don't know no. what to expect. Wait, wait you don't know. Actually, mine. I, I think, think it just would have been fun. A, I, no, it no wouldn't work because boogie. because they because. No, <laughs> it wouldn't. It wouldn't work, Mari. I feel you know like what? Well, for her game. Actually, they should try. Actually, listen. None of us could get a one night stand because they were too bougie. <laughs> they wouldn't let us get no cutty for nothing. <laughs> Mari, if anything, I should have have one of them try and see what happens. Nah, bro, because it's gonna be kept. They're gonna yeah, help but, each other out and shit. But it's gonna be like, oh well, it's, yeah, it's you're funny, seeing though. nice. I might go on a date with you. Like, I mean, we, we, we can see it for one time. Like, it, the only other way you would really be able to have them make like see what it means is like have them dress up as a guy and try. Would you guys are really going like if you dress? We, we were being nice. Normally, girls just turn around. They'll be yeah, like, you're right. Ignore you. Ignore. Or like, spend, spend a well, day yeah, on, on a dating app as a guy. Yeah, spend Irrelevant. a day on a dating app as a guy Why and see what happens. Why y'all act like different girls, like different personalities? Like one act like a bougie girl, one act like a this girl, one act like a <laughs> no. Because the difference is the diff the only difference between a bougie girl, a ratchet girl, a girl that's down to earth is how they're gonna reject you. Right. That if a girl don't girl like you, that's good. bougie. She's just gonna like kind of ignore you, be nice about it. A chick that's ratchet, like nigga, she don't want to talk to you. <laughs> and then another one gonna be like, it's just gonna walk away and run away. But it doesn't matter. Like, it, regardless of the girl's socioeconomic status. She still has what she's attracted to. Her reaction might be different to you. One might be more a little bit more abrasive. One might be her being more passive. But a girl being bougie versus a girl being a ratchet ain't gonna change nothing. If anything, a ratchet girl go get the fuck away. They're gonna talk shit. Right. Okay. Well, okay. Let's be honest here. When dudes have hit on you, mm -hmm. and you you're like, yo, I don't want to fuck with this dude. He being too aggressive. Okay. I know you probably pop off. He being too aggressive is yeah. a different story. Okay. And you don't like it, but he's still going. See, that's a different story. Well, that's what you was doing. No, baby. <laughs> that's what no, you was I doing. Like it. Listen, I like Bro, you said that twenty dollars cash app. I did to you what I want a nigga to do to me because I like twenty dollars cash app. Yeah. But Byron, she, she has seven kids <laughs> and she went into the hood. No, no listen, I would have laughed. It's very easy, Byron. Listen, if he would have said twenty dollars cash out to me, I would have think he just playing around. You feel me? Like, I would have laughed. I took it as a joke. Club live. I mean, she you met me at a very nice spot. Yeah. I mean, let me tell you something. She don't I go, man. The club live before, and let me listen. I'm just, I'm just a cool, how you say, it, cool, fun, down to earth person. They love to have fun. So if somebody come up to me like that, I'm gonna get them that same vibe, the, the, the same how you said the, the same energy, energy. I'm gonna get energy, them that same energy. One back. kid. What else? Yeah. All right, so Not moving on. Oh my me. So yeah, yeah Miss yeah. England. All I'm saying is that your approach was extremely <laughs> passive. You were too nice to the girl at the coffee shop. That's that's why she ain't take you seriously. You're asking her what do you want to do, whatever. You should never let a girl pick what you want to do for the date. It shows a lack of. Uh, <laughs> that was my kind of girl. It right shows now. a lack of decisiveness. It shows that you're not really built to be a leader. You know what I'm saying? And you could say, "Well, I don't mind it." Most girls mind it though. Can we? Most of them want a leader. Your approach. What's your approach? How do you approach? My approach. Them? Yeah. What's <laughs> your scenario, like, scenario of you? How you would approach? Okay. I've I've done it plenty of times. I've I've demonstrated plenty of times. The guys in the chat already know, so they're oh. not gonna learn from my joint. I've already talked about it. We gotcha. do it all the time. But all right, what about you? What about me? What am I saying? Her, oh, 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 her approach. Yeah, what was a fuck? Um, uh, your fuck up was you were too willing to spend money up front, and you were you went I to. I really a... wasn't though, and you keep trying to say that that's where I felt, but I wasn't willing to spend money up front. I bought around the dreams. I thought it was of 1942. One okay. Some people drink 1942. That's an expensive tequila. I know exactly what Some it is. I bought myself 1942. Okay, so you spent a couple hundred dollars on, on a group of girls that you don't know uh, when they were there for a party. First of all, you're talking about... He didn't specify how many girls it was. But okay, we can go with that narrative. Let's just go for it. Whatever it makes you happy. Either way, the, the, mm -hmm. those, the point is, is that you met a girl at a club or, or a lounge. You bought them a round of drinks. And then you try to hang out after... And then what, what happened after you you and I? Oh, you were mad because yeah. we said we were going to one restaurant and then I took you to another. Yeah, he said Nusaret. Yeah. And then you said, 
Oh, nah, and then you switch it up on him and try to, to get him somewhere else. Yeah, but I said we... <laughs> That's what I thought it was. Try to kidnap fresh, part. fresh, you know? Yo, I'm going to end up on the back of a milk, milk, milk carton. <laughs> Something. No, you're not, because you're going to uh, get home safely. Well fed. And uh, you Taking that well chance, fed. you don't know. Look, all we're saying is that it's a, it's a numbers game, and you became a customer the moment you start spending money on a girl that doesn't deserve it. Yeah. So. Okay, guys. Like Just saying. Man. Are you going to fuck a guy that sends you and your girls a bunch of uh, 1942? Randomly? He didn't send a bunch of 1942. <laughs> no, shots, like though. Like, shots. One of all shots. He sent, he sent shots in 1942. I might get my number, yes. You might? I, I might get my number. You might? It really depends on the conversation depends. that came with those drinks. Yeah, but he paid you. Uh, he paid money for drinks, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, if... And you're there with your girls, because are you really going to be able to have an effective conversation with him? No. Lord. And remember, you picked the situation. You picked the scenario. And, and listen, I, look. I have like three phone numbers, so I probably would have given him one. <laughs> and, and what he did with it is what he did with it. Proves, you can't make this up. And I'm, ladies, keep in mind, all we're trying to do is get laid for within a week. So it's like we go out. And you're not going to get laid within a week anyway with me. So that's. Yeah, what, that's, that's why you move on. Like, that's why you move I on wouldn't buy. Girl. Yeah, like I, like I personally would, wouldn't buy a girl a, a, a round of drinks without at least talking to her for a few minutes first and then she's like yeah whatever all right bet move on so that that first exchange of words that that tells guys whether or not they should invest more into a woman and if if marina and freshina was giving me kind of weird body language i would move on and perfect my game you know what i'm saying real, real quick question because i'm starting to see here like there's a huge disconnect what percentage of men do you think actually fuck girls I don't know. Out of 100%. Take a guess. Yeah. And talking Out of 100%. About 100% Out of 100%. Oh, God. I honestly don't want to know. I really don't want to know. <laughs> I mean, this is very important because I think I see where the disconnect is here. All right, fine. I think like that they talk to like straight away after one day. Okay, we'll come back to you. Yeah. What percentage of men do you think are <laughs> sexually active with women? 77. 77. Yeah. All right. 30%. Girls are very green hair. I don't know. <laughs> um, 100%. Okay, no, I'm lying, not 100, but I feel like it's well over Birch. 50%. Well, over, over half. Okay, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. I, I don't know. 70%. Okay, 10, 10, 10 to 20. Yeah, okay. All of them. Okay. Fair Notch enough. coin. All and, of them. In your case. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, no, the reality, guys, is only about 10 to 20 percent of men. Are having sex, and guess what? They're fucking about eighty percent of the girls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, there are more size, women. There's you know. for every man, there's seven women, right? No, it, it has nothing to do with the ratios. It's just simply put that if you leave a woman to her own devices, she's going to always pick the best and the brightest. Where okay. do these statistics come from? Where you well, may live. You can use them with. Uh, there's Tinder studies that show that women find uh, ninety percent of the men is unattractive. Right. Almost. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's more men uh, between eighteen to twenty nine reporting rates of celibacy than ever before. Uh, and then also <clears throat> there's a bunch of uh, dating app data that shows that a majority of the women are having sex with a very small percentage of the men. Mm-hmm. And it been, it's been that way since the beginning of time. Well, that's true because it's like, you have to think about it this way. Men will fuck what's in front of them. Women get to fuck what they actually choose. Mm-hmm. So mm, okay. that's why I didn't want to think so about that. So men fuck who they can, women fuck who they want. Who they yes. want. Yeah. So that's that goes exactly back and that goes that back to I why. I think about um, cause you guys are saying like, well, cause you mentioned <laughs> yeah. it earlier, man, y'all being too hard. These girls are easy. And I'm trying to tell you, they're not, they're really not. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, when's the last time you had sex? You said several months, right? I'm special. <laughs> A newsflash. You're not. A lot of girls act like you do. I like, I, I, I don't want to be an asshole here. Like every girl wants to sit there and say, I'm special. I'm not, I don't be fucking like that. I, I'm really picky. Here's the reality. A lot of girls are picky. A lot of girls don't have sex with us. A majority of men. And that's just the way it is. A lot of guys are, are pornography only. Think about it. Strip clubs, OnlyFans, etc. You think they will make as much money as they do if dudes weren't out here like not getting laid? Yeah. Right. The, the, there's a whole economy. This whole sex industry is built off the back that men no, struggle I, for sex. You know, because you work there, right? I disagree. Like, I, disagree. I mean, oh, you work in a porn. Yeah, you yeah, should yeah, know this. Yeah, yeah, you work. So you already know. Hold on. What is the demographic of your paying subscribers? <laughs> Probably 99 plus percent men. I mean, of course. Yeah. Women don't pay for porn. Yeah, of course, oh, right? You got a point. <laughs> yeah, I disagree because um. Okay, you. My baby daddy lived in the club and he got plenty of it. Not Which one? Me, the fourth one or the fifth people. one? <laughs> the second one. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, he 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 lived in the script club and he had script. he had girls for days. So. 
Okay, but how many guys can actually pull that off? That's one guy. Yeah, that's one. Oh guy. yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Because it's a small right. percentage. Yeah. yeah, like you guys always keep pointing to like the exception to the rule. I'm a nice girl. I'm not like that. Okay, that might be you, <laughs> but most women like a guy that's direct, mm -hmm. decisive. Yes, I and like confident. that. I like yes. that. Yes, but yes. it's a mixture of that and being a gentleman. And respect. yeah, but yeah. the way you spoke to him, I was li listening to what you were saying very closely. You kept asking for his approval. So if you think, or what do you, uh, you know, if you feel comfortable, blah blah, that's not confident. Yeah, but I'm not a guy to pick up girls, so I didn't really know <laughs> what yeah. to do in that scenario. And that's oh, why yeah. I always say you can't take female advice when it comes to dating. That's true. You can take mine. You can take mine. I'm crying. Girl. Nah, yours is trash too. <laughs> you out here sending chicks twenty dollars cash apps, bro. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Not you would be the most I'm ratchet dude of all time. They won't. Okay. Hey, they like they this. They check on Birdman. <laughs> Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Man. Take right. it or leave so, it. So yeah, yeah you, so your mess up was you 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 sent the drinks over. The girls didn't like you like that. You know, I mean, well, they're there for a party situation. You kind of send drinks, and they're like, hey, I'll you let her pick where she wants to go. She's like, oh, I want to go to Nusrat, and then you switch it up on her and take her somewhere else. That's gonna be our like a red flag. Like, what the hell is this nigga doing? And yeah, I mean. Thanks, though, mama, I guess I ain't getting them draws. I know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It'd be like that. All right. I think we have chats. Okay. And then uh, what about you? Uh, oh, yeah. What, I'm trying to think. Her scenario was, oh, Hinge. Yeah, oh, dating apps is one of the hardest hardest places. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. But we match, though. So I obviously think that you have some sort of like feelings for me. You want to hear a dirty little <laughs> secret? <laughs> a lot of girls use their dating apps simply to boost up their Instagram and social media following. They don't even take it serious. I'm crying. Oh, I didn't Raise your hand if you fucked a guy from Hinge before. From who? Hinge. I don't even know what that is. Um, Two girls? I have. Three? I have. Don't do that. I never heard of him. He was my boyfriend. Don't do that. Okay. Okay. I did. That's my situation. But, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Party line. I think the better question is this. How many guys have you matched with that you never met up with? Oh, buddy. Oh, but, uh, actually, no, I knew all my spots. <laughs> I actually only they one added guy. me because they knew that me. Was on a party line. So, no, but the point is, is that you've gotten a lot of matches and you did, you only met up with a small minority of them. So, even after matching with them, you didn't link up. Yeah. That's you can't true. date everybody. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what we say. You choose the best. He has a lamp. Yo, y'all are. Yo, this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they make a point thinking like it's going to like uh, beat the point, but it actually makes it even stronger. Yeah, you can't date everybody. So yeah. you're going to pick the best, right? <laughs> I don't even have that many matches. What about you? <laughs> Me? I picked the live scenario, live. So, oh, yeah, you were really fucked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I'm not fucked up. You were by yourself <laughs> no, no, exactly. in a club. Yeah. Ooh, Lord have mercy. I can what be by section. myself. I can be with <laughs> people. It don't matter. Our I got money. No, I got money. Yo, yo you <laughs> name <laughs> dropped our podcast. That's what they got you money. Mr. Miami. <laughs> Bro, look, I, I, I guarantee you, let me use a short story. But once again, I was out with uh, a bunch of girls. I was with them. I was, it was me and three girls. A good time. And I said, yo, oh, we need to for Yeah, I do a podcast. Bunch of fit. Bro, that shit went down here from there. And then I proceeded to, you know what? Fuck it. I roast each and every one of those girls. <laughs> and oh I'm like, I, and I, I told Mara the story too. You the man. I'm, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. You know what? Hey, you know what? That's why you're here single right now. Bro. <laughs> so, wow. yo, I went in on them, man. And, and you know what's oh funny, right? The whole night, they was pissed off. And then a fourth girl came over and she was like, bro, I swear, all night, those girls' gazes were on me the, all, the entire night when I roasted them. So that was my game, and long story short, I got about a few numbers. You're fuck up. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Anytime a guy's at a club by himself, red flag. Anytime a guy has a section by himself, double red flag. And then the fact that you were trying to lead with your money the way you that you did. So yeah. Yeah. because mo a nine out of ten girls only care about money. Yeah. But realistically speaking, live in like you know nightclub. And like well, real, you picked it. Realistic, like real, realty, realistic, realty, like to the mic, please. realistically. Okay, reality and like having fun are two different things. Like, come on, what you're just trying to have fun in real what? life. Real life is different. What the fuck? You okay, know, you're just trying to have. I'm fun. just gonna tell you how you fucked up. <laughs> you're at a club by yourself. You had a section by yourself. You name dropped the podcast that doesn't have the best reputation with girls because we keep it real. Yep. Right. And then you mentioned you led with your money. I'm an entrepreneur. I make this much money. I could take care of you, blah, blah, blah. Like, 
it, it's, it's a bunch of red flags. Like, yo, some dude at a club by himself has a section by himself. He doesn't have friends. This nigga's weird. I ain't fuck with him. Right. I mean, most girls only care about money. That's always in my mind. No, but That's not by all yourself. I see. Oh, every girl. girl. Not yeah, yourself. they care about money, but not at the expense <laughs> of this yourself. dude being a weirdo. You got to have That's friends. That's true. Yeah, you got to I mean, of course life. I'm going to have friends. Who doesn't and here's, have no, friends? You said by, your, by yourself. Crazy. Oh. That's serial killer. I don't know. I'm not a guy. I was just trying to. Well, well, here's the thing. When I told y'all, would you be able to attract a girl? We could rewind the tape. You guys were all excited. Yeah, I could do it. Ah, especially you too. And you were, oh, I could do it. Nah, y'all failed on that. We gonna attract y'all girls. That's what we gonna do. We gonna attract y'all girls. We can attract girls, but we just couldn't get through y'all. Listen, I can nah, attract. Bro. Listen, that game is not gonna get no bitches. It'll be a rap. Yeah. 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 No, 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 <laughs> All right, so uh, a new uh, you are at the beach, way too passive. Okay. Way too passive, and Fair then enough. and then you let me pick the date. I brought my friends yeah. and shit. Like you know you. Fair enough. I mean that's worked for me. So. Speak of the penis, please. You brought your friends on a date before and actually liked the guy after the fact. Yeah, I have. Did you know him personally prior yeah. to a meeting? <laughs> yes. Okay. Y'all went to school together or something? Yeah. Doesn't count. <laughs> I knew it. There was was, time uh, for I knew, everything. Yeah, like, we, anytime, straight, we were friends. There's always an exception to the rule. Like, like, oh, well, no, I met him on a date and we made it happen. Okay, that's cool. You guys had that social yeah, proof to some degree where you went to school together. Yeah. But like, you didn't. Yeah, see, we study y'all. <laughs> yeah. We study y'all. <laughs> we're we're, we're lying. You're so good I need, Oh, my God. Can I, can I say something? It's not that. It's just that, like, <laughs> yo, like, think about it. Like, if, if, if you're a lion, right? <laughs> you got you to gotta know your prey. You got to know their habits, patterns, etc. If you're the gazelle, you don't give a fuck about what the lion does. You just run away when you see him. The lion, though, has to know everything to be able to get the girl. So women are kind of in a in a privileged position where y'all don't have to know shit about men. You just, okay, this nigga's a weirdo. Done. Mm, this guy come, he weird. They come to you. So why do you f give a fuck about what it takes to come to you? doesn't yeah. matter. You know what I'm saying? Right. You don't care. If, if I enjoy pizza, right, and I'm not a pizza man, why the fuck do I give a fuck about how they twirl it? And kind of water they use. I just enjoy the end product of the it. water while watching it. Cheese. You know, I yeah, cheese. Mm -hmm. I got what you're saying, go but I mean, well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I just feel like that Merch. power struggle shifts. Like it, it, like you're only talking about that first dialogue, that first week, that first. But the reality is, yes, men do have to do that to get our attention. I agree with that completely, right? Mm -hmm. But then on the flip side of that, women do have to learn a man, do all those extra to keep the man because. That's the whole thing. Y'all are there to get in her draws, and then after that, how do you keep right? So I feel like that power struggle just shifts, and you're only talking about the beginning part of it. Like you know what I mean? Well, that's what we had the scenario be. I always say it to like men have to work to attain the girl. The girl has to work to retain the guy after sex. Agree. I don't. I agree with you, but we're after talking about sex. attracting the girl, and the way you guys went about it was extremely low value and poor. Most girls would decline you from what you guys did. Man. Okay. And right. of course, and I feel yeah, like, I know you was the worst. Listen, you that's the worst fine. Thing you can't just My whole thing is, I'm not a man. This nigga can't cash show. I'm pay you two thousand right now. Like, I know how to attract men, man. not women. So of course, I'm a. But fail. let's be honest. I'm a fail though. every time. But let's be honest. It's way easier to attract men than to attract. Men. Of course, but mm -hmm. that's why I said I'm a fail. Every you just time. exist, and I'm guys are gonna come. I'm a True. fail every time. That's no, what I'm saying. I'm a female, so I'm thinking from a. But you were also confident though, like I could do this. Yeah, of course, because <laughs> from the outside looking in at this talk show, you think, you know, you you got this. And until you actually play <laughs> on the court, you'd be like, God, I'll leave this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I get it. Yeah. So so you guys got to be a guy for, you know, a yeah, week. And, uh, yeah. So, OK, what, what's your what, what was the biggest thing you learned from that? We'll start here. It is not fun. Be to the mic, please. It's not, it's easy. not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> what was the biggest like? Uh, it's not easy, but like, what was it something that you like kind of learned that you didn't know prior? I would say. Uh, I mean, that stuck out to you. I would say just not to be so superficial and kind of hear them out. That's it. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. You're Damn. still gonna decline the guy when he's like five foot two, though. Yeah, so. I will. Yeah. I have standards. <laughs> too short. <laughs> so one sentence. I, not to be so superficial. Well, he's gonna be five foot two. You're gonna decline him anyway. Well, I got standards. Like, because he's gonna be five two, though I'm five two. Right. You can't be so superficial. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, guys. And cut. All right, what about you? What'd yeah, you learn? I I failed. I don't want to be a man. I enjoy being a woman. 
I just know. All right, when you go home, please suck a morphine stick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I definitely. You better fuck it after tonight, guys. Just do it. Like, <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, what about you? Honestly, it's hard to be a guy, but at the same time. What was like, the biggest learning thing? Uh, what's the biggest? Honestly, women have standards, and some of you guys don't make it, and it is what it is at the end of the day. So <laughs> just keep keep trying, move on, dust your shoulders off. You know what the scary part is? Yeah. Average women want above average men. That's kind of where the issues kind of al- align from. Like girls that are a certain level want a guy that's two to three points above them. So go ahead. What about you? What did I learn? Yeah. Um, Nothing. The, Nothing. No, <laughs> no, you know what I did learn? That statistic that you gave, I did not know that. And so what? I, the statistics that you gave about, about um, uh, how most many... guys, most guys can't get girls. Yeah, I didn't know that. I just felt like all of y'all are just whores, and you just <laughs> well, fuck they, everybody. They try, mm-hmm. but yeah. ca- they uh, most guys can't they actually can't do actually it. Actually, execute. I, I mean, some of y'all are lame as fuck. Well, well, if they could, they, well, let's let's think about it for a second. <laughs> let's think about it for a second. If they could execute and get laid whenever they wanted, you would not be in business right now. No porn, no OnlyFans. Look at you again. Wait, paid. what do you mean? Oh, you mean my job? Oh, and I need y'all to keep it in business because we <laughs> listen. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you know, no, no, like for real, for real, the whole the whole sex economy, OnlyFans, pornography, strip clubs. Oh, uh, it makes a lot of fuck money. money. Well, you know, okay. Yeah. So oh, top... I don't work as a broadcaster, but because I work for a company yeah. that that's what we do, I see how quickly our website grows, how much money we make. We make a lot of money. Yeah, I'm trying to and the that's top three the, bottom, the nickels girl. and dimes of you know what I'm saying? All these little fees that we make, but yeah, yeah. That because here's the thing: the top that's three, to know. the top three Holy websites shit. in the world are all porn sites. So it's yep. like they get the most traffic. So, like I said, if men were getting laid, they would not be watching porn. They would not be paying strippers. They would not be paying for OnlyFans. So the fact that there's an entire economy built upon the fact that men can't have sex shows that men are not out here smashing. What about you, Miss England? Uh, the statistic and. I don't know. I guess if the energy doesn't match, then just keep it moving. Okay. Right. Okay. What about you? Um, don't trick on chicks. <laughs> I mean, I learned. I need. If I'm a bag of women, I need more testosterone. Like, I'm a female. I cannot bag a woman. So, yeah, I. It is. What yeah. It is. Like men. I give it to y'all like I said. Persist. I took it easy on you guys too. No, you did. No, you I really did. I got the hardest one. <laughs> oh, I, got oh, I got a boyfriend. Got a boyfriend. Was like, they, 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 oh, Bro, I you met her at Target. What do you think she's gonna say? There's a lot of people that lie like that. I use that line, but I stopped lying. Oh, I yeah, like, see, honestly, yeah. I'm just not interested. Yeah, yeah, right. All right. You know. All right, so and, and here's the thing with t- yo, you met her at Target, bro. Bro, what does she that don't matter? know you. She's coming penis, up. Penis, penis. You got talking to Mike. You got talking to Mike. Penis. Yeah. Uh, penis. Oh, penis. Yo, you met her at Target, man. She go, hey, I want to buy this pop for my mom. Like, what? <laughs> bro, but that shit worked a little bit. It opened but, you up. But Mari, yeah, she, she, I mean that opening line did work, but. Right, they, they kind of softened you. A <laughs> that was a good bit. approach. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought so. Right, women like that. No, it's not a terrible approach. It's good, but it's like. Yeah, indirect. Well, it's, it's, and here's saying? the thing: when indirect. you go indirect like that, though, you went indirect. We call that an indirect opener. Yeah. When you go indirect, like, and then you try to like weave it back and make it like, oh, like uh, I'm actually interested in you. But the, how does like, that not show interest if I'm asking you for your opinion? See, uh, all right. So if if you were saying, you know said what, no cap, I ain't gonna lie. Like I was just bullshitting. Him, but hey, what's your name, number? You know, like just a very more direct approach. You know, like something to open up the girl. Because end of the day, it's like most guys don't approach girls. That's the point. So when they approach you, all it needs is just to say something to actually open up the conversation. Yeah, I mean, you went indirect with it, and then you were, and then she had said, "I got a boyfriend." You know, there's certain lines you could say, you know, whatever when they say that, or just move on. Like, all right, whatever, I don't give a fuck, move on. But you know, it's uh, like, and then you said, "Oh, I'll, it's okay, I'll be in the friend zone." So. Okay, well, I didn't learn thing. anything from this because I did already know all this shit. <laughs> True. I why are you rolling your eyes? I'm serious. Like the statistic, I knew that. I know that most men don't get laid like that. I these things are things I I know. Okay. So, yeah. All right. She's mad. She's still mad. She got rejected at Target. Target. She's still mad. She tight, bro. Target. She tight, bro. Maybe not a week, but I was gonna fuck. <laughs> shit. Uh, yeah. Welcome yeah. to being a guy. You wouldn't uh, do well. <laughs> You will you 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 will probably hit a bitch at Target. No, no, I was not that dick bitch. <laughs> How I get that? I, I was nice. I said, cool, let's be friends. Nice? 
I was. I know, but I'm nice saying like nice guy friends. Right, but that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't hit a bitch. Bro, as soon as you accept to be a girl's like platonic friend, it's a wrap. Guys, she chose violence. Yeah. All right, what about you? You clapping at him. I know you. Like, bitch, I sent you money. Regardless, take it or leave it. What, what'd you learn? <laughs> well, you just got to be more nice to the guys. Well, yeah. you were nice. Oh, or you're like, in the future, you're going to be nice to guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got to be more nah, nice. Nah, you guys about to reject the next nigga that approach you. <laughs> Oh yeah. Tell the no, same shit. I got a boyfriend. No, no, I saw no, a fresh no, fit, nigga. Right. I know your game. Yeah, you're, you're gonna start saying, I need you to invest in me and shit. Like yeah. listen, I'm not listen, listen, I'm game. not a material like, I'm listen, I'm not a I'm I'm not a materialistic person. Yeah, of course you're not. Period. Because yeah. due to the simple fact, I ain't even finished. I used to dance, baby. So I done seen money. Listen, you have seven kids so, and no child support. So, <sighs> and no child support. Of course we. All right, go ahead. But yeah, so um, Tanya, don't be watching this boy. <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, I I'm I'm not a materialistic person. I don't see mad money, so it's like you know, like only only thing I worry about is my kids being scraped. Long as they good, scrape, <laughs> scrape. Long as they scrape. good, as the hood top, I'm good. Wait, wait, so uh, so a uh, question, like, yo, uh, she is so Florida, Miami, it hurts. Right. So. <laughs> You are Miami Dade. Where you came the, from? Are, what, are you from Broward or Miami Dade? Miami Dade. Wait, yeah. no, wait, no. What's our what's our area though? Homestead. Oh, <laughs> that is I've not never Miami Dade. No, it's, it's Miami Dade County. Oh, oh, Miami Dade County. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. we know. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I don't call anything else. That's it. One. Somebody said, "Bro, <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. yo, she is so Florida it hurts. Right. Yo, do you got grow? You got to grow. Uh-huh. Like a grill? Do you have like a like a grill? Teeth, like six, teeth? You know, the gold six teeth to the bottom. Yeah. Like the gold oh, teeth? Do you have them? Oh, I had them. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Tell me you from Florida without saying you from Florida. Right. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> oh, Trina. Tri- 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 <laughs> Yo, man. Uh, whew, this okay. was an entertaining panel. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Uh, so I'll read some of these chats. Is it here? I love uh, Florida. Brandon D. Black. Shout out to Juicy. Uh, Keturah and Javia, y'all looking beautiful to the girl on the red, not sexing your man on the regular. You got to grow up unless you want him getting poom poom somewhere else. Oh my, who is that? You got a rebuttal for that? How they know I have a boyfriend, it? yes. I love him so much. Baby, if you're watching, I love you. No, they said you got to start giving him sex or else he's going to leave you. No, no, no. That's Sex is out of the picture. Forget you. What? What? what, what? <laughs> How you got a man? Wait, wait. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, so, it's just, so, he's you. invisible. Question. You got to sex you, your man, yeah, not your him. Man. Back so, in the day, men will have to wait for marriage. Now we don't wait. All right. So, mm-hmm. so, so question. Do you live with him? No. I live alone with my puppy. Wait, have you guys ever banged? You of and course, him? Yeah. Oh, okay. You guys We've have been dating okay. for three years. Oh, yeah. and you still don't get, and you don't give him a box when he wants it. Now, nah, whenever he wants, save the mood is right, and like You're I'm happy, no, we're no, both no, happy. He is a part of that eighty percent, y'all. Yo, the stars no, have No, he's a happy person. Nah, he's very self fulfilled. Okay, Wait, okay. Uh, oh, well, he's fulfilled. Mother, you have, nice. to yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to keep yourself <laughs> busy. You have to keep yourself busy, everyone. So you don't Andrew. think about sex so much. Okay, <laughs> Gary Andrew, twenty dollars. <laughs> Shout out FNF fam. One out of 10 women are truly in their feminine these days in America. Do you think this will ever catch up to them in the long run or do you think it will carry on forever? Uh, it will catch up to them, but it'll be when they're older and men no longer find them attractive. Nah, oh, I'm yeah. 21. It's 20 now, dollars. bitch. It's now. <laughs> I mean. Sorry, it's now. With no sex. Okay. I mean, it's... Um, shout out. To, I, I think you, you misinterpreted his question. Yeah. What was that again? It's it's fine. It's, it's another. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. It's, about sex. it's for us. Uh, no, I get it. Uh, shout out to FNF. What does the chick with seven kids eat? She's in surprisingly good shape, and I've seen how some girls' bodies change after just one or two Girl, kids. Oh, good. thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all see me? Y'all see me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, girl, you rock. Do you want to tell them what your diet yeah. is? Junk. I ate a lot of junk. <laughs> oh my god! It was the black girl magic. Like, period. Yo, yo, who got her on I the show, on. bro? It was the corner store. Uh, yeah. wait, wait. So wait, wait. So, who, who brought it? Was this Shakira's girl? Uh, Shakira? What? So <laughs> whose woman is this? I ate a lot of cinnamon toast crunch. You know. Right, wait, wait. So, so Shakira's got Ritos. Right, Shakira. Wait, wait. Hold on. Who invited to the show? Is it was it Shakira? Yeah, Shakira. Hey, baby. Damn, Shakira. 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 Hey, Shakira. Yo, I know these whole girls. <laughs> 
Shakira. Yes. Hey, Shakira. Yes. Right, we love you. Shakira, Shakira. got the right there. Good job, Shakira. Good job, <laughs> Yo, man. she's been running. So she's fucking funny, bro. <laughs> that bro, like, uh, yo, Shakira yeah. from the UK. So Shakira is our, our, one of our, our talent managers. She's from England. She's the one that be chef and niggas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Uh, shout to Shakira. Uh, she carried the director. Uh, Rifo, uh, big shout out to y'all. When you start talking to a girl and she turns down a second date, but then hits you with, so you're not going to fight for me? Why? <laughs> uh, yeah, we've had some girls say that. Uh, buy one BBO, get one free. I want to be flued out too if you're taking the whole podcast on his date. <laughs> it was when one of the girls was uh, talking. Uh, Marina, Freshina, Christina killing me here. I got you, A. Trevino. Uh, this is sad. Sad. Uh, these women are not Kevin Samuels, eight to most are fives, one is six interchangeably. Uh, Congo English. Okay. Uh, might be Ricky. 50 bucks. Congrats on getting 500k again. Smash pass. Might be Ricky. Again? Uh, I mean, you know what? The girls might want revenge. All right, yo, pull up his Instagram. We're going to give the girls a chance to get their revenge on some of the guys in here. All right, definitely. We, uh, we can pull up. <laughs> might be Ricky. I hope yeah. your Instagram is good because they're going to fry you, bro. Uh, Dion Spivy, I'm out here in Philly and I just run into Mad Girl and I run into Mad Girls from Jersey. They come off just the same. It's not just Miami. Yeah, a lot, a lot of girls act the same. And I mean, that's why we got a bunch of ones. Uh, $15, Tom Chad, those role playing conversations are excluding the rude responses, ignoring that also takes place. Yeah, we try to be nice, somewhat nice about it. Yep. Um, we got uh, who else? Uh, Hafsa Muhammad. Hey guys, first time I've caught the show live. I'm a Muslim girl and find that a lot of what you guys believe aligns with my beliefs. Yeah, bro, we keep it real. There you go. Uh, hey. 10 dollars from AK40 MK47. Ladies, the vibe wasn't right. <laughs> uh, they're talking about earlier when you guys were spinning the game. Uh, Pablo, brother Pablo, only 20% of guys are actually getting women. 80% of us get none. These scenarios are what we deal with. Very true. 20, and this is the thing: the guy might be cute and still deal with that, you know? Because if he wasn't, you wouldn't even talk to you about. <laughs> Walk away. Mm, Joy Crack. Not too much. When, women shame other women way more than men shame women. That's true. That's true. Uh, Chago XP. Just wanted to say this podcast is fucking amazing. Everything you do is nothing but facts. Keep it up. I've learned a lot from you guys. Absolutely, bro. Gotcha, man. Uh, Crypto Refrigerator. Myron, salutations from just up the street, West Palm Beach. I simply have one request. Can you invite a 40 to year old 304 so I can super chat? The only thing worse than a 304 is a 34. <laughs> hey, city boys, we up misogyny. All right, bro. Thank you. Uh, and then we got Congo English. I take my compliment back from green hair. Gross. You got a rebuttal for him? What compliment? He probably know. said something about you being pretty earlier on. Yeah, your uh, shoulders. Back. Why? Okay. Probably shoulders, probably. I don't know. Okay. Am I supposed to be mad? <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, and then That's seek cute. brother Pablo. I fuck with the girl that cash at you twenty dollars. She seemed hella laid back. We can smoke for show. I know that's <laughs> right. <laughs> laid back to take it or leave it. it. All right, Mar- Marn, uh, do you want to explain Mar- the rules before we uh, wrap it up? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna pull up a guy's Instagram. Try not to roast him too bad. We're gonna uh, pull it up and we're gonna scroll down. Don't say anything. All right. And then I'm gonna have you guys close your eyes. You're gonna put one finger up for smash. One finger, two fingers up for pass. Okay, so we're gonna go through it. Don't say anything. Okay. Then close your eyes. I'm gonna say one, two, three. One finger for smash. Two fingers for pass. And we'll do it that way. Don't worry. I'll repeat the instructions again. So I know some of you guys are like, what the hell's going on here? All right. All right. So we're gonna pull up his IG right now. Yep. Don't uh, grow up. And guys, also do me a favor. Like the goddamn video. That's all I ask. And subscribe to the channel. All right. So here's the Instagram page. Scroll up to the top. Yep. <laughs> This is might be Ricky, NYC digital creator, world going digital. Okay, so ladies, we're gonna scroll down, and we'll enlarge one of the pictures for you. Okay, so this is profile. That's I'm it. crying right now. It, sh- 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 sh. Okay, follow rules. Yeah, tap tap over a few times, Chris. Okay, mm-hmm. keep going, oh. keep going, keep going. Ladies, mm-hmm. all right, no, no. ladies, ladies. No, an audio, no groans, nothing, no, nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Silence, ladies, silence. We don't want you guys to influence each other. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right, ladies. Um, on three, close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. Close your eyes. I'm going to say, I'm going to count to three. At three, I want you to put either one finger up or two fingers up. One finger is you would smash. Two fingers, you would pass. One finger smash. Two fingers pass. On three. One. Keep your eyes closed. Two, three. Throw them up. 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 up high. Throw them up. Throw them up. Okay. Put your stop, now. Put your fingers down. Put your fingers down. Okay. Now open your eyes. Okay. Why did you give the number that you gave? I mean, we all know why, but. I mean, look at him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so attractive? Yeah, he like a little baby, you know? Okay. All right, so you find him attractive, you would do it. Yeah. All right, cool. He is? Three uh, kids? How old he is? Uh, I do not know. Send him a DM, bro. Send him a DM. <laughs> like, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, all right, might be Ricky. Okay. All right, cool. So uh, for the rest of the ladies, y'all all gave twos. <laughs> she was the only one that said she would smash. Yeah. <laughs> so give me why you would say no. Yeah, see, they see what we why we have to do it that way. <laughs> see why we have to do it that way because because uh, you guys heavily influence each other. So okay, why did you say no? He's a nice looking guy. He's just um a little short for me. Okay. <laughs> He's not my type. He don't have the it factor. All right, can you tell us? What what the issue is? You could be honest, guys. This is he's not in front of you. He ain't gonna punch you. No, no. I'm keep it a thousand. I'm, okay, I'm gonna keep it a thousand. Yes, please. Um, he's short. I don't like the way he dresses. So, okay. what's your photo though? What happened? Which photo we say he was short at though? Like which photo that you? The one you... in the red jacket. He has short. That's how I knew he was short. No, not that one. The long <laughs> coat. Uh, the one right Eric? there. Mm -hmm. He was short right there. That nigga is short. Oh, okay, boots. Yeah. I, mm -mm. <laughs> okay. Um, and you don't like his sense of fashion? No. What's he, wrong with it? A little too what? It's not a little too nothing. It has no direction. I don't like it. Oh. All right. You don't got no swag. <laughs> I thought he was from NY, so I was looking like, ooh, but. I mean, no. Tim's more or less, no? No. All right. Absolutely not. Ms. UK. Ms. UK, why no? Rough. Give constructive criticism. Feel free to be rough. Rough, man. He's, he's very handsome, but he's just not my type. Bro, what bruv, do you mean? Bro, keep it real. I'm keeping it real. He's just not doing he's it. Handsome, then why'd you give him a two? Because he's not doing it for me. What's your type? Taller. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> gotta oh, pull forgot. the truth out of her, man. I forgot to say he's not handsome to me. Okay. Yes. So he's handsome to you, but he's not tall enough. I mean, he's good looking, but he's just not like the good looking that I like. Because, Remember when I said women don't really know what they want, guys? Yeah. Look, and y'all all got mad at me? Y'all all? I didn't. I know what I want. What? She's direct. She got mad at me. She got mad at me. I kind of understand now. Okay. So why did you give him a pass then since you know what, what you want? I don't want. Okay. Um, he is obviously short. Um, I personally agree with uh, Dollface here that I don't feel like he really has any swag. So like... <laughs> I feel like his Merch. page is forced. It's like he's what he gives me is I copied the mannequin, but I didn't execute correctly. Like it's like pieced together, but not fluid. You know what I'm saying? All right. And um, I'm personally not attracted to him. All right. Okay. Why'd you pass? I passed because he's short. <laughs> like, I mean, the tattoos are great. The melanin is gorgeous, but it's a hype thing for me. Okay. What about you? All of that stuff, but um, I think it's um, um, he's not my type. Yeah, he's short. I like tall guys. No, he's your type. He probably doesn't want to have sex all the time. <laughs> uh, Mike, no. um, how tall are you, yeah. by the way? Put in the chat, please, Mont. Uh, you know. Well, yeah, and we'll know. shift. I got a question for the ladies right after this. Okay, so just not tall enough didn't do it for you. What about you? I like white boys. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so, all right, for all the white guys, shoot your shot over there. Yeah. Um, Chats. Real quick, Chats. if you were six foot two, would you change your mind? It's a yes or no. Nothing else changes, just his height. He's six foot two now. Nah, I wouldn't. I still, still no? Yeah, still would be. Still a no. He's, mm. Okay. He's handsome, though. No, he's not. Oh. No, no, no. I'm talking to him. <laughs> Yeah, so be good. Bro, he's handsome. I don't like, okay, but cocky. you bro. can be good. I don't like men too cocky. Hold on, hold on. Wait, Wait for your turn. <laughs> Sorry. Like someone can be attractive, but they, I don't know, they just, right. he's just not doing it for me. Too cocky. And this is why so many guys struggle with women. You even said he's handsome and he's tall. Okay, that don't mean and I he still gets rejected. And he still gets rejected. Okay, fair enough. It's fine. I'm not, not cha I'm not challenging your views. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's, it's so much harder for guys. I don't think you guys, but. Like, no, Grab that. Get it. Sorry, ladies. That's two. because men only care about what's between women's legs. They don't. Exactly. When you lay out on the bed, it's all the same. Like, his height doesn't matter. His penis matters. So, smash your pass, right? No, it does. All the other stuff does matter. Okay. okay. So, well, because... uh, let's say six foot two. Would have you done it or no? No. Okay. Fair. I'm not attracted to you. <laughs> okay. 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 Proves our point that it's not easy for guys. It's not easy. Me? If yeah. If it was six foot two, would I smash? Yeah. He will get my, my DM. To but the mic, please. No. Okay. You still wouldn't. All right. What about you? God, no. Okay. Too cocky. You can tell he's cocky from his pictures? Yeah. 
Oh, says the girl that says I'm by myself and I'm rich. I got a table. What's behind you? What do you do? <laughs> what are your interests? Bro, you literally. <laughs> He's, not He's, a He's a poser. He's a poser. Oh yeah, here it is. Um, here's his hobbies right here on top. Holding a All pumpkin right. in his hand. All right, so yeah, okay, it's a dub, man. Yeah, bro, they. Uh, uh, the criticism was, I would say, is that you got good pictures here. The problem is that the women are able to scale how tall you are from your background. Yeah, that's your big mistake. He can get it with his fine But just ass. to make a point, <laughs> yo, somebody could be kids, cute. Bro. You're just not attracted to them. That doesn't mean they're not good looking. Probably yeah. give them twins. Not what was that you said? I said somebody can be a, a good looking person, but you're not attracted to them. Like that doesn't make them ugly. We're not saying he's an ugly guy. We're just not attracted to him. There's something mm. in his vibe or his energy. We just not feeling like it's not that he's not a good looking guy. Like I think people like, oh well, how is it that you said the height <laughs> and now it's the. It, He's just, we're just not Can attracted. Can you please like, speak into the mic? For we're like not attracted. The height times. is a factor, but that's not the end all be all. That's not the only reason. Like, yeah, he's good looking, but like, I, you have, okay. There's some people, do you feel like you merch. find that are, what I'm not talking into? Oh. No, the merch, merch. Oh, okay. That's why um, That are cute, you know, pretty or whatever, but you're not attracted to them. Like, you see, like, oh, she's pretty, but uh, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have that. No, urge that's the to... difference between men and women. Okay. We are going to fuck anyway. Right. If she look like um, what was precious? What what's the um? A precious? Nah, see they have. Lord stand, of the I don't. Rain? Not not to, not to that low of a level, but right, like. Right. But the thing is, is that guys are gonna smash. You like you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's, it's like what's the thing? Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Shmigo. Thank you. Look, yes. I think I think the takeaway from this is that women are extremely selective. And it is what it is. That's just the way it is. Yeah. yeah. And it's Are not as easy for guys that? as women think it is. Women think it's easy for guys. It's really not. It's not. And Honestly, not I'm happy about what I learned today. I'm glad to know that it's harder for you guys. You're like, glad to know why? Because it just gives me perspective. Oh. It's just yeah. nice. Okay, we'll do it. Last it makes it easier for She likes to know that. So she's like, oh, it's going to be harder for him to cheat. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, facts. We'll do last thoughts here. That's why. What did you learn from the show in totality? I just said it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Or, or any last questions? Last thoughts, questions. Last thoughts, questions, anything like that. Oh my god, you hate us, you love us. Okay, oh, go shit. ahead. <laughs> so what what I learned was this. Back like um when I used to like girls, I think I used to think like a man, because I think that what I used to think about, like I, I just want to smash that thing. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious. <laughs> oh, like I just seen I, I seen a, a bad little baddie and I just want the oh what she like, what she looking like that. <laughs> yep, that's a man. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, so that's what I learned. All right. <laughs> okay. What about you? Yeah, I learned that women have to be reserved and that men are gonna come to you anyway. You just have to, you know, keep your feminine energy. Men are gonna come to you regardless. Right. They want you. Yeah, man, we'll come to you. What about you? Uh well, honestly, like you guys are complaining that women are selective, but no, 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 we're not complaining. We don't complain. <laughs> okay, no, we don't complain. We understand. You wouldn't choose a woman who wasn't. You wouldn't want to be with her. You wouldn't see a future with her if she wasn't like you know vetting guys and having standards. So, I mean. <sighs> Here's the thing with that. <laughs> like, women are naturally that, like, you guys are just built to be selective. It's like, it's just, it's hardwired into you. You know what I'm saying? Like, women, even the girl that's the most promiscuous is still going to be more selective than even the most selective of men. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you also agreed, right, that that's because... A little more to the mic, please. You also agreed that that was because that's the way society is set up, that we're different, we're bred differently, we're whatever. So We're hardwired differently, yeah. Right, we're hardwired yeah. differently. So to her point, again, you guys um, wouldn't accept us if we were like that, but you fault us for being that way. No, not it's at all. It's a contradiction. No, no, We didn't no. fault you. We're not faulting you for it. We simply wanted to give you guys the male experience for a second. So you that's our all point we did, of view. just to see our point of view. I mean, I know y'all don't give a fuck. And I've always yeah, said on this podcast, because here's yeah, the thing see? about our podcast. Yeah, see, right? Yeah, no, I don't that, that, Yeah, it's exactly fine. Y'all and, and don't give a fuck about what we go through or what y'all put us through. So oh, why wait, should no. we give a fuck no, about what we No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Her expression said everything that we need to say. We say on the podcast all the time. You guys probably don't watch us, which is fine. Uh, we tell guys all the time, women don't give a fuck about your struggles. They wait at the finish line and fuck the winners. It is what it is. Women pick the best. Okay. Anyway, women pick the best and they select from that. And then they just, th that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? Women don't care about your problems. It is what it is. We don't cry or complain. We tell guys, you just need to get in the gym. You need to level up and you get your money out point, et cetera. That's why we have different days dedicated for different topics. Cause guys have to be well-rounded 
to be attractive to a majority of women. You have to have a bunch of things in place. So I don't need people so, in their so, in their struggle. Can I can I finish, please? Yeah, sure. So, so a guy has to be well rounded. He's got to bring a lot of things to the table first, because women don't really give a fuck about a man's struggles. Which I mean, you even did it yourself. You shrugged. You're like. Mm. Whatever, and I know what you're saying. Well, yeah, y'all don't give a no, fuck about that, us. That's a different. That's a different no, narrative but, that you're, you're. Wait, 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 wait. wait pause, training. pause. You said dated, but are you still with the guy right now? Um, no, but that's not because I exactly. Still, no, but you don't know why I'm not with that guy anymore. Doesn't matter. Actually, I'm not with him because he cheated. So, all right, get your but, facts straight. All right, hey, Period. listen. Uh, you know what? It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, probably in your situation is one thing, but for most guys, right? If a guy does have his fitness, money, and game on point. Then a girl wouldn't tolerate his BS. That's all I'm saying. Mm, you hear about struggle stories all the time when women are tolerating BS, so that's not true. Mm, okay. That's I mean, I'm not I get tolerate beat, a lot of bullshit. All right, so let, let's bring it back and focus because now now <laughs> we're starting can't... to now we're starting to get into some weird thing. But, uh, Simply put, <laughs> your expression alone when I said women don't give a fuck about your problems, like because I told you how hard it is for guys to get girls, you kind of shrugged it off like, okay. And that's how a lot of women feel. And I'm not knocking you for that. I'm just saying. Women don't give a fuck about a guy's struggles. It is what it is. So as a guy, a guy that we don't know, you gotta accept it. Please, Mike, please do be better. Be better. Thank you gotta you gotta accept it. Be better. And it is what it is because girls don't give a fuck about your problems. They want the best of the best, and they're gonna pick what they want out of the best of the best. And they don't give a fuck how you got there. They don't care about your struggles. They just pick the best. Is that so that's just how it is. Is that is so? That's why we have these different types of episodes where we have got help guys with money, getting in shape, etc. Guys become a complete package because the reality is this. Average women don't think average guys qualify for them anymore. Average women want guys above average in today's day and age. And the numbers show it. 20% of guys are fucking 80% of the girls. What does that tell you? <laughs> women that are, are, a lot of women are punching above their weight class and getting it. So, sex at least. So that's what it is. So that's why, you know, I ain't attacking I, I, you for no, your no, views. No, but... I get what you're saying. I'm just saying that that is not always the case. And I guess the... The point that we should all take is what that is not always the case specifically that women don't like oh you have to already have it all it has to be the full package and whatever because i've dated plenty of people that were not the full package yet i've gotten shitted on by people that were not the full package yet and i poured into them and invested them encouraged them and supported them mm -hmm. and i'm not the only woman that i know that has done that so fair enough i get your point and i get when you're speaking in generals but my point is that that's not always the case. Okay. So question for you. These men that you invested in, you put your time into, et cetera. You're not with any of them now, right? No. Okay. What, one of them cheated on you. Okay. And what about the other guys? Why'd you leave them? There was a lot of different a narratives. More to the mic. And, a little um, more to the mic, please. That, 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 that was different in every time. I mean, I've been cheated on multiple times in my life and... Could I tell you why they did it? No, I couldn't. But I do know that I've I've done those things. Were they men that you invested your own money into and you took care of them and you were kind of like the breadwinner almost? Or yeah, what was it? I've been there before. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to hear something that I say all the time on the pod? Sure. If a man is of a certain status, right, income, etc., if you cheat on her, a lot of women will be willing to tolerate it. But if a guy's a bum and you're the one investing in him or you're the one motivating him, etc., you're going to be far less tolerant of him because he doesn't provide what he's supposed to provide security wise. Mm -hmm. So it's not that necessarily that he cheated on you, which I know that that's fucked up that he cheated on you. But what I've come to realize is that when women deal with a certain caliber of man, especially a man that has status, money, whatever it may that be, he can get away with more. He's going to be able to do certain Generally things and the girl's going to accept it. True. So <laughs> that's why we tell guys you need to become the best version of yourself so that you number one, women respect you. And then number two, you're going to be able to do certain things that, Women are just going to yeah, have to accept from you. You got to find a woman who is looking for material stuff. She wants you to be fine and have money and all of that. And then she's going to let you do what you want to do. But I would argue that most women, if they find the right guy, will be okay with sharing him sexually with other women. As long as he comes home to her and she's the main chick. Most women will. No, baby. Yes. He's right. Not me. I know a lot it's, of it's women sad, that would be. I, I know a it's lot of true. women, but I just know. Right, let's be real here. For the most part, all men are going to cheat at some point. 
So you either choose crying in a Rolls Royce or a Toyota Corolla. You got a choice to make. <laughs> future you. really got What's y'all. Not <laughs> no, it's true. It's not. It's long not future. It's not the future, future because it's... long is it pink. Oh. It's ladies. Um, um, so sex. Only only forty percent of men have procreated since the beginning of time, whereas like ninety plus percent of women have procreated. What does that tell you? Mm. Women have been okay with sharing men since the dawn of time. Not me. And even in like for me, for example, I'm from Grenada. And going back home, I'm so used to knowing that my uncles or just men from the island have women in town and women in the country. It's just something that you're raised like it's just normal that like sharing your man. And as long as you're the main woman and he's coming home to you, he's allowed to dip and do and do whatever he wants. Talking about the bottom bitch. (laughs) Like like that, that. (laughs) <laughs> that it's, is carried on anywhere in the world. And here's here's the thing: you you made a fantastic point. It's only in the United States and Western countries in general where feminism is very strong, where we sit here and lie to women and tell them like, "Hey, a guy's gonna be monogamous to you. He should just treasure you, put you on the pedestal, etc." Everywhere else in the world, women are realists. They understand that men of status and affluence, etc., are gonna go out and fuck other girls. It is what it is because a man can have sex with a woman but still love his wife the same, Bucks. but a woman cannot do the same. Facts. Oh. Yeah. Well, that is the way of the world, but right, but by yes. right, it's supposed that's to be like a one woman. And this is right. like, my whole thing no, is that's a Western concept. No, if is you're, what I'm no, to say. I'm saying if you're dating is different. I feel Jewish like people, a lot of people date and think that they're in a marriage, and that's where the biggest problem is. You're yes. still single. You're 100%. not married. Mm-hmm. So if somebody want to go fuck on you <laughs> in that sense. They're entitled to, in a sense. I'm not saying I condone cheating, but really and truly, they're not married to you. That's why you need to limit. So stop. Yeah, but stop putting stipulations on relationships like y'all married. Y'all not married. There's no ring on the finger. Well, if you limit the sex, he's definitely going to go to someone else. Not that you put (laughs) it like that. No, but for real, that's the biggest problem. Not that you put it like that. You're absolutely right. People feel like you're mine. I'm married to you. And it's like, you're single. I'm still single. You didn't put a ring on it, but you want me to follow all these rules and stipulations. Now, if we're building towards something, that is a slow build. You know whose fault that is? Women. Who fault? Oh, okay. At least you acknowledge that it's women's fault that that happened. I'm aware of that. I'm not saying I'm like all women, but I'm aware of that. Wait, what is women's fault? But I find like in this she Okay, I'll sum it up for you. She said that men, like a woman's in a relationship, you can't expect that man like to be faithful to you if you don't have the title of marriage, Mm -hmm. et cetera. And I was like, well, do you know whose fault that is? And she was saying the women. I was like, that's actually really good because the thing is this. With feminism, what has feminism done? It's allowed women to be equals, correct? Crippled the right? relationship. Yeah. So <laughs> since women are equals now, All right. right? Women have are sexually liberated. They could do whatever they want. Well, why is a man going to pay full price for the cow when he can get the milk for free? Right. Think about that for a second. So what guys have done is they've acclimated to the situation. Girls are fucking. It is what it is. I'm just going to do me. But here's the problem. What women have inadvertently done is they've given all the leverage to that top 20% of men. Why am I going to commit to a girl when I got girls that want to fuck me all the time because I've worked really hard to get to a certain point? That's how you end up with the Dan Blazarians, the Hugh Hefners, etc. Status attracts women. I don't have to marry any of these chicks to get sex. Bam. Yeah, we and did that, that. And that's the biggest problem. We did that. We yeah. did that. Yeah, yeah, that's a problem. Okay. What are your thoughts? Um, Mike, Mike, please. Penis. Mike. Mike, please. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thoughts, questions, cons- uh, comments, criticisms, whatever. Uh, coffee shop disagreements. <laughs> coffee shop. Honestly, I have nothing to say right now. Okay. I'm so okay. Tired. <laughs> um, it's a nice podcast. I had fun. I like y'all. Um, perspective is definitely an eye opener, but it's stuff that I definitely. already kind of kind of know. Um, you gonna I invest would- in a girl now? Huh? Are you going to invest in a girl now? Oh, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, I would definitely like to be invited again to have a different conversation, but... About? Okay. Anything. Okay. I'm open to talk. I but... think she doesn't like the L that she took from getting... Yeah. Nah, it's cool. I can take that, that girl. I took, no, but I took the L. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you're still a pretty girl, so you good. You're going to be able to finesse a guy now. Like, now, you, now you're going to say that. You know what? Now you got a new pickup no line. Hey, is she, invest like, in me. I need two K. I, I thought she was 22, 21, but she's 30. And so, so she's now learning how to, you know, accommodate with the average what guy. What are you talking about now learning? This is experience. Okay. Mm, so my true. I ain't talk that much, but trust me. Yeah, well, you I, can listen. Talk, I can talk to a guy. Like, I, I can't talk to a woman because I'm not. Understandable. You get what I'm saying? It's like, 
I'm I I could talk to a guy and I could talk to, around a guy's mind, but I can't talk sure. to a woman and try to bag them because I'm not trying to bag you. I'm trying to get to know you first before I try to bag you. But don't don't get it twisted. Well, hold on. Did y'all you, say you know what women want? No, no, no. I know what I want all for. I know Miss English. If says I she look know what at you want. and know that, yeah, I'm gonna fuck you, but not today, not tomorrow, I don't know when. But three months. You get what I'm I don't I don't have a timeline, but you just know. You she know. Just gonna keep I feel like what? she could get on keep investing. <laughs> you annoying. <laughs> That's the truth. You need an investment somewhere, somehow. You gotta invest. You I do. mean, $20. you will any invest relationship it. you gotta um, invest in. Exactly. All right. What about you? Um, I just learned a man's perspective a little more and how a man feels when you know he's approaching women and, and the rejection. And yeah, and Tarjay, right? Um, yeah, just more <laughs> of a man's perspective because you know you talk to your girlfriends about stuff. And I mean, some girls don't talk to their homeboys, but you know, more times than not, we go to our female friends. So to have a male's perspective on on relationships and stuff is cool. the homeboy can't be trusted. He wants to smash. He does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once you know. But can never. Right. That's cool. You you? <laughs> but can never. Wait, you to say your point. My point. Oh, okay. So. I mean, <laughs> you just said it, but yeah, you already said it, but you want to say something. <laughs> Let me see what I was going to say because I did have it in my mind at one point. In time. <laughs> and 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 chat me here is cool. Like she's been a good sport. It's why I've been on her ass by some kids. But so don't say oh Chris. Is oh, a- there you oh. go. It popped up. Bing, okay. <laughs> Bing bong, right? <laughs> there you go. Right. So <laughs> so okay. So dang, I just lost it. Hold up. <sighs> Find it on the mic. Yeah, listen. Um, so what I was you know penises say... so speak to the mic please okay so well Good job. okay so um basically what i was going to say is uh it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right all right guys uh all right i'll read the rest of the chats here <laughs> uh we got uh we got what, what is it crypto cat 10 hours i got friends on but i'm gonna get there trust me never said by by every virgin ever <laughs> Twenty dollars, Rondon. I appreciate that, man. Um, Let's see, Let me refresh it right quick because you got. All right, we good. All right, cool. Yo, guys, do me a quick favor. Like, like the, video, the video, comment below for the algorithm, uh, and then also hashtag Fresh and Fit, and then all the ladies' Instagrams are below. You know, what I mean, uh, you know, feel free. I know some of you guys thought some of the girls on the panel were attractive. Go ahead, and send your dick pics there. I'm sure they'll find. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Uh, God, don't do it, please. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean do what you want to do. Hey, you know what? Don't tag us on this uh, shit, shit. Yeah, I want to see yeah, that no, shit. I don't want to see it. But no, um, we got a show tomorrow night with some lovely ladies, man. No daytime show, but we're gonna have a show yeah. with lovely ladies. Five hundred kid party coming up December eighteenth. Yeah, December eighteenth, and then, next week, um, Friday, Saturday, and and ladies on the panel, if you don't come, uh, same like come through to me, DM, you know. Yep, and so, then so, uh, Ben Dome. and then yeah, man, and then last thing, man, like I said, just public service announcement: if you use our content without our express content, uh, consent. Hey man, you, you you might you might get hit with a strike, so think twice before you make a hit piece on us. A big uh, Instagram or YouTuber just hit us up to use our content. There you go. All right, all right. So yeah, man. It, hey, we 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 do the same thing with other content creators that we react to, man. So hey, man, it's, it, it is what it is, guys. It's our stuff. You can't use it without without <laughs> without our permission. So if you do, deal with the consequences. Can't cry about it now. All right, peace, guys. Peace. All the night, it's my world. City light, paint it your